everybody in the Devil's Luck Grand Fleet. My name's Jack, and I'm the editor behind the One Piece D&D Yearly Highlights. The reason I'm here is to make a few quick announcements and speak with you guys directly. If you're only interested in the Devil's Luck Highlights, skip to this timestamp below or by using the chapters feature. It's been three years of One Piece D&D, isn't that crazy? When I published the first video two years back, I didn't expect to release it to the public. I mainly made it for myself to go back and listen to the best moments. I thought at the time it would be unfair to Rustage if I were to make it public, since it wasn't my own content. However, with his approval, this series of highlights are allowed to continue, and so I'm glad we can relive these highlights together. This year, I've added a bonus moment to every episode, so it's twice as much One Piece D&D. I've also went ahead and timestamped this video, so be sure to skip around in the video using the chapters feature after it's over to relive your favorite moments. Lastly, if you'll lend me your ear for a few announcements. First up, I want to remind everyone that I do yearly highlights from One Piece D&D by Rustage. If you're here, then that means you're in the Devil's Luck Grand Fleet, and for that, I thank you and humbly ask for your subscription. Not only will I be doing yearly highlights of One Piece D&D Marines by Rustage, I also upload my own One Piece D&D campaign in case you need something to listen to in between the antics of the Devil's Luck. Secondly, I want to shout out said campaign, Romance Twilight, a One Piece D&D campaign set 200 years in the past inspired by Rustage, however, it takes a much different approach to its tone. You can find the series on this channel. If it's something you're interested in, I have two trailers up right now covering the first season. Check those out and see if it's something you might like. Thirdly, if you're listening to this video near the time of its original release and you're an artist, I'm hosting an art competition covering Romance Twilight as a subject material. You have until the end of June 2023 and must draw any of my characters from my series to be eligible. I've put up a prize pool of $200 for the top five, with $100 going to first place. Further details regarding rules and guidelines are touched on in this video, which I will link in the description below. To those that are not listening near the time of this video's original release, don't worry, if there's enough interest, I can host a second art competition in the future. Now, without further ado, let's relive year three of One Piece D&D by Rustage. In the center of the arena, there is a table. The final round is a little bit different. It is actually consists of four 1v1 challenges, first of which is a test of strength. All right, Ragnar takes a step forward. Boys, All right. I got this. It's Ragnar versus Strawberry. The 1v1 challenge for Dane Goodman's Blood Bowl is Thumb Wrestle! And everyone loses their minds. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. One, two, three, <laughs> four. With this crowd. I yeah. declare a thumb war. Strawberry smirks and goes, huh, I'm the best thumb war player in the world. I've won every single thumb war competition. I've got the strongest thumbs in the whole seas. You still see succeed but, but closer than you thought 21 the thumbs dash back and forth but you grab it and you slam it slam it down one two three first round to ragdoll second round oh i get up i like let go of the guy's head i start looking at the crowd let's fucking go right <laughs> in the house as we're doing the thumb war he pokes my thumb and like i go to press down the table shatters below and as we're like our elbows are following i grab him and look one two three <laughs> <laughs> and you win the thumb war as you bring him crashing down ragnar the crowd goes wild everyone has these big like thumbs up gloves on and they're doing like yeah <laughs> thumb war the next round, Dane Goodman looks round, is the challenge of the mind. Banana comes out and he, he like pushes some glasses up. All right, you both stand there uh, and Dane Goodman goes, he pulls out a little piece of paper and goes, it's trivia time, baby. Oh, no. <laughs> God. The banana goes, hey, I won every single uh, trivia competition on this side of the Grand Line. I'm the best trivia man in the world. They call me Banana Trivia Banana. What can you hold in your left hand? Be but Page My banana up. sword. No, I didn't finish it. <laughs> First round I goes to the banana. Question. The banana. All right. <laughs> Verona, try answer. not to suck. It's first with a buzz in, but if you give the wrong answer, the other the opponent gets the point. I um, thought the question was done. I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> second question: What flies all day but stays where it is? Banana's thinking. Mm. Me? You be a buzz. Time? Uh, uh, no, that's not the no. answer. Time flies. No. Uh, and the banana goes. It's a flag. 
flag flies, but it stays on the mast. Uh, you, you are two down at the moment. Oh, wait, that Not means you way. lose! Yeah, we lost. <laughs> that means you lose! <laughs> That's the best of three! Away, you just walk away and, uh, like, Dane Goodman, like, <laughs> the whole crowd just seems disappointed. Dane Goodman looks over and shakes his head. I expected better of you, Verona. <laughs> it's and okay, Verona. Bananas, it's like, right. pumping arms. Yeah! Even though he didn't really get any of the questions right, you just buzzed in <laughs> and got them wrong. I need to study more. Right that wasn't really more I trivia. Thought, thought that, was, that was that was riddles. Really. It was riddles. <laughs> that was riddles. That was not trivia. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. Well, you can complain all you want, but in my opinion, riddles are a form of trivia. Isn't that right, Paige? Paige just shakes her head. No, it's we really need to rename it to the riddle competition. Yeah, you know what? If you have a problem with that riddle, don't don't take it up with me. Take it up with wherever I got the fucking riddle from. Dane Goodman's like really self-conscious about his riddle competition, and it's the least favorite part of the competition. Everyone in the crowd is like, okay, move on. <laughs> The next round is the round of the mouth. All right, I got this, guys. If there's anyone good at flapping their mouth, it's our captain. Yeah, damn straight. The great puts on some sunglasses, and Dane Goodman goes, It's a good old-fashioned rap battle! Aww. Oh, Aww. dear <laughs> gosh. He puts the sunglasses on, he's like, I am the rap king. They call me G Gangster Grape. G Grape. <laughs> William! Captain of the Devil's Luck crew. I don't know how to rap, but neither do you. And then I use my devil fruit to make him float into the sky so they can't hear him when he raps. <laughs> <laughs> he starts floating up. And as he's floating up, he's like, this doesn't matter because I'm already so fly. I can rap battle you even if I'm in the sky. As he's he does get quieter and quieter. I'll serve you a lyrical gourmet. Everything you spit is junk food. You only hate old men because your father never loved you. It takes no skill for you to win. You just rely on devil's luck. No matter what the numbers say, you're never gonna level up and he just keeps going up and up <laughs> <laughs> he kind of took mm. that to his advantage there. Those are some good bars. <laughs> but he keeps floating. He keeps floating. Oh, it's round two, William. Hit him with the bars. No, what the fuck? I can't rap, Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, <laughs> flap the gums. <laughs> you got this. Bitch. All right, okay. I like to gamble. I like to bribe. I, this is me going live. I don't know shit. I don't know how to rap. <laughs> but the thing is, as as you know, as you've gravitated up grape into the air he's now closer to the audience which is above you guys and now he's looking at the audience yeah and now he looks I think down I might have just made his rap more <laughs> theatrical <laughs> shit and he starts and he starts fucking dissing he's just activated he starts yeah now now yeah I'll act I'll like okay <laughs> oh <laughs> splatters on the ground <laughs> Now look at you, a smush grape. I win, and I just walk off the page. <laughs> well, I, I guess you technically do win. <laughs> Dane Goodman. Well, I guess William wins, because grape is unable to participate in the second and third round, so you win by default. Dane Goodman says the final competition is decided by the, whoever is currently leading, which is the Devil's Lock Pirates, a round of Duros's choice. How are uh, you doing? Terrible, says the pineapple. Oh. I can't wait to squish you in this round, whatever it is. How about the smiling competition, yeah? <laughs> you do that one. There's no competition I'd ever back down from. Yeah, I could do a smiling competition. I'm the best smiler there is. Are you now? Yeah. <laughs> All right, fine. The pineapple looks at the audience and just goes... <laughs> For anyone listening on a podcast, I just did a really forced smile. I like, give a nice smile with my golden gleaming armor. I'm like, hello, everyone. How are you today? Fantastic. And the audience <laughs> is charmed and they go, woo! Yes. And they kind of boo the pineapple. When the pineapple smiles, there are actually people that like scream and some people gasp. <laughs> <laughs> Babies start crying. <laughs> First round to Duros. Yes, I pull up the wolf, who also smiles, smiles next to <laughs> Your shield friend is also smiling. Smiling. And there's like a, a triple smile. <laughs> a radiant glow coming off of you. Yeah. And everyone in the audience goes, oh. The sun comes out and is shining and reflecting off your teeth. So much so like you blind the pineapple. It's <laughs> Dane Goodman goes, and the winner is Duros of the Devil's Luck Pirates. Pineapple Man goes, no, I'm not having this. No, no. And he starts being dragged away by like the officials. No, I'll have my revenge, you Devil's Luck Pirates. You won't hear the end of this. So and I... the winner is the Devil's Luck Pirates. Everyone give a big round of applause. Everyone starts fucking cheering.
I roll my devil fruit again while I'm drinking. <laughs> ute ute no mi, you turn anything into a gun. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting <laughs> drunk and I'm just going around turning <laughs> shit into guns. <laughs> William throughout this party is just progressively drinking more rum. Oh. Hey, watch this shit, guys. Bullet comes over and goes, William, weehaw, look at those guns. She gets way more like Southern draw when she's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't know you could make guns like that, William. Wow. Damn straight, you I can... turned my rum into a gun. <laughs> make my rum into a gun. Damn straight, let's do it. <laughs> Wow, can you fire? Pfft, she fires one in the air. <laughs> and they actually work! Wait, wait, wait. All right, let's just make a pile of guns to take with us <laughs> for the new one. We're gonna be loaded up, guys! She like gets out All of her right. wheelchair. I don't need this anymore. And she's like wobbling. <laughs> William, you're, you're amazing. <laughs> you know that? <laughs> I'll down the red one. Red sounds like an intimidating color. I'll just go and see what happens with that. You suddenly look at Bullet, and man, yeah. you're madly in love. <laughs> Bullet, Bullet well, looks at least like it was a girl. Finest. Okay. Bullet <laughs> looks like the finest woman right. in the world. You just love the way she loves guns and slavery. Oh my goodness, you are <laughs> the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life. I turn I was... the punch bowl into a pile of guns and I present it to her. For me, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, William. I was already saying how great your guns were i just didn't think you felt the same way about me let's and fire she's our really guns drunk. off i do have to state she's very drunk <laughs> i just, let's just fire our guns off into the sunset together <laughs> i couldn't think of anything i would like more me neither <laughs> Louis I feel like, like we, should, we should keep that one. God, don't reverse that one. <laughs> you, are you sure? I feel like William would William would I, want us to reverse this. I am so in love right now. I don't want it to end. So you, so you don't I'm know. Not... But so look, this is a moral dilemma for the crew. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you should we reverse this or should we not? I do what not exactly know. is happening here? It seems I mean, like it's it made him in love. Unless it had no effects and William was already in love. Maybe he was. Maybe he I was. I feel like we should reverse Bullet, this because no, no one here like bullet especially what is William. love <laughs> bullet i i know i'm sorry all the things i said you know you were always special all right reverse <laughs> it <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, William. William, you are right. you are no longer madly in love with Bullet as of the effects of the drugs. But I remember everything I just said. Yeah. yeah. Also, okay. yeah, I don't know. You could have been a little in love with Bullet beforehand. I mean, I'm, drunk. Drunk. I'm also drunk, drunk right now. So, so yeah. Uh, but I mean, yeah, like, you are I'll no just longer. I'll write this off as being drunk when I wake up tomorrow morning. William, I think I love you. Bullet says, I, very drunk. I have very conflicted feelings either way. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> William, okay, I am drunk. Drunk. I just fell in love with Bullet, and I had a discussion with myself. So there is so much existential shit going on right now. In William's head. <laughs> Bullet's okay. gonna try and kiss you. He, drunk, she thinks so... you guys are in love. You confessed your love before. It's gonna happen. I'll let it happen. Dexterity. How good let it happen? Is. Yeah. So I'll in the middle of this <laughs> drunk party, they like fire their guns <laughs> off at Bullet drunkenly, like, <gasps> and you guys just start kissing. I guess in the middle of this drunk party, and. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's going crazy. The party music's playing. People firing guns off. But you do wake up next to Bullet. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> William would not have done anything. Uh, no, 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 no. Because that's not that. appropriate. That's yeah. not. A, that that's is not. Right. That is yeah. not appropriate. No, there no. are no. You there don't are do limitations. That. We don't do there that. There are here. limits. Okay, guys, we don't do I that. Here. I kissed her and we fell asleep. Yeah, we and totally the same, have like, never done anything like that. We've never done anything like that. I imagine like it's like there's a couch in the party. We fell asleep next to each other. Yeah, honestly. Well, we draw the line at mystery drugs. Yeah, yeah. Yes, mystery <laughs> drugs, drunk existential crisis. We don't yeah. go beyond that. That was what I imagined as well. Just generally just fell asleep at the same time. Yeah, we yeah. just like sleeping on the... Honestly, I, we both have a shit ton of guns at our Genuinely, hands. I think both of you completely forget about it as well. As you do that, you hear a, a noise from down the corridor. A young girl's voice. Oi, let go of me. Oi, fuck off! And you, you hear a, a gruff voice that goes, Shut the fuck up! A very vulgar. Uh, if I'm I, able to, I'm going to charge towards that. Oh, I, I, I was going to hide and attack him, but all right, we're just barreling down the hallway. You okay, can I'm still with hide, you. Captain. No, I'm with you, Duros. Let's just go. <laughs> we're on our first adventure. <laughs> yeah. We're pumped. Let's just do this, yeah. And you look down the corridor, and you see this burly man grabbing this, like, black-haired, face-covered in soot. She's got black hair, but, like, white tips. Kind of, like, urchin-looking, Oliver Twist-type oh. girl. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. And she's like, Oi, fuck off! <laughs> she's, uh, she's trying to struggle <laughs> free this guard. Yeah, yeah. And the guard notices you lot and looks up and goes, Oh, I knew they should have put stronger bars on these cages. Okay. The little girl looks up and goes, Oi, thank you, mister. Apples and pears. No worries, friend. I don't know what's going on right now, but hopefully you can explain after we deal with this threat. I don't know what the fuck's going on either. We're the Devil's Luck Pirates and we don't know either. <laughs> the Devil's Luck <laughs> Pirates <laughs> never fucking heard of you. This nonce just fucking grabbed me out of nowhere trying to throw me in this shit. Yeah, they sound I, like dicks. They're fucking bellends, I'm telling you what. Do you understand uh, anything she's saying, Captain? <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's actually... You are surprisingly unaffected by the fact that there are body parts all over this place and it smells really bad. I've seen worse in my time, mister. Oh my god, what is this be place? Be fair, so have I, Verona. We all have. All right. Who are you lot? <laughs> There's a whole bunch of geezers. You yeah, guys you, all prisoners? You, you calling us old? My name's Ragnar and I'm a bear. Lil Ricky's like two days old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's like a little... Little, was... little Ricky just takes off his hat like, good day, ma'am, and that's it. Oh, I say you I fucking kill him, says the little urchin uh, <clears throat> girl. Yeah, you're one of those, you're one of those pirates, innit? You said you were, yeah, we're a crew? Yes, we're pirates. You got um, bounties? Yeah. Uh, Oi, what's your captain. bounty? Hey, Captain, what's my bounty? I always forget. Two billion. Two yeah. billion? <laughs> two billion, yeah. Uh, yep. Are you having uh, a fucking laugh, uh, mate? Don't, don't think it's two billion, Captain. <laughs> that, my, my bounty's two billion? That's awesome. It's it's yeah. an impressive number. I turn to, like, this little girl. Little girl. What, yeah, it's a little she? girl. Little... Kind of reddish eyes. any and... reason that you would be down here? Oh, I fucking snuck into one of them boxes. I was hey, hoping they'd have good language money Language here. It. Language here. Okay. Fuck off, knobhead. What do you mean, language? We aren't in I... fucking... <laughs> Primary school? What are you talking what? about? I thought you were a pirate. I think, I think the captain means speak <laughs> normally. I can't understand what you're saying. I apologize, dear. I speak in fucking English. Uh, is, William is, is kind of normal? intimidated. I'm, I'm honestly kind of intimidated, intimidated by her, and I'm like, you know what? You what know does what, a captain? She looks. I don't, really, I don't know. I don't know, but I feel upset now. She probably That's a looks great around like thirty. I'm gonna start calling people knobheads. William, do you have here. your sword sheathed? Uh, let's see. I took it out to put it to that guy's neck, and yes, I sheathed it. Yes. You see the little girl holding it. Oi, miss her. This is a real good sword. Did she just took it from me? Yeah, I don't even she get just sleight of hand it out of the sheath and she's like looking at it wow i love the way it looks how much is it not for sale that's a very uh -huh. special sword for me it's actually my brother's that i took and then i also used an alien sword to combine with it to make a a, a very special sword captain do we still have explosives in that thing yes it's in the <laughs> fucking handle don't say anything oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, little lady i'm gonna go <laughs> up to her would you please uh hand that over i'll promise you that we can get you another sword probably from these bandits if you'd want yes fine yes she hands it back. <laughs> it probably won't work much you, anyway. Like kid, pickpock, pickpock, kid, yeah. kid, you might have a future as a thief, because I'll tell you what, I'm, I am I don't mean to brag, but I'm one of the best thieves in the land. Uh, you were able just to steal that from him without me noticing. That is an accomplishment, okay? That's what I do, innit? Yeah, sounds like you will maybe of use here, um, but right. for now, we're gonna go to a very dangerous situation. You might want to stand back, friend. You think I'm a fucking what? pussy, mate? <laughs> <laughs> God. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Devil's Luck Pirates are being like chewed out Doxy. by like what, yeah, this what little kid. Your name? <laughs> My name's Doxy. You can call me Dox for short. So she spits on her hand and holds it out to you. It's uh, Doxy has a moxie, and I well just don't right. be too reckless then. Yeah. Stay in the back. Um, everybody <laughs> will protect you. Pearl, Louis. She gives like a really like you. overly exaggerated salute and goes, Aye aye, Captain. Return to the girl. Are we in the new world? Oh yes. Where are we? You ever fucking know where you are? Yeah, of course we are. Oh, okay. Well, at least she didn't lie about that. What am I lying about? I ain't told a no. single fib. No, you're, you're not you. Not you. Other, other girl, other lady that teleported us here with her magic devil fruit powers. Whoop. You lot are a bunch of weirdos. You know that? <laughs> yeah. 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 You're the one with a bunch of knives. Oi. Yeah, just stay away from me with those. You're actually kind of starting to creep me out, kid. You know? <laughs> Wuss. Uh, <laughs> she definitely has moxie, Captain. <laughs> Kid, I was I was robbing some of the most famous nobles in the South Blue when I was your age. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> I would, do you even smoke cigarettes? Are you attempting I, a bragging contest with a child. Captain? I was smoking. I was smoking <laughs> cigarettes. Are you that drink... emasculated right now, Captain? I was smoking cigarettes <laughs> and drinking hard cider. You know, when I was like half your age kid all right what you think that's oh, impressive me mom smoked so many cigarettes it's what killed her 
Damn it. That's pretty hardcore. Damn yeah, well. This kid is hardcore. <laughs> William didn't even know his mom. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> Apparently, they were murdered. I never met them, though. How about that? I don't even know my dad. Well, I don't know mine either. I thought that was your dad. Points over the wheel. Nah, he's... Yeah. I thought uh, you had boss. Foster, foster parent. <laughs> I don't know my actual dad. At least you fucking foster parents. Foster parents. You fucking wuss. <laughs> Damn it. I don't make it myself on the streets. What do you have All right, to do? Kid. All right, kid, tell you what, if you're so much of a badass, I'll just throw you at the butcher and then you can take him down. How about that? Oh, yeah. Huh? Captain, <laughs> no, I am not slaying a child. I'm arguing with a child. No, Captain, you This is. You are not good right, at handling let's, uh... children. I, I do actually want to double. Do any of you guys actually have money on you? Uh, uh I carry was a it, little bit for Ragnar. I, I carry a little, but I gave ten thousand to help her back in the Oasis. <laughs> I'm trying to think, how much did I have? I feel I like the money would somewhere. be on the ship, wouldn't it? But most yeah, of it mean, was that's on the where, ship, right? Well, yeah. actually, I think other than just hey. like some pocket change, we gave it all to Ricky to keep. Yeah, little Ricky, where did you kept all the money on the well, ship? I right? obviously kept it on the ship because that all was right. obviously the smart thing to do. So she goes, she like has like a bunch of coins in her hands. Go for a bunch of pirates. You lot don't even have that much moolah on you. Okay, listen up, brat. You know, you we got steal the money that I let Verona hold for me because I don't have pockets. That's 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 rude. I, I'm like looking around. Oh, what Kid, the fuck? you don't know half the shit we have been through. We killed the Timberlord. We traveled to another planet and killed an evil version of this guy. And I just grabbed Duros <laughs> and like, Captain, don't drag me into this. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I'm, I'm this using is you in this argument. Captain, yeah. this is really embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, save your sub stories to someone who fucking cares. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kid, whatever. Like, <laughs> look, you guys are like staring daggers at each other. Look, look, kid, kid, stick, the money is ours. That's not very nice for you to steal that. I will take it back. It ain't even much. Um, he gives it back to Verona. Thank All you. Right. Right. Buy yourself now a curly whirly. The fuck's I have a no idea whirly. what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Legit, even I, as noble, don't know what that means. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was being serious. What is that? All right, whatever. All right, uh, let's keep on moving. This place gives me some weird feeling. It's kind of. Uh, is, me out. Is, if you is there steal a... anything of interest from this place please let us know remind if you steal the knives I, i'm sure you need some pocket change for whatever it is i understand as an orphan myself yes i understand <laughs> oh, well, she holds up a All jar right, so, uh... he has this jar <laughs> <laughs> he has this jar of toenail quip, uh, hair and fingernail clippings and shit proper weird right that's pretty freaking weird i i don't think you want that nah no <laughs> she just tosses it to the side what do you think, kid? Because we you're can, we can expert probably at everything. Don't no fucking ask me no. no. <laughs> you're, just... you're a pirate captain with an entire crew of people, and you're asking the fucking child for advice? <laughs> Get the, <line> of <laughs> the captain does a lot of strange things. I, I'm glad I'm not the only one pointing this out anymore. <laughs> uh... Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> William is being owned by a child right now. Yeah. <laughs> You hear a Here we go. And out on, on the balcony, this huge man with this like steel jaw, almost like minotaur looking horns, but they're like steel okay. horns. He is he is a man though. Steel pauldrons on with hooks hanging off of them. Meat on the hooks. He's got meat pierced on one of the horns. He's holding two cleavers. He comes down. Well, well, well. What do we have here? <laughs> the butcher, I would assume. You see a little name tag that says, Hi, I'm the butcher. <laughs> <laughs> How may I help you today? I see you've heard of me. You must be the devil's love pirates, right? Oh, it travels quick. Oh, you were expecting us. Oh, do you oh. know a woman named Paige? Yeah. Co-worker, what of it? Ah, uh, I knew it. We're inspecting God a, damn um, it. we're inspecting a, um, a shipment of new pirates. He points over to a, one of the boxes, and you see one of the boxes has William Chapson on it, fresh meat in a little box, <laughs> and it has your bounty underneath as well. Which is what it was, oh, that's nice. Twenty million or whatever, and it's yeah. like you guys would have fetched a mighty profit on the market. Oh. People love to eat famous pirates. Poor so, part of the oh. business. Is that a big profit thing in the new world? Oh, at least Pe my boss. He makes a lot of money off this. I just take care oh, okay. of this particular factory. You tell me there's more than one. Oh, yeah. It's a booming industry. He's an entrepreneur. You That's should be fresh. proud, Ragnar. So is that for everybody in the new Wait, world? Why would you say that? And he jumps oh, down. Don't <laughs> fucking tell me. Oh, I had a I had a strange Shink. feeling when the when the other guy Shink. said you're not Ragnar. 
Yeah. Oh no, I think I know where this is going. My boss said you guys might escape. He said, look out for my old pa, he's a strong one. I welcome the challenge. I knew I should have fucking killed him. But Magnus is a good son. He Wait, wait, wait. So in the time we've been gone, Magnus went to the new world and became a butcher uh, leader. No, William. You remember how I said I name all, like, there's, we have a oh! long line, a long line oh. of Ragnars. My dad's name's Ragnar. My grandfather's name's Ragnar. And now, and now you start looking at the boxes and underneath they all say Ragnar Meat Industries. Oh, you them. gotta be kidding oh. me. Right. How did we miss that? It's literally <laughs> our friend Ragnar's name. Just That's for so clarification, was... this man is not Ragnar. This the, guy the, is the, not Ragnar. This wow. is someone who yeah. works for him, the butcher. Oh, oh, oh related God. to me but this time. <laughs> he is, his boss is uh, Ragnar. <laughs> well, I would uh. say it's pleasant to meet you, but uh, we are uh. have to cut <laughs> this meeting short. This throws <laughs> a, a uh, punch there. I'm this, just over yeah. here writing shit down. This throws a wrench in a few uh, operations. I didn't think we were going to have to fight Ragnar's son eventually. Um, <laughs> well, you won't have to because you're dying right here. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Sorry, sir. You don't understand. We're going to kill the shit out of you in a little bit. Out of Yeah, me? this whole thing is very surprising. Yeah. Oh, I'm not even scared of him. I'm just like, right. yeah, whatever. We'll take care of you in a second. Ragnar, <laughs> noticeably pissed, starts running towards the butcher. All right. All right I guess, I guess we're, doing we're rolling this. initiative. All right. I guess we're All doing right. this. As you guys are talking, suddenly, the glass of the window in front of you smashes open. Oh dear. Yeah. So and maybe a, I should call Trevor with the boom! <laughs> 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 and a man with this like white beard and mustache. Okay. So he looks like he's in his 50s. <laughs> it's a man with a like a black cowboy hat with gold trimming, almost black and gold cowboy clothes. And he's got, one of his eyes is a gold coin and he crashing in, almost like being pushed by something. And he lands and he holds up a revolver and he goes, Howdy, partners. This is a stick up. I'm robbing this train. Uh, Who's sure, he pointing the gun at? Just everyone yeah. pointing All of it us around. At once? Well, okay. like he's like moving it around. Right. If you want this, I don't really mind. You I, can have yeah. all the meat. Yeah, we you can care. literally take all of these boxes. We do not care. Oh. Mighty kind of you. He starts to take tentative steps forwards. It's not some kind of trap, is it? Nah, we're we're not no. supposed to be here. We're just we're just hitching a ride. <laughs> I look yeah, over at Doxy. Wherever this is going, to see, is Doxy uh... about to like stab this man? No, Doxy's got stars in her eyes. Do you know this man, Doxy? <laughs> Who is this? Man? You don't know. It's Gunnar Goldeneye, the famous cowboy. Hey, bro, can I have your autograph or something? Not now, kid. I'm robbing a train. Yeah. No, you're not. I mean, we're letting you. We. It's not really a robbery. You're not really robbing it. You're yeah. just taking things now, I suppose. Yeah, you're. Just, this isn't even our property. We do not give a shit. You yeah, fellow right. train robbers then? No, we're just catching a ride. We're like hitchhikers at this point, yeah. I guess. Yeah, at best, we're, like we're hitchhikers. hitchhikers. Yeah. All right, yeah. then you wouldn't mind if I just head to the front of the carriage and kill the conductor? Well, we still need him to drive us to the... Lissa, can yeah, you we, drive we, a train? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Okay, Verona, go ahead. The conductor was very nice to us, okay? He let us on. I don't think that's yeah, going to look I don't think we should just one. let him kill him for any reason. Why do you need to kill the conductor specifically? Yeah, well, I take the stop. That old man's not going to stop you. I've got to stop the train so we can take the cargo off of it. Okay, you All just right, drop let me go. it off the side. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I mean, I we can just ask the conductor. Why don't we just ask the conductor to stop the train, too? I guess we could do that, too. But in my experience, they tend to say no. And then I shoot him. Sit tight. I got it. I go into the conductor's cabin. <laughs> so I come walking back into the car, just like jamming out to yeah. Thomas. The and then the, the train engine. slowly comes to a stop. Mighty fine work you did there, partner. Help yourself. What's your name? My, my name is William. Devil's William. Luck William. Oh, Devil's Luck. And this Paris. is my crew of hitchhikers. I've heard, <laughs> I've heard the name. Vaguely, but I'm not right into pirates. I like to. No, we're not. We're not pirates. We're a crew of hitchhikers. I hope to see you around, William. Thanks a lot for your help. He flicks you a gold coin. It's not even bellies. It's just a gold mm. coin. You might find use for that. Could you give an autograph to the kid? We're really helping you out today. Sure. You know? He gets out like a pen, signs something, gives it to Doxy, and Doxy's okay. like, so, uh, "Oh, thank you, mate." Do you know that this is all human meat, friend? Oh yeah, we're gonna burn it. Well, we're, we're, I'm robbing this train, not for my own personal benefit. As a Big middle funger to bid big middle fung funga? Sorry, fung <laughs> got something in my mouth. Pew! A bid middle. F a, what is wrong with my mouth? Okay, all right, all right, all right. Listen, a we, big we muggle funger. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Breathe. <laughs> okay, I grab this dude and I'm just like, listen, oh. breathe. You might be having a panic attack. It'll be okay. Just breathe and think about your Woo, words. Boy, is he just spitting out gold coins on the floor? <laughs> 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 oh, it'll be a big middle finger to that 
Fat cat Ragnar. Well, why didn't you just burn down the train? Like, why rob well, We need first? to ride it, don't no, we? No, I, I want to understand this guy's mindset, Theros. The, the thing is, we've been stopping shipments. We take the shipments out. We burn them. That way, by the time the train arrives at the station and they open it up, there's fucking nothing in it. And it wastes a whole lot of time and effort and energy. But and if you burn the train, there'd never be any shipments. Yeah, but then they would just get another shipment. Listen, I'm a cowboy, not a man that thinks. You know what? I get it. We used to know a cowboy. You kind of remind me a little bit of him, honestly. He he was a real hero. Well, Damn straight he was. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Man. We all we all like cross ourselves <laughs> at the same time. Like we've tried we've tried attacking the factories before, attacking them at the source, but none of us are strong enough to take down people like the butcher. Oh, he's dead. So you might be able to do that in the future. We're just giving you some career advice. Yeehaw! Well, I mean, Aww. dang Navit, that's crazy. <laughs> Call myself a fan of you guys. Do you want our autograph? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. William's already writing his out. I'm like, I have some. Like, here you go. <laughs> Brings out a little piece of paper. You can sign it. <laughs> there you go. All right. Woo. And well, like put it in. I, like I still a, yeah. need money, but there's no way you can make money in this city without getting rid of Ragnar first. He's well, got a capital in every industry. Hey, That's do you want to we're... team up and kill him? Yes. Oh, boy. Maybe then I could finally raise enough money to pay off my debts and go back home, babe. You know what? I, I'm just so happy to meet someone that actually makes sense for a change. You know, we're always running into people that try to kill us. <laughs> he didn't think to blow up the train, so he doesn't make that much sense. To we me, don't have right? any dynamite. They have a capital on that. If I had dynamite, listen, back in my youth, I used to be all about explosives. I used to blow shit up all the time, but we haven't been able to have enough money to afford dynamite in ages. Did you? have a long lost brother named uh, Adam by any chance? You know my yeah. son. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, okay. We got How's some bad he doing? News, then. We got some I bad news. I had to leave news. him behind back in Crendor. You're son is dead. William is genuinely distraught over this. But, like, but your, your daughter, daughter is alive and well. She's actually like a princess now. Fun yes, fact. we made her a yeah. princess. He, and your son, by the way, he died a damn hero. We wow. yes. wouldn't be alive without him. Yeah, that was the hero we were talking about earlier. Wow, yeah. He sure was a hero. I only remember him when he was little. But, uh... He has a giant, if you want to ever visit the Terrico Kingdom, it's way better now and there's a giant statue in his honor on the dock. They made wanna, a like, statue of my son. We made sure they built a statue <laughs> in his honor. Wow, what a lucky coincidence I met you a lot then, huh? I guess that's just fate. You know what? You know what? We were lying. I'm I'm William, captain of the Devil's Luck Pirates. Nice to meet you. I reach out to shake his hand. The name's Gunner. Gunner, Gunner Goldeneye. Uh, Gunner Goldeneye. Now nah, nah, I'm having a stroke. Gunner Goldeneye. Okay. <laughs> my name's Ragnar. I'm here to kill my son. Hey, man. Wait. Is your son Ragnar the big boss? Yeah. That's quite a moral <laughs> dilemma. I know. I know, oh, but we got to do it to stop all this uh, injustice from happening. And honestly, just to put him out of his misery at this point, the man must have gotten insane by now. I don't know how someone could have that ideology, the ideology he has and be sane. It's fucked up, man. I don't know what else to say, but um, if you ever need to find me, I'm going to be taking these crates off and burning them. I assume you guys are heading off to uh, Ragbeck. Tell you what, you're heading there too. So you could take all this cargo and do whatever you wanted with it. And we could just meet back up with you there later. Meet me at the Ragbeck. Ragbeck Steakhouse. <laughs> okay, we'll meet you out back, out back behind, <laughs> out back behind the Ragbeck Steakhouse. Out back behind the Ragbeck. Mighty fine to meet you lot. I'm sorry that I almost shot you. No, it, it happens, you know, like Verona shot all of us at one time oh, yeah, or another. Yes, it's yeah. just, We've it's all just, been shot before. I, I yeah, can shoot you times. if you want. I've even shot Adam before. You shot my son? Wait, how did he die, actually? Uh, uh, well, there was this Marine marrow. guy and, um... Those fucking Marines. He sacrificed himself against my mortal enemy. You know what I have to say about those Marines? They say they try and keep order, but they don't do anything about the real threats. None of these actual threats like Ragnar and Blue Blood and people like that. They just go after the little guy who's trying to make a living. That's exactly right. All right, so you're going to take this stuff? Oh, yeah. He opens up one of the doors because this train is stopped. And he like pushes and all of the cargo flies off of the train. He then pushes himself outwards and he flies forwards and lands with all the cargo outside. And you see a bunch of other like cowboy looking guys ride up and they're all carrying lots of boxes that they've just taken from the other carriages. He fires his gun up into the air and he gives you like a salute. He goes, yeah, I'll see you boys around. All right. All right. All right. I like that guy. He's yeah. a nice fellow. Uh, I miss Adam now. That brought back so many memories. What are the bed. memories? You peeing in his bed? <laughs> yeah, I, honestly, that was one of the ones I thought of. Yeah. yeah no, yeah. me and Verona peed in his bed. Don't try to pin all this on me here. 
I animate two flyers. Ragnar versus Ragnar. Tomorrow at noon. Are you ready for the greatest show of your life? Yes, I we like are. This. This is Both of you, favorite one. get to Ragnar. Run through the building. Don't yeah, let anybody the stop you. Are. They put their arms top up, the tower. and then they just start flying. <laughs> This is revolutionary. I can shoot um, my bullets after all <laughs> and make them bounce around <laughs> like a certain thing people are always spouting. <laughs> They sort of slip through the building. Incredible building as you're seeing it through the eyes of the thing. It's like gold and the, it looks like there's casinos in the building. There's like business people working in the building. It just looks like a luxury hotel almost. And they get into the elevator and they go all the way up, up and up and up until they get to this huge glass room. There is this large man, huge muscles, but almost like veiny, bulging muscles. But he's in a really nice business suit and he's got like gold rings and gold jewelry on. He turns around like he knows is something and then he sees the piece of paper and he, he leans over and grabs it and he's got this slick back white hair but you see like his face is almost like bulging with all like the muscles in his neck and everything and you could just imagine it's Ragnar but uh, <laughs> like, Swolar. yeah Swol boy. grabbing the piece of paper and he's like what is this? <laughs> and he's just laughing at the poster and that's what we'll do to be continued. So as it gets closer see. to noon, you hear a loud bong. Doctor goes, that's fucking weird. We don't have a clock tower in this city. You see like the neck down of a large man in the uh, in the doorway. And then oh, just shit. like, he just walks forwards and he's just face breaks through the wall, the wooden wall. Oh. And he's a large muscular man with his with slick back white hair, unusually, because he has youngish features, but he's wearing these like aviator black sunglasses. He's in quite a fancy business suit with like gold and diamond rings and like an expensive time. Like it's almost like a pocket watch, but it's on your wrist. He's got like a gold chain at the end of the chain has like like an R. His clothes are so tight on him, you can feel his muscles almost trying to rip it apart. He walks in and he, he sort of looks around and behind him is a sort of posse of men in black suits and they're all carrying little briefcases. The man stands there for a second. Silence! And everyone in the room goes dead silent. All you hear is ha ha And I turn around and I'm like, son, I knew you would show up. Ha 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 ha. Oh, Father, I should have known that my little plan wouldn't kill you like so easily. Oh, you were trying to kill me? I thought you were just trying to warm me up with Butcher. <laughs> ah, well, I'm glad you're here now. Say I was half hoping that it would fail. Paige reassured me that it wouldn't, but when yeah. you want a job done, you have to do it with your own two hands. <laughs> you remember the last time we fought? It was also in a bar, but this time, one of us ain't leaving. <laughs> I remember the last time we fought. I remember winning that fight, and I'll win this fight again. As he says that, I rip off my eye patch and throw it to the ground. And you, okay. see, like, an, you see like an empty hole. How lovely, showing my victories on display like that. He then clicks his finger, and a little man runs out in a business suit and opens the briefcase. And inside is a bunch of bright blue, like, syringes. Ragnar grabs one and sticks one in his arm and just... And you see him, oh, no. like, the, the clothes sort of rip on his body. And his, he's hawking out. His, uh, yeah, he's hawking out. His veins start pulsating, and his skin is stretching tight. <laughs> he's, he's Bane. <laughs> <laughs> and he, like, picks up a segment of the bar and just sort of lightly places it to one side. But as he places it to one side, it just, like, disintegrates underneath his hands. So, Ragnar, will you be a man and fight me? One on one. Absolutely. Although I do see that you have, you bought a bunch of uh, a bunch of your crew, I'd imagine, and then a bunch of guys in black in black suits. What's they, going on uh, with them? Just here to pray witness, and you know, if there's any foul play involved. I mean, it wouldn't I, be much of a bar fight if if everyone didn't get involved. But I'm down to take you one v one. Well, we'll see what happens. As I get up and start walking towards them, and I'm gonna be like, I'm not the same Ragnar you knew. I am way stronger as well. But I see you keep on relying on your 
on your cheap drugs and I turn into a big bear. You may be older than me, but you're far more immature. I mean, you're not exactly aging very well. You look older than your own dad. With these muscles, it doesn't matter how old I look. I will become one of the most powerful people in the world. There are few men more powerful than me, and you are not one of them. What's the point of all that power? To buy more gold? To make your the people in your, in your town have nowhere to live? What's the point? What do you mean, what's the point in all this power? That's what you taught me. Power is the only thing that matters. Proving that you're more powerful than everyone on the planet is the only thing that matters in life. It is survival of the fittest, not survival of the one who has the most friends. You said you were a barbarian and you said you were a man, but you are a coward. I am ashamed to be your son. I don't even consider you my, so my son. It makes me sick every time I know that you use the name Ragnar, the same as your father and grandfather and great grandfather before you. Barbarians are family. These people are my family. And the whole point of becoming the strongest in the world is to make sure no one can do them harm. The whole point of learning to build houses is so that everyone can live and have shelter. No. Pathetic. You, look, you took everything I taught you and saw it in the most selfish way possible. You just hear a bear roar and oh, Ragnar goes into a rage. You approach yeah. this large, almost concrete-like building, and there's a giant oh. pineapple on the front, and it says Pineapple Juice Industries. Oh, dude, yeah. I thought we were gonna, like, steal from, like, a little market stall. I actually had a plan what? for that. We're going up what against you, Big Pineapple now. What you talk, little, they don't sell pineapple juice in little market stores. Pineapple juice is a luxury resource. It's All right, how well guarded is this building now? <laughs> you see guards patrolling it. There's, like, Holy lights shit. on it. Like, <laughs> it looks like, like a guard prison dog compound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Oh shit, but here's the thing. William was so confident. He's like, come on, kid. Like, yeah, yeah. I'll show you how to steal from a market stall. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, oh, you uh, you want to back uh, out? You batty bruv? You want to back out now? No, 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 no. Hold on a second here. I I, I, I roll my devil fruit. <laughs> you can unlock things. Kiyo, Kiyo. Yeah! <laughs> Wow. That's okay. Oh, that's so perfect. Wow. You've also I've... gotten this once before, I swear. Hold on a second. I roll my fruit, and then it's like it pings in my brain. I'm like, I got this. Now, what I'm going to need you to do, Doxy, is just act yeah, like the most an annoying kid ever in front of this building to even maybe distract so the just guards do a little a, bit. I just got to do an impression of you then. <laughs> you know what, kid? I'm not gonna hit a child, okay? <laughs> I had a rough child. I had a rough childhood growing up. You know, boss hit me a few times. I'm not gonna be you the vicious. You couldn't even circle, anyway. Okay? I dodge your shots. Okay. You know oh. what? Do you want to steal the goddamn pineapple juice or not, kid? Yeah, of course. All right. <laughs> okay. Go in front. I don't care what you do. Just distract the guards a little bit. I'm gonna sneak around back and find a window to magically unlock and steal this juice. So Doxy do runs up to the guards. Oi, look at me! <laughs> I'm William. <laughs> <laughs> I just like I'm sneaking around, but I'm like. <laughs> And they're like, William? Like, William of the Devil's Luck Pirates? And they start, like, following her. Okay. Like, She's a lot works, smaller, works. smaller. I give her my hat. You know, like, there you go. <laughs> like, oh, it's kind of similar. So then I just sneak out, relock all the doors, and I go around, and I just kind of, I don't know, give a signal to Doxy or whatever uh, to be yeah. like, hey, it's done. You know, Doxy okay. turns around, and the two guards are, like, knocked out unconscious next to her. And she goes, holy shit, what did you do? I did what I had to. Let's go. <laughs> okay, I mean, like, I don't know what's with pineapple juice. I mean, it's, I know it's the best juice, but there were, like, guards in there with, like, gold old armor on and shit? That's big pineapple. Oh my god, all right, this is another thing we have to deal with after Ragnar. Anyway, here's the juice. <laughs> I have like a bunch of cartons she of the juice. She grabs the okay. carton and just downs the juice. Oi, okay. mister. We'll save some. I mean, save I know I say the... a lot of mean things to you, but thanks for this, bruv. I mean, you wouldn't have been able to do it without my help, so I mean, 50-50 and all that, but whew. I have a heartwarming moment where it's like, you're welcome. This is like, this is William has like, I wish my childhood was like this sometimes. <laughs> Here we so go. the way this the way the way we <laughs> imagined this working is that mm -hmm. we're like just the voices in Virilium's head, and then he speaks like synchronized with both of us. I'm just gonna picture like we're in one of those hazy worlds, like inner mind world of anime. Like, whoa, Verona, this is so cool. We've fused into the same being. Are we in our head? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on right now. But like, we can move. Yeah, yeah. It's like we're 
part of the same being, but we're something more. So what do you want to do? I say we just <laughs> we just shoot at him. We have a gun that has uh, my sword on it, so that's cool. Here we go. Virilium has all of the attacks of Rona, but they all do sneak attack damage from William. Oh yeah. So and then all of the perks they have, you know, they have all of the perks that both of them have. So they could do anything that either character does. They have twice as much health. He has 225 health. Um, we have a 25 dexterity. So what are you doing, so Virilium? I, I guess we just take out our gun and then just do the attack name. Okay, mm -hmm. here we go. All right, take out our gun. Triple, Triple down. down. Fire off uh, those I shots. One handed, just unload. The and gun makes... is now called the Ace of Spades. What? Oh! oh! You should not have let me click this. <laughs> There's no way! There's no way! I repeat my headphones back in. Oh click my god. the other two. Oh my god, okay, no, 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 no! William, no, no. you gotta click the other All two! Right, I right, can't do it! Let me, let me take a shot. There's this badass fusion <laughs> moment like Gogeta. We unholster this giant, like, 50 caliber rifle, and we just BAM! Just fire it off into the office. Uh, 25. Okay, that one does hit. Oh, yeah, you want all right, do you want to bounce back to you now for the third one? <laughs> Absolutely not, Captain. 24, okay. It's it's we're getting used to our newfound oh, god power, okay? It's but like, here's the thing. Hold on, yeah, okay. I, I do want to say you have both lucky points and observation hockey. Oh, so oh, yeah. you can oh, do either of them oh, on that crit fail if you want to. I also have my ring. You also have the eight. ring. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my so, god. yeah. And also, I have reliable <laughs> talent anyway, so like, I think this hits no matter what. Just okay. re-roll the first gun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. There you go. They, all three of those hit. <laughs> Do the damage. Imagine critically right. failing. <laughs> For really Do the damage, Spooky. You do the damage. Can't mess that up. He's We're got... no scoping with like a 50 cal right now. We're just like boom, boom, boom. 106 damage from oh Virilium's my... ultimate attack. What was it called again? Triple, Triple down. Triple down. Triple down. The bullets the fly Persona out. Persona 5. Persona 5 music, I guess, plays in the background. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> if I don't get copyright strike for music Persona I, 5 I music. I got the whole sound. <laughs> Rivers in the desert. No, you're too close. Take it, you're too close. That's too good of a cover. They'll copyright strike it. The effect of cards streaming off the bullets that flies yep. through the air. It, it spins around like a roulette wheel. The uh, the bullets, three bullets, penetrate Ragnar in different places. And he takes 106 <laughs> damage. <laughs> this power, this absolute power. I understand why these guys like the drugs now. <laughs> yeah, I want to roll this fruit all the time. <laughs> I have a new round found respect for you, Captain. You're so strong. Oh my God. Okay. You guys we... like being inside one another. Who the hell is that guy? <laughs> Three. Well, two, at, least he's, one. at least he's on our side. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. That is really weird. <laughs> Poem. Captain, should I just continue fucking this pimp up? Everything is at our fingertips now. <laughs> I don't know if that means he's still the captain or if I should defer to Duros now. <laughs> Well, I mean, okay, do yeah. what you must, Pearl. Th do what you three. must. Yes. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that's really weird. <laughs> that's weird. <really weird. laughs> Cyril and Louis de Clock are also charmed by you, Vermillion. They look up with you, <laughs> lo love in their eyes. Oh, they love us, Captain. <laughs> We're so sparkling. Point to Richie. <laughs> we do a, and they'll just like, like run. We do a hand wave and just like, there. There are your targets. Okay. Uh, that was a battle for the ages. Vermillion, you unfuse because it's only going to last for like a minute anyway. Ah, uh, like you can't let Aww. us keep the four. No, uh, I mean, you you split at this moment. You're, you're dead. <laughs> the, power, the power level was too high, so it only lasts like two seconds. Well, like, your, <laughs> all of your roulette devil fruits abilities only last like a minute anyway. It's like, I am <laughs> God! <laughs> oh, pop, we pop back to the way we were. Verona, that was like me inside you, Captain. Me too, Verona. That was Verona. An experience. That was the weirdest shit ever. But it was really cool. That was the <laughs> coolest really thing good. ever. I, I feel like I understand emotions that I never knew I had. I think I have a fear of fire now. I think I could feel love <laughs> and affection. Wait, I feel love? That's what bullshit. are these feelings? Well, of course, I love all of you too. You, you guys didn't love each other before. I mean, thank you. All thank of... you so much, friends. I love you guys so much. Thank you. You. Good thing we didn't fuse with Duros. We would all have like existential crisis after we're done. Like, what are we doing with our lives? <laughs> <laughs> it's like we all receive like a soul at the same time. It's like, what? Why do I suddenly hate old people? I don't know. And he looks up at you and he goes, Father. Please don't kill me.
Uh, Ragnar coughs up a bunch of blood. <clears throat> Barely looking like he's just hanging on. And he says, Son, I'm sorry I failed you as a father, but I can't allow your insanity to continue. And he just leans like oh, leans no, forward. Please! Direct, I'm begging! I'm your son! Reckless Kuma cut! Ah! I have okay. advantage. Reckless Kuma cut. That actually doesn't kill him, but it gets him oh. very low. Oh. You slice yeah. into him, blood dripping down his chest, tears in his eyes. Oh, there it is! No! Father, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm so and you, uh, you cut into him the last two times. And I just hit him the last two times. That Again, definitely kills the, him. The first one over top, the second two in the same spot I was working on earlier. And you just see a tear shed from Ragnar's eye as he does it. Father, I... <laughs> and he collapses right. to the ground and kind of... Um, his, his, his muscles hang off his body. Um, he's almost deflated, and he <laughs> lays on the ground. Rest in peace. I yeah. can't believe I had to kill my own son, but it had to be done. I thought you said he wasn't your son anymore. I know I said that, but it was hard. <laughs> uh, Ragnar just like collapses to the ground, five HP, just like oh. over his son's body. Ragnar picks up his son and just starts walking towards the door. Yeah, I, I leave the building. I mean, I'm not even in the building. I'm outside you, you the building. Outside. Um, just... I, I start just digging a hole next to the bar just to, to okay. bury him. Ragnar, as you walk outside... Ragnar doesn't notice a single thing. He steps yes. foot off of like the off the wooden porch or whatever and just starts digging, digging a hole, yeah. lays his son in it. What a terrible day for rain as he's like crying, burying his son. Aww. Aww. Does he bury him in the middle of the street? It does Literally sound like it. Right yeah. last Literally time, in the right middle of the street. <laughs> oh, I'm not right in the that. middle of the street. I'm sorry I failed you as a father, but we couldn't let you to continue to do what you were doing. Rest in peace. And then he walks back into the bar. Okay. Louis, can you kick you up some funeral music? Oui, oui. Uh, what would you like? Le funeral or I am le sad? I am le sad at the le funeral. I am yeah. oh, the comedy song of both of the songs. <laughs> he starts to like mime playing a violin. It's so good, is it not? <laughs> And you've got to, if you imagine it in your heads, it is good. Yeah, it's the thought that counts. Uh, no offense to Ragnar, I'm sure your son is very strong, but he was only strong off the remnants of Blue Blood's power. I really don't care what you have to say. At this point, Ragnar always was a little different, and he never he, he was definitely selfish in certain ways and didn't understand what I what I taught him. But the second he started taking those drugs, I, he changed. He was no longer the Ragnar that I knew. It corrupts Wait. people. I don't care if it kills me. I'm going to kill Blue Blood. You guys are now starting to get closer to the fortress and you can see these giant oh steel walls jutting out of the uh, ocean. As you look down, you see like huge land masses, islands connected with a web of bridges, like giant uh, bridges. Verona, you would see there are people on top of the walls and you see people pointing at you and cannonballs flying up, not quite hitting you guys. It's quite a distance at the moment. Okay. Uh, and you are well. definitely now under attack. <laughs> You are under siege. Right, gamers. All right. Do you see can... anything that would be a big throne? <laughs> uh, just some metal walls and cannons at the moment. Pearl, let's go even higher and keep going. We, we, <gasps> okay, <go. laughs> okay, This Captain. is probably not good for Pearl. <sighs> I'm so tired. <sighs> Don't worry. <laughs> We'll get you some Gatorade or some some uh, G fuel for next time. <laughs> as you guys start flying over the, the the walls, you have lots of people looking up at you, and then Hello! there are like cannons firing at you, but they're mostly dodging, or you're knocking them away in whatever way necessary. Yeah. All of a sudden, there's a flash of light fire and you see this thing flying up into the sky towards you guys it comes to an immediate stop and hovering there is this man small glasses sort of a long thin mustache almost rectangular looking head quite smartly dressed he looks partially like scaly with wings flapping i do apologize but this is blue blood's kingdom are you in tutor supposed to be here i assume not i like geppo over to him and i'm just like ah yes uh so we're just the uh the weather crew we just go around making sure the weather is uh nice and all that i am not an idiot <laughs> right can, now that I that's get because close... you're dead and i go to cut him <laughs> oh, i mean <laughs> you roll a hit he will parry that attack which increases okay. his armor class so he grabs uh, the blade with 
with one hand and he shakes his head. <laughs> uh, Captain William, I thought you would be a lot stronger than this. Right? Ah, uh, well. Uh, he then, like, he just points his head up. He breathes in. Ah, oh, shit. <sighs> I just kind of raise up my arm to, like, A barrage yeah. of yeah. fire bursts forth from his mouth, pierces through the hot air. Oh! Barona immediately jumps out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. You just jump? Okay. All right. Man, on well, fire. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, guess what? We All have... right, guys, it's time to jump. No, wait. We have a Frenchman, Louis. Here is Fixed. Tomato Town. <laughs> so, wait, wait. This this man here, he is not talking in like a Frenchman. He is just no. that man is not very good at doing different European accents. He's supposed to Louis, sound more Italian. Louis, fix, I'm out of here. fix the sail. What is oh. Europe, Louis? Oh, my is sorry. Verona already jumped. <laughs> Verona has already jumped. Verona is gone. Sweet, yes, I can do that. Um, he reverses the time and the sail fixes and then the the winged man just <laughs> blows it apart again. <laughs> all right, um, right, well, that wasted then, a thing. Okay, right. can I do like a strength thing to try to get him to let go of my sword? Well, we're going to do a strength contest right now between you and this okay. guy, William, because he right. is going to try and grab you. So he grabs you by the throat. <laughs> Duros, with his last ability, he's going to try and jump over, and I'm going to try to use my shield to knock him away from the captain with the shield block. So you can both like, yeah. As you're like falling thing. out of yeah. the. Okay. I, yeah, I'm going to okay. try and knock him away, so that will release him. It's just okay. a, a shield bash. 22. And he wins. All right, I fall away. He's catching. Duros falls away. Ragnar turns into a bear, starts so galloping across the ship. <laughs> dives. Where, where are we landing, boys? And tries to grab on to William. Somebody! To fall together. Me. You jump off the ship with your bare arms, grab William, and you just drag him out of the clutches of this <laughs> mysterious man. The claws are kind of like ripping on your neck as you fall Shit. away. And he, Captain, he... we're aiming for the bushes. Don't All worry. Right. Ragnar! <laughs> I can fly, it's cool. So many little insects. So easy to swat out of the air. The, this man starts flying around. He's looking around. There's so many people that he can't focus his attention on, like, because you are all spread out now. So he's just going to look around and he goes and he, he fires off a, a flaming shot and it hits Cyril's parachute. Cyril starts plummeting. Oh! Uh, can I can I gepo over to him and like give him my shoot? Cause I can kind of fly. Cyril, it's okay, buddy. It's all right. I mean, I can just grab him. He also has two parachutes. So he does so, have two parachutes. So oh, yeah, as you, that's, oh, as yeah, you look that's over right. at him, and he just, goes, oh, wait, wait. <laughs> He's the one character that has two. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we killed it. That's um, why we gave it to him. But it did knock him quite off course, though, because oh, he get blasted forward. So now he's just flying his parachute. I also have what? this. It is a cube. If you shake it, it gives you answers to questions. Oh, let's try it then. You ask the cube. Okay. Dur Duros, you go first. Oh, you want me to do this? Will this mission be successful? And I give it a good shake. The weather is nice today. I think that is nice a yes. Today, Captain. I think that <laughs> I grab it and I like whisper to it like, is boss going to die? Your eyes look lovely today. Ah, that's nice. It still needs some uh, works. It's not, it's not very good. All right, I, I toss it over to Verona. Well, Verona, what do you ask it? Do I have any more family out there that I should know about? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> we already know oh. the answer to that's probably yes. Probably yes, honestly. Your hands will never be clean. I mean, it's got a point. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's oddly specific. <laughs> I think that I means I'll that. always be covered in my family's blood. <laughs> I don't think any of our hands will ever be clean. <laughs> Am I the strongest bear in the world? No. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh. Hold on, let me try one more question. I like look away, I like keep my back towards the crew. Does Luna miss me? <laughs> <laughs> there is still blood on your hands. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, it was the four again. <laughs> this thing's garbage. <laughs> it yeah, is don't off my epic. <laughs> I just handed back to the guy because I'm not going to like destroy yeah. it. I'm Duros. We're kind of around this uh, fire. 
deep in enemy territory, so I haven't done this today yet, so I'm gonna do my inspiring leader speech. All right, men, listen up, and Lissa. We are <laughs> deep in the heart of enemy <laughs> territory right now. We have three objectives. Number oh, one, dogs, locate yeah. our and lost dogs. roommates. What about, what about me, fucking? Shut up, I'm talking. The captain's talking now. Number okay, one, the locate- talking. When does the captain ever not talk? Do you want what these temporary hit points or not? Go sit <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> okay, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Locate lost crewmates. Two, get my sword back. Three, kill blue blood. Are we all on agreement here? Aye. Uh, yes. And we're not gonna leave. We're not gonna lose a single man, woman, or robot behind. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna slaughter everybody and kill blue blood. Put his head on a pike and rule over the new world as emperors. Who's with me? Ooh, hey, yeah. Aye. <laughs> uh, uh, you see, Jonas like a little confused. Uh, <laughs> because we are the devil's luck pirates with a bounty of what? Did we get new bounties? We got new bounties, right now. Oh, I read them in the paper yesterday. By what he just said. Oh yes, bounties. <laughs> I read it in the paper yesterday when I was looking for the weather report. In the paper, it read okay. Vice Admiral Trevor Chapston tells all. <laughs> oh shit! A threat to the world the Devil Lock Pirates have become. And it's all right, everybody just, in the chat, get ready. It is just an interview with Trevor where he's talking about how fucking terrible you guys are. <laughs> he talks about how you guys killed a god in space. He pretty much all the shit that people. <laughs> didn't know about trevor's just telling everyone about now he actually even says like you guys killed rear admiral jefferson but then he also says that trevor himself stopped this evil cult called the eons that's in the interview as well and so he got a promotion he's went from commodore oh. all the way up to vice admiral because of that that's pretty good trevor's hyping us up that's so nice yeah he they skipped said, right over rear admiral so that's pretty good it must be a misprint saying that we're the most evil things <laughs> <laughs> they said you bested yeah. the notorious pirate gang lord big top you slaughtered the powerful business mogul Ragnar the fourth that's news has just come out the entire crew an unrelenting force that needs to be stopped Woo! Their unrelenting remorse and disregard for the law pose an unimaginable strain on the world government, is what he says. Fuck yeah! <laughs> That's why William D. Chapston, the devil's luck, has a bounty of 600 million. Okay, I'll take it, yeah! Ragnar the bear has a bounty of 350 million. Duros, the golden wolf, has a bounty of 300 million. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> well, I guess that's... Is that good? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Duros! Uh, Man, you could, you could buy a lot of ale with that. I'm not going to turn myself in, right? <laughs> <laughs> Verona the Laughing Joke has a bounty of 299 million. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> Guys, they know about my jokes. This is great. Oh, uh, they took one. They is... took one million off because of the jokes. Fuck. <laughs> work on my material. Uh, there might have been a little bit of like something lost in translation because the crazy gangster Pearl, <laughs> okay, <laughs> as opposed to the Mad G. I think Confused someone, about that, someone yeah. heard Mad G and was like, oh, the insane gangster. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, has 150 million. Uh, Louis Leclerc has 30 million. Cyril has 20 and Lissa has 10. Oh, they know about Lissa. What about, what about, what about Jimmy? What about Jimmy, guys? <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy's shit has not been like reported uh, yet. And no. Gravy doesn't have- Gravy doesn't have a bounty either. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Gravy never fights. That's fair, though. No, no gravy. Murder, Jimmy murder machine like Healy. Jimmy has done nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's, they, I don't even think people know Jimmy is with them yet. <laughs> the most prominent thing Jimmy did was in his own dream where he killed an evil deme demented yeah. train. The most yeah, prominent thing like... Jimmy did in the eyes of the government is he was there when Ragnar the Fourth died. He was just there, but yeah. so were like a lot of other people, right? I don't think people even know that Jimmy's part of the crew yet. So, this is so sad. He, so he doesn't Jimmy, even have a Jimmy wanted should poster. Be at least 200 yeah. million. yeah, he really should be. But no, for entering the new world and going up against you know, that's pretty that's pretty commendable there. I'm I'm proud of that. Mm. So we yeah, have that's a, a, that's a lot of berries. I'll say, like, you know, we have a combined bounty of over one billion berries. Woo! That's awesome. That's so cool. And now it is Chancellor Kasparov's turn. He looks over at William. You see his body kind of transform into more of like a rook shape and then he charges and he rushes down William. He uses his ability, Rook Rush. He yeah. boof, bashes into you. Wait, I can't move the board, so I just like- You go knock back. Into, You get knocked back. Uh, I need to do a Fuck. dex save. No, I said a strength save. Wait, did I, did okay, I say 20, dex? Yeah, I apologize. I meant to say strength save. But, but, yeah, okay. Yeah. So it's a 92. Okay, that, I'm good, I'm good. Listen, sometimes my brain says something and my mouth says the other thing, but it was a strength saving throw because he's trying to take, you know, Stay steady. Okay, I got De rocked there. To be yep. fair, his dexterity saving throw would have failed as well, so it doesn't even fucking matter. It's all right. It's okay. I was gonna get hit by the damn thing. Okay. <laughs> Wait, Ragnar, can't you use Sentinel because he attacked? He's using. Captain? He's using disengage. 
No, but oh. before that, I could have technically, because he attacked within five feet of me, I oh. could have hit him once. So before he transforms into a knight. Yeah, I'm like, oh shit, thanks for coming all the way to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you Sentinel hit him. Sentinel ignores disengage. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Does Sentinel ignore disengage? Yeah, it does. Uh, At least that's somebody in the chat said it. Well, so. I could have used it prior to disengage, or just when he attacks someone yeah, that, in my yeah. range. Our creatures provoke opportunity attacks from you, even if they take the disengage action. So yes, he is also going to disengage here, and you do get another attack. Well, no, that's his reaction. Oh, you. So. When you do an opportunity attack you're using your re reaction to do an opportunity mm, attack right yeah yeah so if you've done your opportunity your reaction to do this attack now you're not going to be able to use your uh, reaction to do the opportunity to attack when he moves away yes um so you i mean you get a free attack on him either way but he's going to move away yeah he doesn't move if he doesn't move if he hits him when he's trying to disengage but he didn't he hit him when he attacked william so he still is able to move in this situation for anyone saying that sentinel speed means zero that's only if he hits him that's only if he hits him then okay but, but because he hit him in re response to william being attacked this is russage's cool board let him do it <laughs> Let's, like can we get back to playing dnd &D chess please <laughs> <laughs> do you know how cool this is you can't see the screen but it's a fucking chessboard covered in blood it looks awesome no it's not All still right. an opportunity attack it reads when a creature. Rustage, let's go! Come on! <laughs> okay, okay. Let's go. Don't worry about it. Doesn't it doesn't work. Don't Trust worry. me, guys. Nobody gives a shit. It doesn't let's just work. roll. Let's Dur go. It is it is now Duris's turn. No, but it, it becomes zero for the rest of the turn. <laughs> oh my god. But it doesn't. It only listen, turn. this is how I'm actually right, let me let me read this. Let me read this. Fuck it. I'm gonna I'm gonna read this right now. When you hit a creature okay. with an opportunity attack, the creature's speed becomes zero for the rest of the turn. However, your move was when a creature makes an attack against a target other than you, you can use your reaction to make a melee weapon attack against the creature. It doesn't say you you can use your reaction to make an opportunity attack against the creature. You're making a melee weapon attack, it is not an opportunity attack, and therefore his speed does not become zero. And that's the ability you use, because you were using it when you were attacking William, so he can still move away at this <laughs> instance. Okay, Thank he's you, gone. Lester. Very cool. I um, I like dark chocolate Oreos. They're probably my favorite. Uh, <laughs> um, anyway, white fudge uh, Oreos. Uh, oh, good, cool. is like, mm. oh, good. It looks like you snapped the captain back to his senses. <laughs> 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 until eventually okay. you reach this huge graveyard courtyard with a okay. giant looming religious tower in the center and you see hordes of cultists, like hundreds right. of them. You see up on like a, a wooden frame, a framework, a stand, that's what they're called. This giant hooded figure where, and he's got like rope hanging off of his body and he's wearing this sinister looking mask and he's holding a giant black ax and he's hunched over Ooh. and you see Pearl, blood's like battered Hands tied behind her back, head on a chopping block. I have to save her, so I'm just gonna. Well, Duros is definitely not stealthing. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna try to gepo into the air over the crowd, and then just try to tempest kick the the thing. So to like either hit the executioner, knock him out, or something. I'm actually going to try and use the uh, my my bonus action to knock the uh, thing out, uh, knock Pearl out of the the thing that's holding her down. The stockades or the whatever. Stockades. Yeah. Wait, I will try to just shield back. Can I instinctively out start blasting? I don't want to say it is a raised platform. You, yeah. you, you have to go up so, the side steps or jump up there or whatever, right? Can and I just shoot the guy? You can yeah, I was also gonna say, you have a shoot fucking the guy. God. That works too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but my my first instinct is to is, go, is to go help. Or... Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, we have to go. I was gonna do the whole sneak yeah. thing, but we have to. Oh, yeah. you want to just shoot thing. first? I can shoot. You can shoot. Yeah, shoot. Verona, for the advantage? love of God. Disadvantage, normal shot. Just a normal Try shot. not to hit Pearl, please. That'd be hilarious. What do you know? 23, be. you hit. Fire off the shot and it hits the executioner in the shoulder. <sighs> he looks up and the crowd parts. The executioner looks down, his eyes burning slightly bluish color, almost like steam coming out of his mouth. And his cloak starts whapping in the, not whapping. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> flapping, in, <laughs> flapping in the, yeah. His cloak uh, starts wet ass pussying in the wind. No, his <laughs> cloak starts flapping in the wind. Oh God, why is his cloak making like that noise? And cheese noise. Uh, but as this cloak <laughs> flutters behind him, you see his body is just like made out of twisted knots of rope. He almost has these rope tentacles with nooses at the end start right. floating in the air. And he just grunts. Well, <laughs> yeah. uh, he grabs rope was Pearl, meant to be cut. There we go. Chucks okay. Pearl to one side and jumps down from the, um, the platform. Ooh. I guess it's time to roll initiative. The warmth of the flames beat on Jimmy's face as he slowly opened his eyes. Jimmy lay on the ground, a parachute wrapped around his body. He peered through the haze to see a figure standing ominously in front of him, wings outstretched. Jimmy felt a hand on his shoulder and looked up. Gravy's round, welcoming face looked down at him, eyes creasing as he smiled. I'm glad you're okay. 
who ran out there for a second. Jimmy coughed and then responded, What the hell is going on? Both men turned their heads towards the winged figure as he started slowly approaching them. Well, it looks like we're the unlucky ones, Gravy noted. Louis Leclerc's legs shook, his hands trembled, fists gripping tight around his blade. He positioned himself close to Jimmy and Gravy, facing the oncoming threat. No, 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 this is not looking good, mon ami, he said with a quiver in his voice. We just gotta do our best, announced Gunner from behind, loading a bullet into his pistol. It's do or die, right? We could just run, suggested Louis. You know we can't do that, boy. The man can fly. We ain't on running that. Ah, sacre bleu, Louis muttered underneath his breath. The smoke parted as the man stepped into view, the flames trailing behind him like a shadow. The tall man pushed up his glasses and spoke plainly. Oh, how disappointing, he mused. I've ended up with what seems to be the weaker hanger-ons of the crew. He took a step towards the group, small flames licking the corners of his mouth. Logically, you know you do not stand a chance of winning here, right? So why not just give up? Louis stood firm, sweat trickling down his forehead. He gritted his teeth and said, I may not be the strongest member of my crew. They saved my life. They helped me through hard times and they've been my family. I would never betray them. And if I were to stop fighting now, I'd be the greatest betrayal, I think. Louis snapped his fingers and the tall man's position moved back in time, putting him in the flames behind him. The man grunted as the fire burnt his skin. In the same moment, Gunner reloaded six shots, bullets soaring through the haze, making contact with flesh. The fire danced around the man as he launched himself out of the blaze, bullet holes dripping blood across his body, but his face a serious blank stare. He grabbed Louis by the throat and started to flap his wings, the beating of air making Gunner stumble. Then both he and Louis began to soar into the sky. Louis stabbed the man in the side of the body with his rapier, unloading the shots into him, but the man continued flying upwards. You are a fool, the man snorted. I can kill you in an instant. You are a buttered insect. You are elegant, Louis retorted, snapping his fingers, again moving his body back in time to position himself safe on the ground. The winged man looked at the empty space in his claws and growled. Looking round, he noticed another winged figure swooping towards him, a man with animal parts sewn into his body. Jackson Locksworth, otherwise known as Boss, was in incredible pain, but he knew if he didn't try, he would just be a liability. He himself couldn't fight so well, but the wings that Arzen had sewn into his back were good enough to fly and carry someone else. Jimmy took aim. Body held in the air, he'd been practicing his shot. Lining up the crosshairs over the dragon-like man, he mumbled, Bada bing, under his breath and squeezed the trigger. The bullet flew out and grazed the man's scaled body. Like noticing an irritating fly, the man glared at the pair and with a single motion brought his claw down on top of them, the force of which launched both of the boys down towards the ground. Suddenly, from below them, Gunner thrust his hands above his head and created an equal kinetic force, slowing the duo's descent and letting them land safely. Hold on there, partner, he said, spinning a pistol in his hand and pointing it up to the sky. He tried to search for the enemy but couldn't find his location. Then, out of nowhere, like a blur, a sharp claw ripped through his chest. Gunner coughed up blood as the man lifted him into the air, now standing back on the ground. Louis dashed towards him, swinging his blade. The man spun round, hitting Louis with the back of his wing, sending the French man flying. He then threw Gunner's body towards him, both men colliding in midair, knocking them down to the ground. Jimmy lined up another shot, but then found a claw gripping around his gun. Looking up, he saw hungry yellow eyes. You are just a man. You are nothing. The man ripped the weapon out of Jimmy's hands. In an instant, he pushed Jimmy down to the floor, pinning him in place, holding the gun up to his forehead. I could shoot you in the head and you would just die. Just like that. He spat. The world would be better off without little insects like you. Suddenly, a booming voice emerged in the smoke. I could say the same about you, Soldi. Jimmy looked up and saw a large man walking towards them, white jacket bellowing in the wind. Soldi glared at the intruder. What is an admiral like you doing here? The large man smiled, his body slowly turning a dirty red color. Oh, you're a smart man, Soldi. I think you can answer that question yourself. He said as he raised an arm, his fist turning into one giant, 
brick. You see this figure, like a battle nun, dressed in black and white, with sort of black and whitish hair. She's got these big white angel rings and like a halo. And she's standing there, she's not looking at the stairs, she's staring dramatically out at the, uh, just everything. Courtyard? Courtyard? Just, well, at the courtyard, just <laughs> at the islands, just into the sea, just in everything. Wind brushing through her hair. You, There is blood around her. That's, I mean, that's what you see. Verona, is there anyone else in the room? There's nobody else there. She appears to be alone. Yeah. Oh shit, okay. All right, here I we mean, go. As you guys are walking up the stairs, you notice there are like cultists. But there's also a lot of dead bodies, just sort of almost like oh, sacrifices. Oh. Fuck. Uh, oh, on all of the ew. different floors, you know, some of them oh, being this crucified isn't looking... on the walls and stuff oh, like that. Oh god. Um, Death by snoo snoo. Just like terrible, terrible mm. scenes Doesn't of carnage. Seem right. You do this to your own followers. No, no, no. The, the people oh. who are being crucified aren't the followers. Sorry. Oh, okay. There, there are followers and they're like they're praying etc but then there are people like crucified and stuff they're like just like creepy things they're just creepily chanting in the distance while we're walking by them like they don't even yeah oh, they're like, <laughs> <laughs> they are, are chanting as you guys slowly walk up the stairs okay until eventually you reach the top of the tower and she's standing there well, it took you guys long enough what were you doing down there playing uno Zuno existed? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it does now. <laughs> she stands there, you know, over... She just, she's not even really looking at you guys. She just puts her head over her shoulder. Now, uh, are we here to fight? Or... What's the other option? Clay Doe! Or... <laughs> 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 just Clay Doe. Uh, are, you, are, you, are you here to just bring me my daughter and leave? I don't even... Wait, what? What, your daughter? Pearl! Uh, you have a mom! This not no my record scratch. <laughs> uh, Lissa, I thought you were an alien. Uh, um, Doxy goes. You know my fucking mom. My mom's dead. Fuck you. And she starts oh. running with her knives. Whoa! 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 Whoa!
<laughs> the, fucking, the fucking mud bombs that you were throwing at her. Oh, actually, uh, boom, boom, William, boom. I do need to it, do another. Can you do another con oh, save yeah. to keep the mud thing up? Because you did take damage. Uh, you succeed that Four too. Fuck it, whatever. 14. Um, yeah, yeah, 14. Uh, oh, da, 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 da. We will win the day! Oh, Jesus right. Christ. 14, man. 14's in this campaign. I'll tell you what. Yeah, I guess it just fucks in the, 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 the ghost of Helios. I like, managed to jam it off a little bit. It's blown up in our hands. The She's ghost of struggling. Helios is with us, protecting us. I, I, incredible. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> I can't tell you. All right, whatever. This takes fucking damage. I can't tell you how. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. It, I, I'm sure it will work at some point, and then it'll be very fun, and everyone will be like, "Oh, what a cool ability that was!" All Gosh. right, man. I don't know if I could take another one of those, and apparently they're gonna do something really cool if it hits. Yeah. So <laughs> we right, need to well, finish her off this that's round. That's the end of a fucking go. turn. Oh, oh my god. This guy paralyzed my cool boss monster for like an entire thing. I'm not. Listen. So I'm glad you know what it's like. <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. I am not even. I don't I don't even care, right? Fuck it. Why, you know, oh, you like, this is not even care. So, listen, this is this it is this is unusual. Like you care, this is unusual. I normally don't give a shit. It's just because I was so proud of this ability. And it's I was I, proud of what my Gengar could do, okay? Yeah. I thought he was really cool. And then you fucked him up. So at one time I'm like, oh, you know, I have this really cool idea for a fight, and it's gonna do this thing, and it's gonna but be. But isn't that dude, isn't that D, &D in a nutshell? No, I, I, yeah, I, I'm yeah, happy. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy that yeah. it's also turning out this way. There's still opportunity. She still has plenty of health left. Verona Shoot her in the face. Crit, 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 and kill her. Let's uh, do it. Come on. I got, I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna do one better for you, Captain. Oh, oh what do we got? I'm gonna ash and surge. We will do a to be continued at this point. Holy shit! Next time, things might be a little different. <laughs> <laughs> wow! What, what no, no, no. I mean, I'm not, it's not like I'm going to change what anything is... about her. I just hope that the roles will be better. <laughs> <laughs> for you, maybe. Yeah, for me, maybe. Yeah. I really wanted her to kill at least one of you guys. Come I, on. I, what? I do want to apologize. Is laying there. I. And In that moment, out of heels for the day. There yeah. is a puff of smoke. <laughs> Okay. And do you hear music? Sort of a um. <laughs> And then just feel like in the, in this the is smoke, kind of vibing, honestly. there's like, yeah. a, like a, dark, a dark silhouette. And then there's the smoke Chip, part. you're back! Oh, wait a minute. He's got like ginger hair. He's got like okay. circular glasses. Oh. Poignant nose. He's got equipment on his back. He's standing there. He looks around. It's good to be back, he says. You, everyone recognizes him immediately as Rick. The man who died <laughs> in the boat crash in episode one. Rick! 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 Uh, <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't kill Rick. He must have never said the pellet word. <laughs> you don't actually know. The implication here is that Chip was the one that Chip caused that him. boat crash. Oh. Rick. <laughs> what? Deep cuts, Rusty. Jeez. It's Rick. I never forgot what you did for me, Rick. Okay, in that case, I immediately go over and hug him. As you try I, to hug I him, joined. he puts his hand out. Rick! William. Rick, you're not letting me hug you. Strength contest. You, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, you, no, okay, go ahead, go ahead. You abandoned me, though. You died. You we were buried dead. you on a beach. I was dying. I wasn't dead. Oh, oh, you, oh. Then we buried you alive on a beach. Well, you know, that's all water under the bridge, right? <laughs> How come every every time we like <laughs> attempt to kill someone and they come back, they're so pissed they're at us? So can anybody just can somebody just can they just get over it? My <laughs> God. <laughs> we named our new crewmate after you, little Ricky. Little, little Ricky, Ricky. Did you uh, replaced me as well. Uh, no, well, when we I formed this crew, like honor in your memory. When but... I formed this crew, I thought we were you know a family. Now wait, hold on. I formed this. No, crew I in a bar when I was half drunk, and you were. Wait a minute. I was the. Mm. Wait, did you make your so, Captain William? Okay, so, all right, everybody. So, story time. Um, I may have not started the Devil's Luck Pirates. Did, oh, the Devil's, you changed its name? I mean, we've only been, tra I mean, we didn't travel that long. I mean, that was more of like a practice crew until we got to the real crew. A pr you were my first mate, William. And Duras, you remember I recruited you. Wait, I thought that was the captain who did that. Hey, yeah, no, I'm really. Well, I mean, I, I got remember. William to do it, but like, okay, I may have lied and told everybody that I recruited that I was the captain. Well, Verona, I recruited you, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so you introduced me to William, <laughs> but I was the one to tell William to recruit you. I heard about what happened on your island, and I thought, well, that's a man that needs a pirate crew. I was the yeah. orchestrator of this whole thing, and then and you you've been died, claiming and credit I, for that. I'm the first mate, and you died. We thought you were dead, so I became the captain. That's the hierarchy. Like, if I die, Duros becomes captain. You chose Duros as your first mate. 
mate. He's the best what? mate. I would have said it would be Verona. <laughs> Verona's ranked third. Hey, and why why am I not even an option here? I'm a strong <laughs> fucking bear. <laughs> no, no, no. No, here's no, the hierarchy I'm for captain. I, I know I can never be the captain. No, I'm here's the hierarchy. I, here's William, the hierarchy of captain. I thought, it goes William, you would never then Duros, then Verona, then, then Ragnar, then Louis. Then gravy, then pearl, then I'm just I'm just randomly throwing out. Like... Sorry, gravy before pearl? Yes. Gravy before, 100%. <laughs> gravy before me, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Jim, Doxy, Jimmy. you're the new captain until we figure this out. Right? <laughs> no, Verona? <laughs> oh, right, yeah, Verona. Yeah, yeah, you're the new captain, and then Doxy's the vice captain. How about we What's do that? What's said is right. said, captain. <laughs> <laughs> Eviscerates William. Fuck you. Killing him instantaneously. I passed on the captain mantle before I died, thank God. <laughs> to Doxy? <laughs> to Doxy, yeah. She'll be fine. So wait. I gotta think about the hierarchy. I didn't think about the hierarchy very you, much, okay? William, you promised me you'd never give me up, you'd never let me down, and you'd never run around and hurt me. And what did you do? You gave me up, you let me down, and now you're running around and hurting me. We have an alien on our crew now. She's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Lissa, say hi to Rick! We're getting rolled. <laughs> and I had to kill a fucking monkey to get here. Oh my god, you killed Chip? Chip's dead? You know that monkey? I- I possess that monkey! Listen, my last memories was dying on a beach after you guys left me to go up with some pink-haired girl, and then I'm in a white void, and there's a monkey in front of me, and I kill him, and now I'm here. Do you want to join our crew? You want to join my, my crew? My, you, my crew? You take orders from me. What is happening? How long? I'm the one with. The, I pull out. I pull out my wanted poster, and I'm just like, well, uh, it's actually been know. a long time since then, Rick. <laughs> yeah. We we've been sailing the seas for a while now. Yeah, we went to space and everything. Yeah. I can. You missed a lot, this. but you can you can join us back again. We could be united once more. As captain, right? Actually, that might not be a bad idea, but I really like to be captain. Yeah, I'm sorry, Rick, but William's my captain. I mean, we could try he, to fight. He helped me save who, my family. We could fight and you. we could duel and see who will become the new captain. No. Well, if then I'm what do not, you want then? Well, I, I want to be captain. It's not a... So it's either you become the captain of my or, crew or we're enemies. Yeah, if you want to be a traitor. It's, oh my God. It's not your crew. It's my crew. You've... You were dead. You were actually dead. Like, yeah, we checked, and now Somebody I'm checked his pulse, back. right? Rick, I want you to understand this shit. You're dead. You're gone. We didn't know how to bring you back, so something okay. had to happen. I Great. had to be the I next understand captain, that. Right? I understand right. that. But then the captain comes back. I'm the captain again. Right. But, like, this is obviously unprecedented. People aren't just coming back from the dead. So maybe we have like a maybe we have the crew discuss this and we have a little bit of like a like a gathering sort of thing. Uh, we could have we could have a vote. Yeah, like democracy. That there you go. All right. All for Rick being the new captain. I I, I don't, don't know how I feel about all this. <laughs> it's like I don't. I don't Rick, we all we all like you, Rick. They're the reason why we followed yeah. you in the first place. But at the end of the day, after you died, William took the leadership role and he was there to help me save my family. Right now, we're taking on a fucking Yonko blue blood he has no reason to do this other than the fact that we want to kill him and he's there for us every single can... time we, the amount of stuff that's happened since you died he's my captain until i die i just we could use your help rick to fight against blue blood how about this it goes me then duros's best mate and then you can be first mate I, uh... okay actually you know what I'll, I, I have a compromise that'll probably fix everything we'll be co-captains i don't give a shit about that we'll be co-captains how about that it's also different I don't even know who well, half of you are anymore. I'll let you sleep in my bed, I... not with me in it. That wasn't a sexual Whoa, thing, but that's... I'll let you. I'll let you have my my captain bed on the ship. By the way, we haven't seen the ship in like okay. weeks. We have no idea where that is. <laughs> um, but like, I mean, where... well, the ship sank, so he wouldn't even recognize the ship. Where... Yeah, yeah, that's we had to get a new ship. We actually where... had two new ships since you've been dead. Yeah. Where even are we? Middle of the new world. Middle of the new world. Yeah, a lot of shits happened. You've been dead for a while. Yeah. We're about to. Fight a Yonko. We uh, just killed a biblically accurate angel. <laughs> wait, wait, what is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, William. Okay, that's my offer. That's my offer on the table. I put out my hand to shake Rick's hand. Okay. What about it, old friend? Would you like to join the Devil's Luck Pirates anew and help us take down an emperor? I will accompany you guys. I'm not going to officially join. Don't leave me hanging. But I, I will, I will help you. Okay. 
and he um, um, shakes oh, your okay. hand. It does, shake, it does shake my hand. All right, cool. But know that I'm still right. hurt. I don't forgive uh, we, you. We, man, good that's, to have you back, Rick. Look, it is good to have you back, but we already have another kid on our crew that's like emotionally hurt by us, so we have to deal with him. Uh, you, maybe he's a reoccurring theme that you might have to take a look at. Oh my God, we're <laughs> pirates. I mean, right. we were supposed to be pirates, stealing stuff, having a good life. When I'm just saying, if I were to die and then came back like six months later or however long it's been since you've been dead, I wouldn't be mad at you if you took over as captain. Actually, that's bullshit. I probably would be. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Very um, emotional. Captain Everest, our former captain, is apparently back from the dead, so we got even more power uh, Yes, now. I know. Yeah. Rick D. Astley, uh, right? Um, oh, you have the will of D, too. I, I found out I have that, too. <laughs> he, we, we know many things about you, Rick. You you died, so your wanted poster went away, but we can have it reinstated if you want. But regardless, I'm glad we can have your power to assist us. We need all the help we can get. Ragnar fails the con save. Ragnar, oh. everyone else sees you disappear from existence. What the fuck? What? what? Right? Ragnar. 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 You Where open your I? eyes and you're in this like white void. Am I dead? In front of you is Captain Marrow. You killed me. I... Yeah, well, you, you killed our friend Adam. Who? Hashtag yeehaw. He pulls out a carton of milk, downs it and then his arms become bones. You are now in a 1v1 combat in limbo with Captain what? Marrow. Oh my god. God. Fuck. Bro's in the gulag. You are, yeah, you are in the gulag. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> He's fighting in the gulag to get um, you <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> you are literally in the gulag. Um, I'm not even gonna lie, that is literally what it is. Marrow kills you, he comes back to life. What the hell just happened to Ragnar? <laughs> <laughs> what is I blocked it. What the fuck did he go? <laughs> I blinked. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, Jesus. Um. We go into limbo whilst this is going on. Ragnar, Maro is in front of you. He turns his hand into like a bony mass. Back you cut me to think. pieces. Yeah. Oh, you're that guy. Now, now I know you're who you are. I thought you were going to well, I, I killed you once. I could kill you again. I thought you were going to you say you don't realize that there is it down yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, unfortunate for you, I'm at least 10 times stronger than I used to be. Walks forward, and I'm gonna do reckless attack. But what like, happens if I lose? Is Marrow like come in on a, on a parachute? Yeah. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm dropping no, this Marrow will, will appear right where you disappeared, alive. Oh my. And Ragnar dies. If you lose this fight, you die. Don't die, oh. Ragnar. Oh. I said. <laughs> Maro uh, is going to create a bone explosion in front of you, if you remember that. Uh, it's the big thing that uh, Duros blocked last time, or else it would have killed everyone. Okay. You slicing back. It's like a brutal, bloody brawl. He's exploding bones all over you. Uh, oh, yeah. This is, this is, this is a, a fight between two real men. No one takes a step backwards. We just swing until one of us swing. is dead. <laughs> genuinely, oh, yeah. yes. Maro is standing in front of you. He just exploded a whole bunch of bones in your face. Ha ha ha. This is actually so much fun. I don't know why I'm here and what's going on at all, but honestly, I'd be, I, I would rather be nowhere else and i just uh swing three times at him Ooh. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Oh my God. <laughs> double crit Oh my god. Holy crit. i have what? a feeling i won't be i won't god. be here for much longer wait <laughs> no wait wait back it's to back. If you kill this guy, does he go to like hell. super hell? Yeah. Like, where does this guy go? And from Captain Mara's point of view, he's only just died. And I wanted to be like a Negro. I can't remember exactly how I killed him last time, but I think <laughs> it'd be fitting if I just killed him in the exact same way. Like Kuma Crusher or like yeah. X Kuma, whatever. I just cut him in half twice. Go back and watch episode eight. <laughs> now I'm an executioner bear. Kuma Shredder, that's what you Kuma mean. Shredder. He gets ripped into pieces and then you. Pop back into existence. Ragnar! Um, you guys are not believe, You guys would not believe what just happened to me. Hi, uh, Ragnar! Down guy, here! A monkey. A monkey now! I blinked in your back. <laughs> Why? I blinked and you were gone. Going on. Captain's back on the front lines. Hell yeah, welcome back. Just right. pretend you didn't even notice. Like. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. This thing is the captain. It is the captain as ever, <laughs> Captain. Standing at the top of this castle, looking down upon you, is a man clad in black armor. Corona, uh, shoot him down. <laughs> he, he looks down on you. I mean, you can, I guess. He looks down on you, and a flames sort of seeping out of the cracks of his armor, and he doesn't say anything. He just looks at you. The front of his helmet bursts off like it rips off, yeah. and he's sort of looking down at sort of blood is dripping down his face, and then oh, he shit. he looks up at you, William, and you yep. immediately recognize him and his red hair, but his face looks twisted and distorted. Oh, and don't do that. You see rustage. Blake's face, and he sort of spits out some blood and sort of grunts. Ah! 
<laughs> Blake, I'm so sorry for hitting you in the face with an energy wave. <sighs> oh my god. What happened to you, man? I became stronger. You're so cool. I mean, you're still really cool, I have to say. You've been hitting the sea gym, I have to say. Holy shit. I became stronger. <laughs> Is that all you can say now? William, I didn't want to do this, but I must. No, you don't. You really don't. You could join us, and we could go take down Blue Blood together. And then you could join my crew. I could never forgive you for what you've done. I reach out my hand to him. I'm like, please. I wasn't strong enough to protect her. Listen, I haven't introduced myself. My name's Cleo. I'm number three of the assassins, the eight candles. I know we're supposed to be secretive, but I always thought that was silly. Why can't we be proud of who we are? We kill people. Bam, bam. This is about Cleo, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I wasn't strong enough to protect her. Shit. I always thought every day at the sea gym I would be training. I wanted to be strong, but I, I, you know, I was too careless. I was trying to be honest with my strength, but I realized after I couldn't protect the ones I loved, it's more important to just be strong, power at any costs. And then I met Blue Blood, and he gave me this fruit, and he gave me his blood, and I became stronger, stronger than I've ever been before. And now I see, now I see that this is what life is about. I, la I land on the ground and I'm like, oh, fuck my back. Guys, it's Blake. He's fallen to the dark I side. I see that. He was okay. talking yeah. very loudly. <laughs> <laughs> we have to, I think we have to kill Blake, guys. I don't know if I could deal with this. We'll see if I can get to him. I don't give a shit who it is. They light me on fire. Mm -hmm. They're going down. I'm using three sharpshooter shots. They're hitting into his flame body. <laughs> His eyes are burning bright blue, actually, and you can almost see, like, the veins on his neck pulsating with the, the sort of blue blood pulsating around his body. Uh, I mean, he looks a little roided out and unhinged. You're ribbing through him, but the fire is licking around the bullets. Ragnar takes a step forward, looks up, and he's like, Oh my god! It's Blake! Guys! It's Blake! <laughs> Blake, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? What happened to the Black Knight? <laughs> <laughs> I am the Black Knight now. It's an, ident what? an identity that suits me more. No. Yeah, I would agree uh, with you. Black Knights aren't Black cool. Knight. You're, you're cool, Blake. Come on. <sighs> you never used to wear that much armor. Ragnar, you're weak. Weak. I know you've always wanted to be the strongest man. I'm stronger than you could ever imagine. Oh, I see. You did the same thing that my son did. <laughs> uh, temporary strength. Fall in for the trap of blue blood. You lose yourself in it too. Blue blood I'm gave so me power. You don't understand the heart. I know you lot didn't care about her. I knew. I know the amount of people that you lot have killed. Uh, I know you lot didn't care, but I, I loved her, and I. The uh, one of the only reasons I became strong in the first place was to protect her. I couldn't, and you guys stood there and saw it happen. I couldn't. I couldn't. Like, could you just shoot her, please? <laughs> Bullet you know. walks over to Cleo and, and points a gun in Cleo's mouth and goes, Are you the fucking one that killed my older brother, here? Huh? And Cleo goes, No, I think I would remember something like that. Are you sure, motherfucker? Then who was it? Who was it? I want to kill the motherfucker that killed my older brother. Uh, and she goes, <laughs> Oh, oh, that would, I would, I would. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I we, we don't have that kind of information. I mean, but if you keep asking around, I think you'll eventually find out. Shoves the gun down Cleo's throat and goes, You're one annoying son of a bitch. You know that, right? Yeah, let's get hey, it. she did it. Yes. Yeah, she hits. Just click boom. Click let's boom. Go. And Cleo's fucking head explodes. <laughs> couldn't. And you guys stood there and saw it happen. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't be weak anymore, Ragnar. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry, Blake. Cleo wasn't on our side then. I consider you and Hemlock family now. I'm sorry that we couldn't save her. No apologies will bring her back. Nothing will. I don't, but I don't I... attain this strength. I didn't become as strong as I did today to take out, to kill someone that I care about. Come on, Blake. I've been reforged in the flames. Is if there you... still a part of you that still cares about us? All the good times we've had together? He doesn't respond. He just looks All at right, me. All right, so I, I use athletics to mm -hmm. try to get up, up to him. Ragnar looks Blake in the eyes and says, attaining this strength, trying to become the strongest bear in the world. I did it so I could protect the people that I care about not kill them. I drop my axe and I try to give him a, a hug <laughs> while br while burning myself. Oh, that was, that was so nice. Oh, burning while burning myself. Oh man, it doesn't fucking work. And he doesn't say anything in response to you, right? He's not like mulling you off. But the, the flames around him 
like a, a licking out and stuff. He will use his legendary action now to do a burst of fire around him. A refutation of flame. Blake, this may hurt, yeah. but I'm not letting go. You're hugging him in the flames. Clearly my words won't get to you. We'll have to knock you out first. And I go for a grapple. We gotta get that blue blood out of your system. You've gone mad, Blake. We're your family. You idiot! What do you use to dissolve your power if you have nothing to use it for? You're an idiot, Duras. You think you protect people, but how many people have died under your protection? And how many have I saved? I don't think they balance each other out. It doesn't matter. As long as you're able to protect at least one, then your life has meaning. I'm gonna look at Blake right in the eyes and I'm like, Blake, I'm sorry Cleo died. No, you're and not. I am. I'm sorry of what it did to you. I don't believe That's you. That's the best William can yeah, hug can I don't believe you. I am going to try to save you. I hope this doesn't kill you. <laughs> and I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna she got him in the face. We will try to save you, Blake. I know you're still in there. Uh, we can have some pineapple juice together after this. I'm going to look at Blake while giving him a hug. I already lost my son because of blue blood. I'm not losing you too. And I grab my executioner's axe, mm -hmm. close my eyes and swing for his hip three times. Blake. We're gonna save you. I don't need to be saved. I've already been saved. He says- By who? Blue blood? Yes. And it's fake power. What will you say once we kick Blue Blood's ass? Impossible. I've never met a man stronger than him. Hi, my name is Ragnar, and I'm a bear. <laughs> I'm a Blake is getting visibly really angry, like the veins in his neck are pulsating. <sighs> you are childish. You don't understand. Then, all of a sudden, a blast of water flies from the sky and it hits Blake and you see his like flame starting to be put out and he's like what is this um and it, it does extra damage towards him and Woo! then you look down at the entrance and you see a man blue hair tied back in like a ponytail shirt like jacket off arms out he is holding a trident with water fluctuating around the trident and he goes what the fuck did you just do to Pearl, you son of a bitch? And it's Cyril. Oh, so as Cyril stands there dramatically, the wind blowing through his hair to be continued. As that night dies, another person walks across the bridge. Another one? Oh, <laughs> another one. <laughs> you want to fight the Black another. Knight, huh? There's always two horses. <laughs> <laughs> we have to fight his entire stable. Uh, All right. Well, you'll have to fight his page boy. <laughs> and he starts transforming into a piece of paper and he's standing oh, there the and then he just sort of flutters away. He's like, oh <laughs> fuck, I forgot about this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> I guess we just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to, another person walks up, you want to fight the Black Knight, you have to get through his farm <laughs> hand. <laughs> and his hand yeah, becomes what? a giant vegetable. Oh my god. <laughs> what kind of vegetable? An onion. God, this is Those stupid. Layers, this I is hear. getting stupid. Like, let's just... <laughs> gonna make me cry. I mean, like, some of the other marines just kill that guy. Um... <laughs> You have to fight his. Shot. You'll have to fight his accountant. He just gets a sword in the neck. He's just like, oh, oh wait a second. You'll have to. You have to fight the secretary. No, me. You, you've, you've got to fight the man that feeds his chickens. <laughs> I shine his shoes. You got to fight me. <laughs> and like, there's like Ted's and Twitter. There's a whole his whole repertoire. I cook his meals, please. You How must fight me. How many people do you have on the salary? <laughs> oh my God. He's running out of employees. At this just right. killing not, random people now. There's no, <laughs> like, we're not doing it. They're just dying in this epic so battle. There's no reason for this slaughter. A man walks up. He's dressed oh, yeah, quite, quite refined. And he gets out a little chair and he sits down. He's like, I'm the Black You're Knight's therapist. And you might have to, you have to fight <laughs> me first. But firstly, why are you doing this? What is... I shoot him in the face. Ah! <laughs> oh, this is fucking stupid. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> he, he had the therapy therapy know me. Well, now That's Somebody else will get that. <laughs> <laughs> Which means all, all the all the devil fruit does is give you the ability to perform therapy. <laughs> okay, so Verona needed that therapy. <laughs> That could have been really weird. Someone for a second. Oh, maybe Cyril could have used that as well. Oh, now that we think about it. Oh, oh God, Jesus. Wait, I rolled, <laughs> we should have I rolled, recorded that guy. <laughs> I, I, I've now I'm rolled two you. fruits: a fruit that could return limbs to a body, and a fruit that therapy. Both something Cyril could need, and I killed <laughs> I, both opportunities. That's hilarious. Oh, okay. Shit. 
there's a big double doors that have already been burst open as well. And you guys burst through them into this huge throne room. The air stinks to death. There's, there are pools Ugh. of blue blood sort of running throughout this room. Like there's almost a river of it in the center. It just bleeds everywhere? That's kind of um, weird. <laughs> yeah. Uh. In front of you, you see a frail old man. He looks ancient. And he's standing over this huge built fella with like rectangular features who looks bloodied and beaten in a oh. marine outfit, I should say. Not dead, but I don't know. You can't tell if he's dead or not, but he looks yeah. defeated. This old man looks round at you guys, small and frail and old, and goes, Oh, I am tired. You look so weak. Not even worth my time. And he just turns around and starts walking back to his um, throne, and he's just sort of walking away. Does look like he's taking any damage? Oh, no, he looks fine. Doxy, is that him? That's him, all right. Fuck it. Don't judge a book by his cover. (laughs) As you charge into battle, the old man looks round and sighs. His body starts bulking out huge. His arms become these huge, fucking almost like roided out, huge biceps, huge arms. And he becomes big and bigger. And this like armor uh, comes around him, encapsulates his entire body. Old man face, the armor clasps around him. His eyes are glowing this uh, sapphire blue color. And now he's huge. Ah, you! <laughs> you dare face me, blue blood, last of my kind. This will be the day that you die. What is your name? William. I do not care. To me, you are just number <laughs> twenty-seven thousand four hundred and sixty-eight. That's my lucky number. <laughs> <laughs> you better That's... remember the name of the man who's gonna fucking kill you for what you did, Ragnar. All right, I guess go. it's time to roll initiative. And Blue oh, Blood shit. looks and goes, "Who would like to die first? How about you? He's gonna charge towards, so he like crouches down and then leaps forwards. With Fuck. great speed, he comes towards you, Duros. His eyes a streak of blue light, and he is going to punch you square in the jaw. 23. That hits. 81 damage. Oh. Um, um, and then he's gonna make an athletics check against you to uh, grab you by the throat. So he grabs you and holds you up into the air, and you feel that he's like grabbing you by the throat, and you feel his fingers dig into your neck. He goes, you're oh, weak. Oh, weak. What is your name? I don't care! (laughs) That fucking hurt. (laughs) Duros, please. Duros, on a scale of one to we're fucked, where where are we at? I think we're fucked, Captain. (laughs) Oh, shit. (laughs) He's going to use a legendary action here, Blue Blood Will. On a target that he has grappled, he can use a slam ability, which will, he will grab you by the throat, Duros. You get knocked unconscious as he slams you into the ground. And then he looks over with Ragnar with, actually, not even fury, in his eyes, just nonplussed boredom in his eyes. Louis yeah. the clock puts his hands out and Duros, he reverts all of the damage that happened to you on this turn. <laughs> you <laughs> nuts. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> I just completely fucking out of my league here. Okay. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Blue Blood sees this. Oh, I see. He's going to take his now, his third legendary action to leap into the air and he comes down and ground pounds Louis. Does just... Louis just die from that? No, he does. It's not a crit. <laughs> no, he doesn't. But holy shit, was it close. Uh, <laughs> Blue Blood, uh, Louis, if uh, Louis has like 40 ish HP, that if it was an 80 or above, I think that would have killed him, but it was a 79. So Blue Blood <laughs> comes down, smashes Louis into the ground. Louis goes, you know, like when like a punch hits someone in the back? And it like, it like an anime and the, all of the fucking stones come out and it's like, yep. it goes black and white for a second. That's what happens to Louis as he breaks his back and Louis is out unconscious, but not dead. Literally like two, I think like two damage away from death, crashes down to the ground and destroys Louis Leclerc. And as Louis Leclerc mangled French body, like flies up into the air. That's where we'll do it to be continued. Jesus. Oh. There go. Jesus. All right, so the healing serum. <laughs> oh, it's time for some healing fun. And it scampers over to Louis LeClock, injects himself into Louis LeClock. 
and Louis Leclerc opens his eyes. Ah, mon ami, I am alive. I thought this was the end for me. A poetic end for a boy like me. Louis Leclerc gets up. Ah, the birds, oui, oui, they are singing. Blue Blood has more legendary actions. He sees Louis Leclerc open his eyes and get up. He looks down at Louis and looks over at <laughs> William and goes, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't good. So there's a 5% chance that Louis Leclerc lives. No! <laughs> Oh, no! <laughs> oh, there was a chance. His armor class was 17. There was a chance. A, a faint glimmer of hope a at the end of the tunnel. Glimmer of hope. 85 damage. That He's dead. kills Louis no! Leclerc. No! Blue Blood <laughs> brings his fist down on the Frenchman. He opens his eyes. Oh. Here comes the giant fist. This must not be the timeline. This must not be the timeline. He turns around to you guys. You hear distant, sad French music playing. Mon amis, thank you all for having me on this journey. I, for once, felt like I was part of the family. And as he is saying his, his like final words of goodbye, the blue blooded fist crushes him deep into the ground like a bloody smear, a French pancake bloodied so on the pavement. <laughs> so we're talking just like splattered everywhere. Yeah, just, like... fully just smashed onto the ground. Blue blood, some of his cuts and stuff start sealing up. Oh shit! <laughs> and he looks up smiling at himself. F. Ragnar, you see, a, you see a very serious look on Ragnar's face. And even though he's been talking super confidently up until now, he knows it's a losing fight. He's standing on the edge of the pool of blue blood. And he says, I told myself I'd never do this, but I'd sacrifice anything for my family. Having just witnessed Louis die, he looks down at him, leans backwards and just falls into the pool of blue blood. Oh shit! Arms <laughs> open. Oh, it's As you oh, blood. No. fall into the vat of blue blood, the blue blood enters into your, like, you you get full gulps of it. Like, I'm drinking it. You're it's drinking it in. <laughs> oh, every God. pore and orifice. And Ragnar, you rise from the blue blood, bulging. Your bare <laughs> body, blue veins pulsing. Your eyes are crazy, veiny blue. Gripping your axe in hand, you feel an immense strength that you have never felt before. You also feel this immense bloodlust that you've never felt before. The only thing that you want is blue blood dead. You enjoy this power pulsating through your body. HP doubles and so does your damage. Oh my <laughs> god. Ragnar lunges out of the pool. As I'm rising like, and I'm standing out of the pool blood and like my hair is all like soaked in blue blood as well. Sha ha 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 ha. This feels insane. This feels incredible. He steps out of the pool of blue blood, lunging towards blue blood. Your fur is blue. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah. a oh, blue cool. bear. I am blue bear. Ragnar, <laughs> blue, blue bear form. I lean forward with my executioner axe, two hands on it, and you just see like every like muscle in my back like fucking pulsating as I swing down on it. And I swing three times. One of them's a critical, which is actually Ooh. crazy because the damage is already doubled. I guess I get quadded. Throw the damage. Cubed damage. All three hit. Yeah, 23, 28, Damn. 32, they all hit. So I'm going to add it all up and then damage, uh, double it all. So 72 times two is 144 44. damage. Holy fuck, that's what so I'm talking Blue about! Blue Bear oh Ragnar slices down for 144 damage, cutting into Blue Blood. Uh, cutting oh, up a nice that's... chunk of damage from him. Oh. As you, you just see like a wild smile from Ragnar as he's doing like he's enjoying it. <laughs> Blue Blood looks over and says, It feels good, doesn't it? It feels good. That was the blessing of my people. <laughs> this is a hollow victory if you beat me now. His eyes shine. First legendary action, he's obviously going to retaliate against you. Just two massive blue boys battling each other. Blue Blood is going to slam into Ragnar. 35 does hit, unfortunately, so you do take the 91 one damage but you've got a lot of health so you he can, can take, um, you can take 91 so you, okay, you so take the chunk of 91 it. damage but you you barely feel that as you blue blood is coursing through your veins you hear the stomping of Ragnar's footsteps as he walks towards Blue Blood, dragging his axe behind him. And he's just like, Blue Blood, where do you think you're going? Get over here. <laughs> Get over and here. You just see his like arm, the, the the one that he was using to drag the, the executioner axe, just like bulk up and grow a little bit bigger. And he just starts swinging Kuma X, uh, X. Go for the X across the chest. All right, with advantage. He has advantage because he doesn't have exhaust. Oh, no, a crit! Oh. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh. Holy shit, he has advantage because he doesn't have exhaustion anymore and he's recklessly mm -hmm. attacking. Yo, those would all hit without advantage. They all would hit without advantage. 25, 25, 25. Critical. But you do uh, 126 damage as you slice into blue blood, chunking his health away. My man, you can see he is getting closer and closer to death. Ooh. So yeah, you're cutting him down. These big giant axe wounds inside of his, his armor shattered. His blue blood splurting down and dripping down his body. But he is smiling and he's going to take his legendary action now to attack you back. <laughs> Bring it on, buddy. I knew the only person who would be strong enough to fight me would be someone who uses my own blood. All you're doing is proving that I am the strongest. He's gonna hit you for 92. Holy shit. Chunky oh. Ragnar. This is what you fucking get. It, like an echoey voice for killing my son. And it's just like, I like both Ragnars come in contact and like I almost slice him in half. But like, even though the first attack may have killed him, we don't even know. Ragnar just like keeps on fucking like slamming his body into the ground with his <laughs> axes, two axes, two axes. Eventually he drops his axes and he just starts clawing at his yeah. face. Yeah. <laughs> like, like the ground below him is like slowly crumbling and we're just in a pit. I, I, and I'm I, just like literally flat. As I, I want to say right before you do that, like as you're pulling the axes towards him, he just smiles at you. Oh, thank you for proving me right. My only regret was not finding the, the thing I came to this planet to look for. The first ever devil fruit. And then you just start rocking, ripping into him. Just clawing him into the ground. His b ripping all his body pieces. A, a shower of blue blood sprays out of him like a fountain. To an innocent bystander, it might just look like a rain of water. But the consistency is of the globules spray across everyone. Splattering like blue paint, like a Jackson Pollock painting. Um, Holy fuck. <laughs> and like, as he... As Right now he's doing it like he's like crying and laughing and crying and laughing and like almost like my fingers are like breaking and bleeding a little bit as I'm doing this. Like I am literally hitting the asphalt below him. And then he, there is a dead silence. What is in that hole doesn't even look like a body anymore. It is just oh. a mangled mess of meat and blue, like a blue river. Almost like a pond. Ragnar, you take all levels of exhaustion and you fall. Out. <laughs> Not all levels of exhaustion, obviously. Oh, yeah, he would die. He would die from that. <laughs> I just want to say before I go on contest, I, like, I, like, I almost like look back at like everyone around me with like still bloodlust in my eyes. I take like one step forwards and I just like pass out. That is the end of Blue Blood. All right, I'm on the ground pretending to be dead, and I'm, Duros is next to me unconscious. Pearl got knocked out of drag form. I'm just reflecting on everything in my life. Devil's luck, William. That's what you're all about. Everything you've done you is all what? about luck. We are the devil's luck. You know why? I'm picking a number, and it's going to be number 666. That's not even on the roulette! <laughs> <laughs> okay, then let's just go 66, then. No, 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 no
Luna? <laughs> you <laughs> fucking head. Oh. You roll a dunette, teleportation fruit. Teleport power! Power! And <laughs> Luna appears. I look, I look to Duros. I look to Duros' body next to me, and I think of Luna, and I just summon her. Luna appears. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> a moonlight <laughs> shoots down, and Luna sort of does like a, like a spin as Luna appears, sword at a ready in full resplendent armor. And she looks at Doros <laughs> and goes, Why am I here? I was just in the middle of giving a royal address. Because you're our guardian angel. Duros! She rushes over to Duros. <laughs> I'm dead. Duros, exactly, right? That's what I mean, right? She, she, she rushes over to your unconscious body. Duros, are you okay? To add. <laughs> <laughs> who? I don't know what to say. I'm dead. <laughs> who did this to him? That guy. The big blue bag. Giant blue piece of shit right in front of me. Oh, she God. she puts her hand on her stomach and goes, nobody hurts. Oh, oh, Duras fuck. Gets away. oh I just oh, summon a pregnant lady to yeah. fight the young. You did oh, just summon God. a pregnant lady. Oh, <laughs> You're as bad as me now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, oh, I was. So, also. I'm just realizing I could have just picked an ability to heal all of you fucks. Yeah. You could have resurrected Louie. <laughs> but you've chosen Luna, so she's here now. I choose, okay. The ability to revive people from the dead. I choose to summon a pregnant lady to save you from the dead. You press summon a pregnant lady. No. Which I am so happy. I am so happy. to partially evaporate liquids. Genuinely. I am so happy though because <laughs> I I because everyone in everyone in Twitch chat is gonna be like the most logical. What is the best way that we could do this? But this is I love this. This is so much fun. Luna is back, so I've got a fucking roll initiative for Luna. <laughs> fucking Luna quiz to Luna's character sheet. Oh my she god. You get to attack what you summon. I will say <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> I summon pre pregnant Luna in attack. <laughs> <laughs> She's like it's been a while since. We've been there. It's like she's like eight months pregnant at this point. God. Like she's God damn it. Oh my god. God, I need to get the oh. token for Luna. Where I'm just <laughs> She's not even that strong, cause it was <laughs> She was she was pretty strong when you fought her when you guys were like level seven. <laughs> it wasn't, you know. Uh, she was the first person that popped into my head. I'm and sorry, not Trevor. I yeah, thought Trevor. Trevor. I thought Trevor would be the first person to pop into your head. To be fair, I don't know why. The quiz the Luna comes down. Holy shit! Rolling her initiative. She's gonna just start using her diamond blade and start. She attacks three times. Six. Twenty-six damage as she cuts into blue blood. How dare you do this to the father of my child? <laughs> she oh said. <laughs> I'm like still unconscious. I love Twitch. Oh wait, no, she has to travel between universes, but you chose to summon a pregnant lady. She has to. Oh, not the pregnant lady, man. Not the pregnant. Not the pregnant lady. Oh god, no. Not the pregnant lady. Oh shit. You know we know Rustich's track record with pregnant women. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop. Stop. And are you ready to uh, let Louis go? Yeah, we take his little, uh, like, all the stuff we have left of him, and I'm just going to float it on a little boat out to sea. And <laughs> Pearl sets it alight as the flaming thing floats <sighs> into the ocean. Do all right, you have Aster, any words? Give like, us flaming baguettes that we can yeah. shoot as arrows over. Flaming baguettes. Aster, <laughs> give me a, a funeral beat. Do you want to say your final words? Louis LeClock <laughs> was a friend to us all. <laughs> he joined our crew to defeat his brother, a giant tree. He was a loyal companion that could turn uh. back time and appreciated mimes. Yeah. It was his one character fault. Uh. Yeah. He was also French. Does anybody else have anything? <laughs> Louis. Rest Without in peace, you, Louis. Quiet, we probably quiet. would be dead long ago. You will Louis. be missed. I didn't like you at first, but then I did. Rest in peace. Louis, you helped save us all when we needed it most. I'm sorry I couldn't save you in return. We should have been there. Oh. 
shipwreck. And on a plank of wood, there's this man laying there. He still looks alive, but he's just laying on the plank of wood. You're like French revolutionary art. Like, you know what a French revolutionary looks like? He's got kind of tan skinned. He has a big white bushy mustache and wavy white hair. And he has a big tricorn hat on. And he's sort of floating there in the ocean. You slap him? <laughs> Awake, sir. Ah, Please, suckling, wake up. Sacre bleu. What is going on? He seems a bit are... dazed and confused. He, he slowly starts to get up. Oh, Mon back, it is in pain. He puts his hand out. He like hovers it over the gash. The gash slowly starts to go back to what it looked like before his um, flesh, almost like it was returning to normal. Why Let me formally about? introduce myself. I'm sorry for being so rude. You did save me after all, and I. Uh, the name is Louis Leclerc. I am uh, a man, as you can see. I am oh, on the run, as you can see, and I am shipwrecked as you can also see. And I do in fact have a devil foot, as you called it. It is quite an interesting little thing. Let's me manipulate time, but in small pockets. Hold up, let me check to see if anyone else survived the shipwreck. He looks over. No, looks like everyone else is dead. <laughs> that is okay. Uh, that just, is... A, just, a, just a passing glance, you know what? Bye, Louis. We'll always remember you. <laughs> Crew will never be the same without you, Louis. Okay. And just a, a spiritual, like, it's like in JoJo's, like an image of Louis just appears in the sky. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Twirling his mustache. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You enter into this darkish room. It's lit up by various gizmos and gadgets and such. Mm. A man, it looks like he's tinkering on this enormous machine that takes up the centerpiece of the room. It's got weird, you can't really make sense of it. Weird metal structure that's looping in on itself. It's got weird clocks all over, the, an amalgamation of machinery. Working on the machine is this man dressed in sort of all blue with this blue hat with goggles on it. Uh, he's got sort of a long white mustache. He looks relatively old. He doesn't yeah. even turn around as you enter the room. He says, as you enter the room, he goes, If you already wanted to stop me, you are too late. Why have you come? Louis? Um, are you alive? He sort of turns around. It looks exactly like Louis, but like old. What the hell? Wait a second. Didn't we meet an old Louis at some point? Met an old yeah. Louis. How many he old Louis are there? <laughs> <laughs> ah. They're infinite Louis. <laughs> so, you know my name. I assume yep. you must be familiar with the Louis of this timeline. We were. Yeah. We, he was our friend. He was our, what was his position on it? M musician. He was our musician. He must have been happy. Good. Now he leave was. me alone. I have he almost finished. Are you a doctor, by the way? <laughs> I am a doctor in the same sense that Louis. Are we all doctors? I can reverse any injury, any illness. Oh, okay. Could your See, friend was... not do that? Oh, yeah, all the time. He saved us from death multiple times, but he couldn't save himself. But I see the Louis in this timeline is dead, as is the fate of many Louis. From I, I am from a timeline where I guess I never met you. Oh. And he's just do, still mindlessly still... working on his machine. Do you like mimes? Ah, I used to. I've forgotten all the joys of my youth. I almost died myself. I think we found emo Louis. <laughs> e emo variant Louis. Okay. Could someone play some French music? <laughs> <It's like sad. laughs> I almost died in my time, but I sent myself back in time as a way of saving my own life. And by doing so, crossed timelines since was this one. Time, it flows like a river, and it spits off at key junctions. Whenever I travel back, I jump between rivers, but I am unable to change course. This is why I already said you are too late. I just need to push this button. Look, I'm <laughs> just saying, well then push the damn button then. I mean, don't, but... I mean, I mean he will. <laughs> <laughs> he literally will. I mean, he has the reason not to. I am... It is not 100% finished, but it should work good enough. So his finger's like right about to push the button. We. Oui. Ragnar, throw me. I turn into the side of a I will push the button and then I will be back. But you already said you're not going to help us. I, I have no reason to. Give me a Look. good reason and then I will help you. I, is, I have a good reason. You've never had right. a negotiation before? <laughs> All right. Once you click the button and you're gone, is the machine still here? What if I break the machine? Can you come back? I will come back in the, in an instant. Uh, then push Here's the button the Louis. then. No, okay, hold on a second. Look, hold on a second. Louis, <laughs> <Bankrupt. laughs> Louis, right now. Listen up. I apologize profusely for for the behavior, Louis. They are idiots, to say the least. Oui. Um, what we're just trying to do here is, our Louis 
he was always a, a very odd man, let's just say that. But he was, he meant well, for the most part, was one of us. And we were hoping not really to capture you at this point. In fact, that was just like a side <laughs> thing that these guys over here wanted. <laughs> we really wanted your aid. Yeah. That's just a side see, thing. Louis, Louis was like family to us, and you clearly care a lot about yourself to the fact that you want to save yourself in every infinite timeline. Don't you think that if Louis cared about us, you should also care about us like yourself once did? We were like family to you. And what happened to this Louis? He got he smashed saving our lives. Exactly. Yep. He presses the button. <laughs> <laughs> No! Uh, I'm, I'm tiny, William. No! I mean, uh, that might be a good thing, honestly, because oh. if, if he does that, then our Louis might be immortal, and then he right, wouldn't well, have died. Wait, uh, he, Let's see what he, happens, then. He presses the button, and he looks up, and the machine starts whirring, and... And Did it starts roll vibrating. Do <laughs> you think that he actually press it? <laughs> and then, Hold on, I'll turn back to regular size. Okay, no, this is what happens. The machine starts whirring and going crazy. And Louis LeClock looks up and he goes, Wait a second, this is not right. This is not how it's supposed to go. And he's like frantically looking around the machine. Like, not have an emergency looking, stop? No, it's just, <laughs> I just, uh, I just, uh, you, it is because you arrest me. And, uh, oh, it's I was our fault to, now. Listen to this crap. It, it is okay. It's just. I, I, it's fine. I just—he's like messing with some of the the um fucking wires and shit, and he's he's going around, and the machine is like vibrating, vibrating, and then there's like a flash of light, and then you hear birds, and you open your you hear eyes. Birds. You're in a sort of field, and the sun is rising, and you look around yourself, and you guys are all there. Okay. And so is Tempest and Olaf and all of those. Even Jimmy. Even Jimmy and Doxy, everyone oh, that was in the oh, room, thank God. Oh, thank uh, God. but not Louis, notably. And you you sort of you open your eyes, and you hear a voice. What are you doing lying there? And a man walks up, he's got a retinue of sort of soldiers, and he's got this like nice blonde beard and long flowing blonde hair, and he's got armor that you recognize. And you actually kind of recognize his face as well. And he goes, this is um not a safe place to be sleeping, friends. And he sort of smiles. Um, the hell? And you recognize the armor as Blue Blood's armor. And right. he looks like a really young Blue Blood. Can I have, what's that called? A frappuccino? <laughs> Could I have one of those? Do you have money? Wow, you assume that I have no money? That's ridiculous. Are you, you not with the, ever. you are dressed a little weird. You don't have a shirt on, and I'm sorry, <laughs> but no shirt, no service. No have you shirt, never, no this is, this is prejudice? Oh I have never been a barbarian so, before. I will. So I will. I'm I will going report, to have the, I'm going to tell the news station. On, please. I'm, I'm going to tell the news station that you didn't serve me because of my race and the fact that my people don't wear clothes. Give me a frappuccino. Ragnar, right. Ragnar, I have a plan to get money. Don't worry, we'll get you the I, frappuccino. I am, I am I going have to idea. have to ask right. you to leave. I'm sorry. No, no, we're leaving. It's cool. Okay. <laughs> I flip a table on the way out. <laughs> oh my Jesus. God. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> One thing, if I didn't have money, but because I didn't have a shirt on. We've got you, Karen. We've got. I want everything to blow up. Let him eat the food. <laughs> Can I have some money for a frappuccino? This place yeah, me off. Here's I, I hand him if it's like oh, if it's like American dollar, I, I give him a twenty. Here you go. I walk it's in. A, One a... frappuccino, please. I slap the money on the table. Still no shirt on. Oh, I no. told you that you're sir, you're banned from this store. Put a shirt on. I grab my ass table. Cut the fuck in my bar you, table. You hat. cut the bar table. <laughs> oh, she, she desperately goes to a phone and picks it up. Police, police, we have a madman with an axe just destroyed the table threatening my life in here. Give me a me. goddamn frappuccino. Jeez, the mother of a frappuccino. I was scared. Okay, so we'll make a frappuccino. Jimmy is watching this all go down. He's just in a park outside. It's like, I'm just gonna wait for the nuke. <laughs> I'm, I'm with just, you, Duros. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm just waiting for the nuke yeah, at this yeah. point. <laughs> I, have my, I, I have my axe like, it's towards like, like, the girl's back. Give yes. me a frappuccino. Pacino it's right like 2.30 to 3 at this point. That whole escapade with William took... <laughs> <laughs> So what does she do? Does she make me a frappuccino? I have the axe at her neck. I mean, yeah, she's gonna stop. She's already called the police, and now she's gonna start frantically trying to make you a frappuccino. She's uh, like shaking as she's like running. The it makes the frappuccino even better because it's like 
uh, it's a f- Cobetti it's and Chainsaw f- Man right now. <laughs> <Cobetti>. <laughs> it's a Frappuccino. As she's about to finish the Frappuccino, yeah, you guys I'm notice not- a bunch of police cars stop outside of the Starbucks. Dang. I grab uh, the Frappuccino, I take a sip. You really like Delicious. it. Oh, okay. Radar takes a sip, and he's like, oh my god, this is almost as good as ale. I am so sorry. Next time, serve a, if a, if a, a huge dude with no shirt and an axe comes in, maybe serve him. I use my carpentry skills. It's just I fix, fix the, the table. I fix the table at the, uh, at the counter. I fix it all. I say, thank you very much. And start walking out. And then as what you happens? get to the door, two police officers bust in. All right, all right, all right. Hello, hello, hello. What's all this then? You've been causing quite a ruckus around here, mate. You're under arrest hey. for disturbing the peace and vandalism. What vandalism? He looks over. Miss, who said he destroyed the table? And the, the woman's like, yeah, but he <laughs> rebuilt it? I know. <laughs> Better than normal? <laughs> it, let it I, I think she's losing it, man. I just got upset because I wasn't wearing a shirt. But I have money. This is place is no fair. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right then, sir. We will not arrest you, but we must ask you to leave the premises. You are trespassing. Uh, I mean, yeah, the frappuccino I, was pretty good. I'll just leave. As I'm walking out, I look over at the lady. Next time, don't be rude to paying customers, you stupid bitch. down. <laughs> 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 Holy oh, oh, shit! Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. They both look like Louis. It is now Red blind. Louis' turn. <laughs> Red Louis looks around. He's on the floor. He sort of looks up, just sort of shrugs his shoulder, and then sort of clicks his finger. And you see him slowly mm. go back into standing position. All his wounds clear up. The sword flings out of Duris's hand and enters into what? his I hand. I can't even grip it. The time of it completely reverses. And then he just like brushes down his coat and goes, Oh, well, that was a little bit annoying, but any, meeny, miny, more. He points at Ragnar. Ragnar, I need you to do a wisdom saving throw. That's cheating, you son of a bitch. You fail, Ragnar. Oh he reverses you back down to level one. Okay, Rustage, fuck you. I just did a, I just did a One Piece video game yesterday where this bullshit happened. You're a boss fucking shit again. <laughs> Dude, back he to level one. Back, level back to one, level dude. one. So it's like back in time before you got your uh, bear devil fruit as well. He is no longer a bear. <laughs> he unbears you. Unbears your my, Ragnar. My, oh. my name is Ragnar. Uh, I'm not a bear. You feel yourself <laughs> get physically weaker. Ragnar, you now have 15 HP. 15 oh, HP. Shit. You are a level one barbarian. Oh God. Jimmy is stronger than you at this point. Jimmy that is stronger sucks. than you. Jimmy's actually stronger than Ragnar. Jimmy goes, he just healed up all of his health. Bada bing! Do we, we only have... notice anything like happening? You, you to see Ragnar, Ragnar get less swole. <laughs> oh no! You still have your weapon. He took his muscles! Ragnar stomps and takes one step forwards. You think even at level one, I'm gonna back down? <laughs> oh no! You think I'm gonna run? Ragnar never runs. He reaches into his back pocket and he grabs a syringe, but the syringe is blue now, and he fucking stabs himself in the arm. Level one Ragnar can't handle this! <laughs> His body explodes. Oh, do dies? I just die? I don't. You, uh, level one Ragnar needs to make a level one Ragnar needs to make a Constitution saving throw. Level one Ragnar dies. <laughs> you stab yourself with the blue blood. You feel it pulsate through your body, and it gives you so much power, more power than you could even you. handle. Your fucking veins explode. Your fucking you fall All apart. Right, I'm dead, I guess. Oh fuck, Ragnar. <laughs> oh. I, Jesus are you Christ. kidding me? It all drugs listen, are whack. Level 16 Ragnar, it put him on the brink of death. Level 1 <laughs> Ragnar, it's gonna destroy Blow his heart him. up. Do I like get some attacks in as I die, at least? What? No, you're, you're you're just, I get like jacked for like four action. seconds. Oh my god. All right, I guess I'm no. Ragnar would have done it. All right, Ragnar, Ragnar like you just injected like a hundred milliliters of heroin directly into your question. fucking heart. I have a question. Something about fate changes on a whim. You can get an attack in; it will do double damage, and then you will die. Ragnar takes one step forward, injects himself. He's like his muscles are like convulsing; he can barely <laughs> handle it. And I'm just like, if you can change your face, <laughs> if you can change your face. <laughs> Uh, you don't even Sorry, hit miss. him! <laughs> <laughs> you swing with so much force down towards oh, Red Louie as your body oh. just crumples and turns into a sludge. My sides. Oh. Sludge, he just, he just, you just dissolve? After okay. we reset, I'm getting a fucking frappuccino. Jesus. <laughs> All right. We have to tell his wife those were his dying words. You know <laughs> that, right? <laughs> oh my god. See, in a normal situation, I think Verona would be in shambles right now, but he knows we have a good chance of just resetting. Mm-hmm. So he's I gonna hope. stay focused. We just saw stay in focused. 
We saw one of our friends <clears throat> die right in front of us. He's not dead Why to himself? me. He's coming it wasn't back. Even about Red Louis. <laughs> he killed himself. <laughs> he literally. He that even makes it even worse if he turned into a pile of goo suicide. on the floor. All right, legendary. Action. Can you fix him? Can you fix him? Louis <laughs> <laughs> like, I cannot bring him back from the dead. This is <laughs> fucked up. I glance over to Verona on the other side of the room, and I just like. Right? Okay. I'm gonna grab Void Louie and just blow myself up with the Mara Mara no me. Just oh like, shit! Bear hug and then just like firestorm! <laughs> just like try to nuke. I'm just gonna light myself up. So. William, you jump into, into Red Louie. Captain, what are you doing? What's going on? <laughs> I mean, it still hurts. You're still... Durus, you immolate and die immediately. No, I don't actually... It's half damage, so I'm actually still alive. What, well, you're unconscious? Uh, Captain, what are you doing? Ah! <laughs> still there. I'm just watching everyone on fire, just like... Uh, this is bad. <laughs> the most Duros thing I could do is I would look to Verona. At least make sure the other ones get out. And I'm gonna try and grapple him. Oh! <laughs> he <laughs> critically succeeds. You try and grapple him, and he just holds you up and goes, ah, mon ami, mon ami, <laughs> to where, <air>, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Maybe I did not uh, introduce myself. Zimabel Louis Le Clock. This is a name that you shall learn to fear. Well, shit. And he critically oh, fails! Oh, 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 oh. Holy shit! And he kills himself! <laughs> <laughs> we won as level one! Get shit on! Let's go! Oh. This is what he does. He tries to attack Duros. Duros blocks it off with his shield. He goes, ah, never mind. He goes in to stab Blue Louie. The things come out to shoot, but they turn round, <laughs> point at Red Louie, and he goes, uh-oh, Sackler Blue fires it off, <laughs> unloads into Red Louie, and Red Louie's body pff, lays there massacred. Doesn't matter the timeline, doesn't matter how badass Louie is, he's still Louie. Jim, Doxie, you're the new captain until we figure this out, all right? <laughs> Not for <Verona? laughs> <laughs> oh, right, yeah, Verona, yeah, yeah, you're the new captain, and then Doxy's the vice captain. How about we What's do that? What's said is right. said, Captain. <laughs> do you you captain can use Doxy. a luck point, William, if you really want to. He pulls out Waterloo, sure. stabs it into you, fires off the shots, eviscerates William. Fuck you. Killing him instantaneously. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it is. I am one of the strongest Louis to ever live. I passed on the captain mantle before I died, thank God. <laughs> to Doxy? <laughs> to Doxy. <laughs> Yeah. She'll be fine. I don't know why. I She'll don't be feel fine. Anything. He I've been made captain in this bullshit. We're fucking getting out of here. They're dead. I don't want to die. I don't even care if we, you know, if we reset and we come back and shit. I just don't want to feel that pain, you know? The pain of death is not one that I want to know. So I'm saying full retreat. You guys do whatever you want, but my I'm a captain's orders, in it? Jimmy's like, I'm bad at pain. That's good with me. <laughs> he starts running they towards the- They just abandoned our dead bodies. <laughs> Jimmy That's fair. That's fine. I look over at Duros. What do you think, Captain's orders? Are we staying? I, I'd rather not lose more friends. <laughs> Time traveler Louis goes, This is not good. We'll never be able to beat him like this. <laughs> well, for the rest of this day, you're a member of this crew. I don't like that. Got I... a bullet in the back. <laughs> Sorry, you are not the captain. This little girl is. <laughs> he, she is True, the one the that decides. Did, even though I am first mate. All right, still fuckers! Alive. Pizza party! Oh, he is technically still the captain. Let's go fucking rob everyone and then die! Alright, we're now mutiny. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. No! <laughs> I'm fucking when we die and wake up again, you are never allowed to be captain ever again. No, let's go fucking rob. <laughs> Listen, right, this is the one thing that William Dever, you guys are fucking pirates, you barely fucking rob anyone. We rolled pineapple juice together and it was great, one of the best moments of my life, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into those fucking casino, get that money, get all the- I picked Oxy up, I heard the stuff hey. of her collar. And hey, I'll fucking stab you, mate. Listen, That's I don't it. care if you have I armor on your- at arm's length. I'm sorry about this, Louis. I don't, I don't care if you wear a fucking cod piece. I'm I'm gonna stab your balls off! <laughs> uh, how did you get so There's nothing we can even do with the money in the next couple hours anyway. So it's yeah, but we can, it's gonna go away. But it's, the, it's not about the money, it's about the thrill of the heist, the steal, innit? How did you get so corrupt? Listen, it's, it's hard out there. 
<laughs> on the streets. You know, you know who my dad and my mom was. <laughs> that is true. Don't you yeah. n- want to not be them? Oh, they didn't steal shit except for lives, I guess. Right? I ain't doing a murder unless it's necessary. I'm just doing you a just robbery. Said you wanted to stab some people. Oh, stabbing ain't murder. It's just bodily harm. She points over to Verona and goes, "It don't fucking matter anyway. These bozos are kind of come back. I want to have my time as captain." <laughs> look, look, look. Daros, just let her. That was just not the time to be we, selfish. We, we, we need prove to help we're, solve the situation. We prove with Giza Louis the moment the explosion happens, we're all gonna wake up in a field with some knobhead grinning yes, down like he's a fucking hero. Than we, have before. we have ways to gain knowledge. And what sort of fucking knowledge are we gonna get? I touch the pineapple. As you do that, behind you, this door in the air opens up. What the fuck? Two men step out of the door. Behind them, a third man also said, three men step out of a door. <laughs> One man you recognize immediately as Red Louis. <clears throat> and he's sort of shaking his head. I thought you would come to save Louis again after I died in the last loop, but I should have known you had another objective. Oh shit, you keep and then your memories too. Two people next to him, both in red void agent uniform. One of them has black horns like this, and a sort of long nose face. You guys don't recognize him. The audience will recognize him as Bluno from One Piece. <laughs> <laughs> and he's the one who so did the door. Come aboard and bring a mug. Oh, your hopes and dreams. Okay. Um, um, but he actual... looks older than the Bluno in, in One Piece. And then... is... Wait, 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 wait. Let's pause for a fucking moment. This is the first actual One Piece character that yeah, has appeared, we... and it's Bluno. 64 episodes in, and we get Bluno. <laughs> That's the one you wanted. Love then. you, Roy. Bluno. <laughs> Void agent Bluto. On the right is a man. He's got silver hair. He looks older. He's got um, a sort of beard. He's wearing goggles. Okay. Um, and he's got a rifle on his back. Um, he's on a sort of purple jacket underneath the red regular jacket. And he goes, Louis, I haven't dealt with a codename mirror in a while. I told you not to pull me into cases like this. And he pulls out the rifle and you sort of, Verona, you obviously recognize him because he oh looks just God. like you, but he doesn't have any burns on his face. That's the important thing. He looks like an mm. unburned version of you, older, like in, in his like 40s yeah. or 50s. Are you guys here for this pineapple? We're here to stop you from getting the pineapple. Okay, well, the situation, who's the fourth guy behind all three of you? <laughs> <laughs> do, a, do a deception roll, you, you son of a bitch. 32. 32. I mean, they all look for a Run! moment. <laughs> you start running. They look Where back. do we go? <laughs> I guess I'm, I'm, I'm just grab following Grab a pineapple Lord. and fucking book. I'm going I to guess the security roll, room. All right, you guys, you guys get a free dash or a free movement, but you're still going to roll initiative because they are between you and the entrance. So you do have to run past them. As I'm running away with... I, I pocketed the pineapple. I threw it in my bag. I'm rolling my devil fruit as I'm running. I don't, don't want to do this, but I feel like Ragnar has to do it. <sighs> I'm just doing right. You have to perception to what are you even doing? see it. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. All right. Wait, actually, does Ragnar notice it, Rustage? Can one of us just be like, hey, Ragnar, look over there. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> and we're walking by it. Uh, <laughs> so he doesn't quiet. see it. Be like, mm, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, can, I can roll a perce- <laughs> perception. Uh, yeah, I guess roll a perception to see if you do see it. Because I'm sure no <laughs> one points it out for me, obviously. <laughs> no, I'm trying to point oh, the That's good enough. 13 is definitely good enough. Damn it. I mean, it's just seeing a big fuck off store. Like, it's not like you're trying to. <laughs> Boys, um, I'm sorry. I'll be really quick. Uh... Ragnar runs inside right. in bear form. He's still in like a hybrid bear. Mode. <laughs> oh my god! And he's like, "Hello, people of this planet. I am a bear, and I need a, frapp- a frappuccino <laughs> to save the world." Who, who the fuck are you? Why? Where's there a bear? Guys, it's the same. Obviously, the same uh, barrister. Yeah. <laughs> Ragnar slashes a hole in the in the in the table oh! like, of the counter. She rushes over says, to the phone again and starts that police. And I, 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 I smash something in the, uh, the, the the table and I say, please give me a frappuccino right now or else I'll kill you. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this police, is a robbery. Police. Hand over the frappuccino. I guess we're all just sitting outside. Like, That's I'm outside on the t- little table outside of the <laughs> coffee shop. So just like... <laughs> She's threatening, threatening my life. What? The bear wants a frappuccino. <laughs> okay. Hand over all the frappuccinos. Give me the frappuccinos now, please. I gotta make it. At least one. Just make one. Just make one. Please. Thank you. Free of 
<laughs> Can you do an intimidation roll? Yeah. This woman is dedicated to her job. Oh, yeah. she's like, okay, okay. And she starts Make the frappuccino right now. working on making the frappuccino. <laughs> Don't get any, any tears in it, goddammit. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> and she hands you the frappuccino. Okay, here I'm you gonna go. say for the sake of this, Duros does not notice this. He's just outside. I'm yeah, we're just, just outside on the little table. Just like, like waiting yeah. for Ragnar and just yeah. disappointed. I mean, you guys start hearing a police car in the distance going, woo! Ragnar, oh you, did, did she hand it over? Yeah, she hands it over. Ragnar chugs it real <laughs> quick. Mmm, that was so good, Miss Barista Lady. The and um, <laughs> and fixes the desk real, the, the table real quick. You don't even know um, her name! <laughs> You've done, never asked. you've done this four <laughs> times or three times. Hey, if I die, I'll be back. <laughs> and then, as, I'm walking out the fr as I'm walking out the front door, I just like take change back into a human. And hopefully like... <laughs> He's gonna okay, but how, could, could she could she see? Like I was like, I was walking out the door, so like it's, it's like inside. it's it's one of those sort of um, glass oh, doors. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, yeah, I should yeah, have yeah. said that's what it was. I, I picture everything in like these like oh, like in One Piece is like wooden doors. Yeah, but it's you know this is like it's, it's like, like an actual Starbucks. Yeah, <laughs> she's got like yeah, a glass door, true. so she sees you turn back because he was a man, and because the tables thick, she just has like a breakdown. Nobody's ever gonna <laughs> believe me. <laughs> 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 All right, Ragnar, did you get your ice cream? I mean, ice coffee, whatever, whatever it was Oh, called. it's a frappuccino. Oh, maybe right. I should get one, Captain. That looks kind of delicious. A police car rolls up and a man gets out of it. He goes, guys, there's been a bear sighting around here. You need to evacuate the area. Yeah, you, you, you better hurry up. There's a bear in there. <laughs> Uh, the, I was gonna tell him it went somewhere. Okay, fine. It's whatever. Right, let's, I just walk. Let's just go to the north. I'm, I'm, I'm following Verona. Here. I'm just going. You know, uh, right. bears are crazy strong. Listen, I really want my sniper rifle. Let's get out of here, guys. But there's no point until we know what's going on. Hey, we'll get Ragnar, it on the last loop. Ragnar, did you actually get her name? Do we even know what that lady is called? You've scared the crap out of her for like the last four loops. She has a name tag, but I didn't read it. <laughs> <Of course. laughs> Alright, let's just go. Come on. Think, can Ragnar even read? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. he, could read. he probably couldn't read that small text, though, with his perception. As you guys right. leave, behind you in, in the distance, you can see the doors of the legally distinct Starbucks open, and you see the barista go <laughs> in handcuffs. Oh my god! As the they police arrested? officer, the police officer is like, "You know, police time is valuable. You ought to be oh doing community service for lying to the police." And just <laughs> this is a brutal. Just for a false call to the police, you get arrested. Dear God! Yeah. Well, was right. there like other people in the in the shop? Or no, it just her. It was just her. Oh, okay. I guess it wasn't a popular shop. It then. wasn't popping. Right, well. <laughs> Doesn't okay. matter, we're all gonna die soon anyway, so let's keep going. <laughs> they chuck her in the back of the car and it drives uh, off. I'm, I'm, I'm sure she'll be fine. I'm sure the justice system <laughs> in this world works great. Okay, so you- I feel kind of guilty. <laughs> oh, well, let's keep going. <laughs> Why is that lady section? being arrested, Ragnar? What's going on there? Was... <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, want... man. I think I, 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 think I traumatized her. She was, she was screaming and called the cops, but I don't know why the cops arrested her. It makes no sense. Me neither. Yeah, I don't get it. I'm sure she'll be They should be, be trying to arrest that bear. <laughs> yeah. They'll find, they'll find the bear. It'll turn up somewhere. Yeah. I think once they, she tells them that the bear turned into a human, they were like, this one's a psycho. <laughs> this... <laughs> she needs, she yeah, needs to be needs put away. Help. Let's arrest her. <laughs> That's what the like, police right. do. I will help you this boss person. He's the least that I could do. Um, where is he? We wheel, we wheel, wheel boss, boss out. <laughs> William. I don't think I have much long left. It's okay, we have a magic Frenchman. We oui, oui. built a time machine and is here to save you. I assume he wasn't born like this with the uh No. So I've got uh, to reverse him to the point of how long ago uh, did this happen to you? Oh. I'd say go back maybe a year just I to I'm be sure safe. Boss would know <laughs> yeah. about, no, you can just you a know, year, two, five years is fine. Do, let, do let about a year. Yeah. Don't, don't, I don't want you killing your father. <laughs> <laughs> about about eight months would be fine. Okay, well, this takes a lot out of me. Uh, I, will, I will need to rest for a little bit after this. Uh, it uh, takes a lot of energy to reverse someone this much. Uh, you you safe, Louis, I promise. Uh, He's just screaming. Uh, the veins pulsating on his eyes. arms. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, the miming helps. Uh, what do we... Uh, miming is really important to controlling our powers. Uh, 
Ugh. I learned from the mine pirates. You know, they're famous, right? Yeah, it's the, uh, yep, the mine pirates. They're Everybody one of the loves the mine pirates. Greatest pirates in all of the seas. Uh, at least from my timeline. I couldn't find them in this timeline. I wonder what happens to them. Oh, oh no, probably around there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and as he, like, strains, you see Boss's arms slowly start to revert back into human arms. His wings shrink back into his back. The horn shrink down. You see him grow healthy and he looks way younger. I mean, he looked fucking like 50 years old, but now he's back to his sort of more, you know, 30s, 40s looking mm. vibe and his body sort of recovers and then he stands up and he's just a regular looking man. He looks like a chimney sweep from Mary Poppins. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mary, nice. Fucking <laughs> Mary Poppins. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, oh, <laughs> William, this is amazing. Boss, you're and back. He, I go up and like slap him on the uh, shoulder. <laughs> he, yeah. he slaps you on the shoulder and then embraces you in a big hug. And, and I goes, hug him too. William, yeah. I didn't think I would ever... And I never thought we'd have a chance to do this again. And I punch him in the stomach. Oh, it's just, you know, yeah. and then, you know, yeah, it's a uh, thing. And he yeah. fucking decks you in the face, yeah. but... Oh, damn it, <laughs> what the yeah! Fuck? No. I kind of missed this. Up, but, but it's, it's you, old man! Here, here's the thing, William. He decks you in the face, and yeah. it's not like the strength that you remember. The, oh, old, the How strong you are now yeah. from when he did that last is astronomical the last time he did that you would have been like pre-level one right so oh, God, yeah, he yeah. punches you and it doesn't even really feel like a thing you're, yep. you're and he's like ah, isn't it ironic that the moment i get healed and it's you've already surpassed me in strength yeah i have nothing more to teach you i guess that's okay. I have a child now, too. Doxy, meet your granddad. <laughs> Hello, oh. Doxy. He, he, he crouches down. I know I was just some old geezer in a wheelchair, but uh, my name's Jackson Lotsworth. I'm like, I guess I'm like your grandfather. And Doxy's like, who's fucking old geezer? I don't like him. Uh, Jesus <laughs> Doxy, be nice to your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, One wow. One big happy family. This is the closest thing William's ever had to a family. He actually <laughs> Jay- starts to tear up. A- Jason Locksworth. Doxy, meet your granddad. I don't know his real name. He always never told me his real name. I don't oh. even know if that's his real fucking name. He William, might just it, be screwing William, around. Yeah. William, it, it is yeah. Jason Locksworth. I, wanted, I don't know if you're telling the truth. I wanted to apologize as well. I mean, I probably yeah. already did, but just especially yeah. I, I know right. I killed your parents and all that. And, and I deserve I was- the justice that Trevor, if you wanted to hand me over to Trevor, I wouldn't. No. No. It's fine. We, Me and Trevor have always hashed this out. I mean, like, right. it is what it is. You know, my parents never knew. Well, him. I don't know what to do with yeah. my life now. I could go back to the Oasis and see if Roulette is still interested in me, but I don't think without my animal parts, she doesn't really... I don't think she's going to dig me as much. Um, Wait, was that... Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, huh. Maybe I'll find a job at this this uh, place that we're going to. The Eight Flames base? Or you could join my crew. Oh, of course. I just... We'd love to have you. Yeah, why not? All I'm gonna do is hand Alyssa the slip. Oh, what's this? Spider robot info. So, so creepy crawly. Thought you might be able to use this. Thank you. She sort of just grabs your wrist for a second. Verona. Um. Yeah. Thank you for for still being alive. I I was worried a bits about you. Gotta be more careful. Of course. I'll do my best. I, and then I go on to monologue about how we all got blown up like three different times. <laughs> 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 Verona, that's not good. Oh, it's, I don't know if I could have handled that. Thank God I wasn't there. I think that would have caused me so much distress. I can work on these spider robot things, but I think the, the spaceship is the most important thing to get Luna back home and all that. Of course, this um, is just in case you need something to tinker with in the future. I thought you're the only person who has any use for this rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, th- thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> thank you. I mean, you you don't have to go back to the crew so fast, do you? You could stay here and no. help me work a little bit if you want. Yeah, let me help um, you out. Yeah, thank you. And then they just start helping each other out. Um, Luna's sitting there. She's reading a book and she yeah. places it down. Oh, Dora, sonny. Well, hello there. It feels like it's been a long time, but for you, it's probably only been maybe been less than a day. Did you find what you were looking for? Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, I explained to her what happened to that, the adventure. I'm not going to go into all that. But, yeah, I'm, oh, I'm also gonna, that sounds like, like a lot. I did lose a, another friend, though, and hmm. I gained a new one as I pulled out a uh, question mark sword. Question mark sword. <laughs> That's who I'm sorry for now. I have no idea what to name wow. this yet. I just love how yeah. it glints in the moonlight. It's a beautiful light. weapon. What mm, are you interesting. gonna call it? Maybe the light. The light? Yes. Like a like a beacon. Like you are, Doris, yes. and she holds your arm and sort of rests her head on your shoulder. You know, I oh. I don't really get to see this often, but I really do miss you when I'm up there by myself. 
Once you're done with well, all this pirating thing, I would love you to maybe stay for a little bit longer. I would like that, Luna. I'm just going to have to probably run this by you, though. Uh, <laughs> 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 the, the, the captain, um, he said that there was some sort of space thing on the moon. We might need to use your spaceship that we're building for you to go and fight this new threat. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> uh, right. Yes, yes. They blew up an entire island. It's not something we can leave be. I... You saw that, right? I'm sure you did. Yeah. She smiles, <laughs> but she kind of grips you a little bit tighter. Yeah. I understand. We can't no, always we'll get... We'll get you home. We will get you home. And I trust that. Oh, uh, who did I leave in charge? I didn't... I didn't leave anyone in charge. You, you, My... you have someone as a backup, right? Surely. <laughs> I guess... <laughs> Surely, yeah, right? I, I guess so. I guess... I guess so. She just sort of <laughs> looks... <laughs> She had a hierarchy. Oh, <laughs> when I popped her out of the uh, the uh, planet, I'm hoping that didn't start a civil war. <laughs> yeah. Like completely destroyed. Holy yeah. shit! I was just gonna talk to like kind of bring Doxy up to speed on boss and everything. Yeah. And then after after Doxy goes to All bed, right. I kind of wanted to. Just, so he, after Doxy he goes killed to, your oh, your dad oh, and then yeah, became well, your was, dad. I mean, I was only like six months old at the time. To be I fair, don't really remember you. You, you fucking know? killed my dad, so I get it, right? But I hated yeah. my dad. You didn't even know I don't know dad. about I don't know my real dad. He could have been a douchebag. I don't know. He's a he's a member of nobility. They're all fucking douchebags, right? Burn yeah, the rich. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean. Eat, That's eat what the I rich in it. Eat the rich yeah. unless it's money stolen, like piracy and all that. Fucking exactly. Yeah. yeah. Fuck it. Whatever. But we've gone on a bunch of wild adventures. Maybe sometime I'll tell you the story when we stole those pigs. One I thought moment. Gravy was here by his own consent. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good yeah. one. See, like, yeah. I want to ask Boss like kind of seriously. Like, okay, look. I didn't want to bring this up when you were sick. That last job we pulled and you just vanished. Why'd you leave? I was being hunted by Trevor and I didn't want you to be in danger too. Aw, that's nice. I thought that if they found me with you, that you would be caught in the crossfire, you would die, you were too young, you were too weak. Yeah, I know, I could, oh, I, I think I could take Trevor now, honestly. Oh yeah, I think you I could definitely could, yeah. but then... <laughs> yeah. Uh, I couldn't risk well, it, so I just had to let you. And you know what? I'm glad. It was a difficult decision for me, William. It was really yeah. difficult. I wanted to protect you, but I knew the best way to protect you was to leave you to your own devices. Sorry Thanks. I couldn't tell you anything. I knew you would have tried to follow me, try to protect me. You've always been so headstrong. You always want to fight everything, and I just knew you couldn't handle it. I kind of start to get a little weepy, and I just hug him. I'm like, Thanks. <laughs> But I'm so proud of you. Dad, no, that's weird. That's weird to call you dad. <laughs> Thanks, boss. Thanks, boss. I want to know what happens if Ragnar micro doses. Like, it's like a small, like, one well, millimeter. Quick millimeter. way to find out. Bro, oh, you're a millimeter. Out? Yeah. Oh, no. I guess you do. I guess you're going to micro dose. Okay. Yeah, because, okay. like, it's like in the I back feel corner. like the headache is still there, but it's when, less okay. after a day of rest. The moment that you micro dose, you feel less exhausted. Your level of exhaustion okay. goes down. But we'll see what happens. So I go to like a like a private room or like behind, like it's dark now, whatever, and I just do like a little small amount. Ah, that feels good. Oh. <laughs> oh, very ominous. Uh, you go in, it looks very riggedy, steampunk-esque interior. It's like a little cockpit almost. It's not huge ship. There is like almost like a periscope that Lissa is looking out of. All right then, crew. You guys ready for liftoff? I know it's a bit cramped in here, but... Um... Yeah, we got it. We'll strap in. Yeah. Uh, no, there was no like yeah. there, there, there was what? no no seat belts. <laughs> this is like subway style. We're just holding like metro. Yep. Yeah. We're just okay. I didn't have time to do any sort of safety measurements or anything like that. But you know, okay. Trevor goes, "Are you sure that it's safe?" And, and, and Lissa goes, "If you could change your fate." <laughs> <laughs> and the thing starts, <laughs> and it starts vibrating. Okay. Uh, Can we have a countdown? <laughs> Lissa goes. I we missed the countdown no, no. part, Captain. <laughs> As it's firing, Lissa goes, ten, nine, eight, and it goes off on eight. Trevor <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <Jeremy> goes. <"Aah!" laughs> Uh, this was a bad idea! Ah! Doris in your hand, you see Cyril sort of sloshing around like water in your hands. <laughs> Hold oh, on, little Ricky! Hang on in there! I you, you, I you see oh, Doc. Are you alright in there? Doxy's like, yippee! <laughs> She's oh, going, I'm having a good day, Doxy! <laughs> <laughs> Trevor's gripping on for dear life. Trevor like grabs onto William's arm, uh, trying to hold himself stable. Um, oh, thanks, buddy. Until eventually you guys breach the atmosphere and the, the ship is soaring. It's soaring for a good, I'd say like a good 30, 40 minutes. 
<laughs> as you guys are hurtling right. through space. So, so wait, is this like a 45 minute roller coaster ride, basically? Almost like that. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it feels like hell until Lissa, looking out of the periscope, goes, I think I reached it, fellas. It didn't move too much since we're our last encounter. Do you guys want to come take a look at this thing so we know where to where to dock? All right, I guess. Mm. <laughs> you like right. vomit. I'm violently motion sick. All right. I, I'm just making sure opponents are like, I can't look at anything. <laughs> okay. so, well, just what just can we see? So uh, it's William. Oh. Who's looking out of the like periscope? Telescope? I'm sick. Somebody else do it. I assume Verona then. Uh, I'll look. Yeah, Verona, look you, you are the sense. lookout after all. Yes, you, sir. you look out and you see this big cylindrical ship. It's almost like a donut shape. On each of the edges of the donut, it's got four cylinders coming out, mm. black and gray. And in the center, it has an arced center bit with a middle cylinder pointing downwards. I think you could assume is the laser. Mm. On the end of each of the four outward outcroppings, you can see that it has a hatch that's open up that seems like ease of docking. If you were there consensually, you would easily be able to dock in those bays. You could see a couple of the pods that they've been using attached to the edges of their as well that they've been using. <laughs> Over the next few minutes, you get closer and closer to the ship until Verona, you notice that the figure on top of the vessel, you can make out more of his features. Yeah. Standing there, arms crossed, a red coat hanging off his shoulders. He's got an eye patch on. He's got a short sort of beard. Oh God. He's got short green hair and he's got three swords no. in, in one scabbard and his arms are folded hey, there. We're fucked. We're <laughs> fucked. We're dead. Standing no, there. no, that's it. No, that's it. It's over. Game <laughs> <Right>. over. And <laughs> As you as you start like you're you're looking down the periscope. No, uh, Rustage, you don't have to keep going. We're done. It's the end of the end. It's, it's the you're, fucking done. It's the last you're, episode. You're looking down the periscope trying to make out his features. He turns round and it's almost like he's looking you dead in the eye and you see him grin. Wait, 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 wait. Does he have one eye or two? He, he has, has an eye patch, patch on. I think. Oh fuck, yeah. Oh god, shit. <laughs> Boy Zoro got lost. <laughs> Boy Zoro! <laughs> says this is in character for him, though, yeah. And your ship well, is hurtling towards him at the moment. Oh, God. What does he look Hulk. like? Uh, he's got a red coat. I think he's got some swords, green hair, an eye patch. I don't recognize him. Doesn't sound like anyone I know, but again, I'm not from this planet. Well, I don't know that guy. I don't know anyone with green hair. That looks stupid. Boom. I don't well, know anyone with green hair. These guys are pretty capable, so is, I guess we gotta be like, careful. Does he have moss growing on his head? What's going on there? Does that guy have three swords? Yeah, That's he so actually stupid. might. Yeah. Let's not <laughs> laugh about it until we can get off this thing. We don't know what's about to happen. Your ship Just is not. sort of hurtling towards the west entrance, which he is near. Verona, what is the man doing at the moment? He's just standing there, menacing. <laughs> In that instance, he sort of disappears from your sight. He's gone. And then everyone feels the ship sort of shudder. Shit. <laughs> oh, we're fucked. We're <laughs> and Lissa goes, fucked. oh, God, one of the engines has gone out. Someone sliced oh. it open. What's going on? And then the fucking ship starts tumbling through space. And she goes, oh, fuck. <laughs> if you could change your fit. <laughs> change the fate, Lissa. You're always just, talking she about grabs it. grabs onto the controls. I'm going to try and angle this thing. We might crash into the fucking thing. And, it's and in the background, Doxy's still going. Doxy, you're one of the very few people that I have. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor's like vomiting. Um, I'm vomiting too. That's a, that's one's in the Chapston family. We both have extreme and, motions. Uh, <laughs> and your shuttle crashes into the side of one of the entrance hubs. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. um, do, do we make it in? Is the, anybody dead? Uh, a slice cuts round in like a circular shape. A metal wall of your pod falls open and standing there is the green haired man and behind him is a, almost like a giant vault door like the entrance to the main compartment you get a closer look at him now and you notice that his three blades are blackened and they have this like smoky wisp coming off of them he grins and says well 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 what are you doing here uh delivery <laughs> <laughs> that was the most William thing I've ever heard. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. oh, oh my god. This, uh, <laughs> I just. I didn't order delivery. He pulls out, he puts one sword into his mouth oh, and one what? sword in each hand. And then he's going to attack. I'm going to try to clash. So, with, okay, I guess we're so, just going I with guess, it. Yeah. yeah, we're just fighting. I guess you uh, run out and you clash swords of him. And there's this like uh, almost black I, lightning shocking. There's like a moment where I'm just like, oh shit, this guy's strong. <laughs> so oh, he actually zips through all of you, right? Uh, okay. This like whirlwind of 
black energy comes out, he says, Void, Onigiri. And he cuts okay. through all of you. He does yeah. 86 damage. Yeah. His blades are black as night. Doxy takes half damage and falls unconscious immediately. Blue blood spraying out of her body as she that rolls is, to the side. To stay behind, damn it. Shit. Oh, my oh God. fuck. Uh, and she rolls to the ground, blood dripping from her body. Doxy! Then we will do a to be continued. Oh. He's coming down with Blake in tow, and then you see the marine vessel start to slowly leave. Blake is Blake is in. Obviously, sea stone handcuffs still on. He he so looks a little feral. I tried questioning him, but we couldn't get anything out of him. It seems like he's under the influence somewhat. Be careful. He did murder twelve marines. Oh yes, he all, he almost murdered us as well. Unfortunately, yeah. I do remember. Let's see if we can get some sense out of him. If he remembers any of us, I'll go up to him and slap him on the chin and like. Hello? Hey! Yeah. Well, um... Can anybody speak, dog? He may be having some severe withdrawals from blue blood. He stares at Ragnar. His eyes are bloodshot, but they're like blue bloodshot. He sort of grins at Ragnar slightly. <laughs> What's, uh, you like him, or what's going on there? <laughs> <laughs> and then he Ra sort of Ragnar, falls asleep. Do something I, to Blake? I just, like, grab him and give him a hug. I know well, maybe something and I whisper, I know what you're going through. You have some. No. no. <laughs> you, I need it. He whispers into your ear. I no, need, you don't. You don't. I need it. I'm... I'm so if only you had the heel heel fruit. Man. <laughs> Clearly, yeah. he's, the timing just never works out, can it? That is rather unfortunate. Hemlock, is there anything you can do for him? I don't in know. This state? We'll put him in the um, like the medical room. Yeah, maybe they I can do something for him. That... When he leaves the room, I look at the crew and I just want to say, like, clearly he's going through some crazy withdrawals from the blue blood. That's I do have some, although I feel like we shouldn't give it to him, or, or if we do, we got to give him very, very little. I don't know. I've never done drugs. Yeah, and by the way, yeah, you guys know that I have some. I well, stabbed myself back in when we we're in the past. Oh right, I died instantly. Remember? Okay. Yeah, why are you hanging? Yeah, on maybe you that? should not have that. Yeah, why if do you, you have instantly. that? Yeah, why do you have that right now? I mean, why wouldn't we want to keep a trump card on you? Yeah, but that's no, definitely not what it did to Blake. I mean, he's like a feral monster. Yeah, and I, it it's also not... made you explode. I trusted your constitution that you would be fine. With... It wouldn't affect you in any way. Well, I feel fine right now. Like, oh, obviously, okay. like not amazing. Like I'm, 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 I don't feel amazing. I'm still recovering. I'm just saying, like I think it would be smart to keep a trump card on you just in case. Like I didn't want to jump into the blue blood, but after Louis we died it's like i think it's too okay dangerous. i don't want you guys to die so i did it you know are you okay ragnar yeah you all right yeah i'm fine i'm fine guys all right now that i see something isn't your hair a little bit different too you've been saying you've been tired a lot since that fight and it was a tough fight and everything but that was that was a while yeah, ago we've had we've had tough fights and we've gotten good over now. it yeah usually well, a good you, night's sleep I mean, hails every single injury and usually well, you're the fastest i can't I can't you hide it anymore, I guess. You eating as much meat lately. You guys realize I dove into a pool of well, his blood. We, Ragnar? My entire body and hair turned blue for those moments. Like, Ragnar, I'm going to need you to give me the blue blood syringe. Yeah, you can't have no. that on. Going to have to captain's order veto this one, buddy. And you, know, you don't have... The captain, wait, surely. Ragnar, Ragnar, and listen to me, Paul says. I understand what it's like to struggle with like an addiction. I sometimes still get the cravings myself, but you have to tell me the truth. The syringe is all you have, right? You don't have more blue blood somewhere. Um, no, I have more, but I, I, I need it. I can't, I can't, the headaches. I'm always tired. I'm always hungry. Doesn't matter how much I eat, but I don't want to eat. But at least I'm not like right. I'm, I'm. I'm not as bad as Blake. Yeah, but, you, you but that's will be. A, that's a problem. Yeah, you have an addiction, man. Blake we is, care about Blake you. Blake is friends. like that because he was continuously fed blue blood. You took it one time, and you're like this. I think I you need to go think, cold turkey, man. I just think it's smart to keep some just in case. I, I think. What if these guys that can destroy planets Ragnar? are killing you guys? If they're killing you guys, you expect me not to protect you guys? Ragnar, give me the syringe. Well, you should do what he says, Ragnar. Aye. If okay. I was the strongest in the world, I wouldn't. If you were the strongest in the world, you wouldn't need it. You're right. You're right. Are you giving it to me? I hand it over to William for now. I <laughs> eat that thing as far as I can into the ocean. No! What the, are you doing? Are... No! No. Now, well, where's now the... none of us can get that. Where's Wait. the rest of it, Ragnar? It's on, it's on the ship, but... I soru Gepo toward the <laughs> ship. I have to destroy it. And Pearl flies over with you. Okay. Uh, no, is everything okay? You, you're doing all right there, friend. 
We have more important shit to deal with right now. There's fucking space pirates and a world government that might be involved. Why are you guys well, looking at no, them? No, I think this is very important because if you break down in the middle of this operation, we're going to have a very serious I'm going to break down if I don't have some. If I don't have it, I'm going to break down. Sounds I'm like you're going to break down if you do have it too. Ragnar, Blake used to be a friend. He used to be somebody that not only we cared about, but also cared about us. He doesn't even recognize us anymore. That could be you. That will be you. What happens if mid-fight you decide to take some of this blue blood and you turn on us as well? I you ever never. think about that? Well, I bet you could have said the same about him. We never thought Blake would be like this. The first place I'm going is actually Ragnar's room just to check yeah. to see if he has it in there. So to your knowledge, you go through Ragnar's room, you go through the storage, you find ale barrels that have actually swaths of blue blood in it. More oh, than you God. could even imagine. This isn't Jesus. just occasional small bits of blue blood. These are barrels yeah, has, of it. This is a serious addiction this guy's got. I'm going to try to haul these out of the ship and then maybe put them on the shore and then Pearl can just light them up and just destroy him i guess i'll haul them out it probably takes me a while but yeah. you know I, I william is decently strong i can haul them out i take all the barrels i could find and set them on the shore and i'm just like all right pearl do your thing right now tries to run over okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> so I, I am actually going to use a maneuver to grapple him to the floor <laughs> girls get out of my way we need it just in case uh, I pull right. out the banana sword. I need it in case Duros <laughs> fails this. I got the banana sword. You got the I'm, banana, I'm banana sword. The prone. Banana sword. I'm knocking yeah. this guy prone with the, the right. blunt end. Ragnar, you start running, but Duros and Verona, they they grab you and pull you to the floor. And you feel this fury welling up inside of you. It's like a sort of almost helplessness. <sighs> Don't do this, Ragnar. Oh, you got God. this, Fred. Don't worry, we're here for you. We're helping. Why are you guys doing this? Get off me. He keeps, I turn this. into a big bear. Rely on your turns, oh my god. He turns into oh a big god. bear. Right. So 25. Uh, you need to get a higher okay. than five to keep him down. Let's oh, go. Oh, no. Ragnar. Let's go. I, 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 Duris's muscles working fucking overtime <laughs> as he's <laughs> holding you, you. You got into this huge bear. And honestly, this makes you feel weaker. You thought you were the strongest, but Duros is holding you down with his muscles flexing. Verona's just there. <laughs> I, just, I just got the sword point. Like, yeah. Don't do it, Ragnar. Don't do what it. What are you doing? This is not the act of the strongest man in the world. You only look like the weakest man to me now, Ragnar. At this point, at the corner of your eye, Ragnar, you can see one of the barrels is on fire. You guys are going to regret this. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. What are you doing? <laughs> I guess nothing. That's We're that's setting it. them all on really... fire. How many barrels were there? Like three? three. It was like four, right? Something four, like whatever. Yeah. yeah, whatever. I let all, They're all lit on fire. As they're all burning, I'm like, okay, Pearl, is that all of it? Oh, shit. Yes. I brought some. I actually did take a vial of it. So I just take that out and I shatter it under my boot or whatever. I'm like, okay, is that all of it? I think so. Unless he has some sort of hidden stash that we weren't able to find. But he's Ragnar. Yeah. He, he's not going to have, oh, he's not going to have a hidden stash. Jimmy's blood is blue. Doxy's blood is blue. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. They can't come with us. No, Ragnar would never. He wouldn't. He would never right? get that desperate. Yeah. No, no. I look over and I see this snarling bear <laughs> as Turo's in the distance. No, no, no. We, uh, oh, fine, shit. Captain. Uh, <laughs> he would never get that desperate. I hope he just never realized. I hope Jimmy and Doxy yeah. never get a paper cut in front of him. All, all right. right. Well, let's. we destroyed all of it, so let's head back. We head back, and it's like, if he's still fighting, I'm like, are you guys okay? Did you hold him down? It's all right, Captain. He seems I, to... Uh, well, actually, are you are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm a little more calm down there, guys. Thank you for holding me back. We I destroyed was, it. I was, oh, it's all I was, gone. I was, I was seeing nothing but blue blew there for a second. Four barrels, that's all we had. That's all you had, right? Yeah, that's everything. All right, it's all destroyed then. I sheath the banana sword. And I release Ragnar. I also bring him into a hug. I'm glad, oh, let's all, all hug right, him. Friend? Group hug. I'm glad we had this intervention today, Ragnar. Here we all help him back up. <sighs> I love you guys. I love you too, man. We have more important stuff to deal with right now. There's more healthy stuff to be addicted to. We gotta take on space pirates and the world government and all that shit, you know? I stand up in Big Bear form. I look at Zoro, but then out of nowhere, my eyes just go black. And like my head automatically like, <laughs> I smell something. Oh yeah, because he's a bad and, I, and I look down towards the blood below me. I'm like, like I smell it. I, like I, my head darts towards it and I start licking it up. Oh, oh, oh no. Shit. Oh it up no. Blood. All of the effects that you got previously, your bear's fur starting to turn blue. You're getting more powerful. All of those like double damage, double health sort of effects that you got before, you are going to have again. But this time, yeah. the intoxication of the blood is so much. The bloodlust is greater. At the start of your turns, I'm going to need you to do a wisdom saving throw or else you're just going to attack the person that's closest to you. Okay, ah. bad. So you are attacking Trevor this round. <laughs> No, no, so, Trevor's getting pulled by a rat. 
<laughs> so you you feel this power inside of you and you turn around to face your enemy. Everything's an enemy to you. You're the strongest, Ragnar. You're the strongest there is. You slice into Trevor. Trevor turns around and tries to block it with his sword, but your strength of your axe just sort of rips through it and cuts deep into his flesh. This blind rage is too much. And for that critical fail, as my axe is in his chest, walk into my own axe. And like, when I pull it out, I hit myself a bit. It's like, I'm not even like, I don't care about anyone's health, not even my own right now. Trevor turns around to Ragnar. What the fuck do you think you're doing? The Ragnar thing. just roars. <laughs> William, control your pet. What is happening here? Did you just call him a fucking pet? You're right, actually. You're right. He's, he's clearly, our friend. He's, he's clearly not domesticated. Right now, so okay? I wouldn't refer to him as a domesticated? pet. Domesticated? But well, he's clearly not. You guys are getting along, we're but far too busy. Big problem over here. <laughs> <laughs> he's your. He's a fucking wild animal. Trevor, we're gonna have to have a. I want you to help me in this battle, but come on, man. He's a living human he bear. He just, just like slashed every... me, William. What the fuck is happening? Well, you yeah, have not been on our crew. Verona shot all of us in the face at one point. It's just what happens, okay? That is not just what happens. Oh, this doesn't feel like is. an accident. This feels like a targeted attack. Ragnar, play nice with Trevor. Yeah, <laughs> you were in my way, weakling. Move out yeah, of the way. You were weakling. in his way. I'll have you know that back in G4, I took you down in one strike. That before or after I stole your fucking was. sword. Shut the fuck up, William. I'm here to help and deal with this corruption, but I don't have to fuck with any of you guys. Move or I'll do it again. Make me, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, now this All is All right, I, I guess Trevor's gonna attack you, Ragnar. This, this is what's oh happening. There is a big problem here, <laughs> uh, Trevor! Turn around! So he's slicing into you with his blade of justice. Paul lands on the shoulder of Trevor. Trevor! And pa Trevor goes, what the fuck is that? Trevor, it's me, Paul. I'm on your shoulder, I'm really tiny, remember? Oh, Jesus. Why are you attacking Ragnar? Why, he was attacking me. Just ignore him. He's kind of crazy. Just attack Dora instead. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got to protect myself. You know, that's part of the constitution. <laughs> the Navy constitution. I understand that, but... You know, why, why the hell are you talking to yourself? And they say I'm mad. I'm not mad. You're the mad one. I have a perfectly reasonable temper. I am very calm. Well, looks like you're still in my way, Trevor. Oh, Move boy. it. Oh. Trevor looks weak. <laughs> your... On the plus Trev side, a lot of help. Ragnar is soloing Trevor right now. I yeah. mean, that's kind of <laughs> nice to see. He's like, what if I left my guard down, he says to Paul. He might get an attack off on me, but I, I might just be able to reach this scoundrel. And he turns round. He obviously puts his back to you, Ragnar. Trevor's sword comes down, slicing into Zoro. Zoro comes back to slice across Trevor's jaw and doesn't hit Trevor. I will give William an opportunity to, to do something. I draw the wind out of his mouth and knock him unconscious. That's not what I thought. That, and, <laughs> that is also not what I was implying. <laughs> I I meant to calm him down, not to kill him. <laughs> that'll, no, that, that'll knock him not, out. He not, won't be able to breathe. Not, not to not to like attack him. If if you if you're attacking him, if you want to do the draw the breath out of his mouth thing, this will be a save from Ragnar's point of view, and it, you're gonna be fighting him. <laughs> I'm sure he's not gonna like that. You can. Okay. <laughs> Let's go, buddy. <laughs> okay. No, no. Oh it doesn't hit him anyway. Hit him. I don't even hit him. What are you doing? You, you, you feel the wind uh, around you, <laughs> moving, Ragnar. You turn around, you see William trying to attack. Ragnar, you. calm down. Ragnar, this isn't you. Let the addiction subside. Remember who you are. All right, yeah, I was say, Ragnar is looking at Pearl. Like, so, like he kind of heard, but he still has blank eyes yeah, as, yeah. as if he didn't like get the knowledge. Ragnar, you All walk right. up to William, anger pulsating. This is your captain. He tried to attack you. He's betrayed you. <sighs> Everyone's turning on me. Why would you do that, Captain? Calm and down, he Ragnar. Even answers, I swing. So the first one goes straight through your wind exterior, and the second one is thwarted, essentially. So you actually don't take that much damage from the attacks. Brother, put this charlatan, this mongrel, under control what are you doing if you, say, if you say one more word about ragnar in that sense trevor i'm gonna wind blade you next turn okay so he's trying to attack you but he's my friend is that what friends do i mean he's raging we got to figure out a way to calm him down i have no idea how to do this and i'm not great with people this was usually duros's thing wake duros up and then he can help us i am not great at human psychology i was raised by a drug captain what are we doing i don't know we have to figure out some way to calm him down knock him out make him go to sleep i, I don't know Ragnar, remember who you are. I'm seeing red? No, I'm seeing blue. I just see blue, blue figures in front of me. I hear their voices, but I can't like I, I can't see who they are. Take a step Ragnar, <sighs> please. Friendship. Oh, I'm so shit at this. <laughs> Trevor, keep insulting Ragnar so I can defend him. <laughs> you 
Yeah. Go, go try and kill Trevor. If, is that an order? I'll, I'll do it. Ragnar, you prick. <laughs> you okay, mongrel. That's it. You know what? Ragnar is the most noble bear shipwright I've ever known. Trevor, you're going down now. What the hell is going on? I heard some cringe talk. I think something terrible is happening right now, and I haven't been able to stop the captain. Roll for deception. I've literally wheeled myself back to stop the captain doing stupid <laughs> shit again. <laughs> captain, if we can't talk him down, we're going to have to take him no. down. Ragnar, I know what it's like. My life, I've, I've been struggling, eating human flesh. You don't need this, Ragnar. You need to get help. Ragnar, I guess you're going to, William's the closest, so. Yeah, bring it on. Take a step towards William. Step towards R William and swing twice. <sighs> Good luck, gamer. Strength. Ugh, I gotta get stronger. 20, 26, they both hit, right? They both Ooh. hit me. I'm okay. I'm okay. We yeah. can rewrite this as this cool emotional moment where William's allowing himself to be hit. I'm <laughs> holding him off, guys! It's like Someone come up with an movie. idea for the love of God! I wake up and I just, I see the split Zorro and I'm like, good, he's down. I'm glad I was able to do something. And I look over and I see everyone panicking as Ragnar's killing out. I was like, oh shit, not again. <laughs> just just get my, make myself up. Captain's getting split in two. I see multiple captains again. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sure, what? that's how it's going to be. Uh, it's like, all right then. He's, oh, I see like, uh, he, like I, I remember of course he was roided up and I'm like, well, here we go again then. I see I see the light on the ground and it's like, I don't need you this time, friend. It's just me and the big bear. And I'm going to rush over and yep. I'm going to grapple him in the biggest bear hug that I could ever do right. for Ragnar. This is I'm like, I have you, friend. Oh, it's not enough. Let's go. You beat oh, okay. you, you got him. You got yeah! him. Oh, you, you just yes! grappled Big blue, blue bear, bear Ragnar. I won't the, let you the, go, friend. We no, can have ale together. Yeah, I mean, you almost crept together. You grab Ragnar and pull him to the ground, holding him down. My big bear friend, this is not like you. We still have a battle to fight. We are not your enemies. Ragnar, listen to me. This is how William, he's not great at talking to people, but he's good at giving speeches. Like, Ragnar, listen to me. You son of a bear. You are the coolest goddamn person I have ever met in my life. The day I met you on that dock, I knew that you were going to be be my best friend and you can fight this addiction. I know you can. I was addicted to cigarettes when I was five years old and I beat that addiction. You can beat this. You can beat this, Ragnar! So he's gonna get some uh, temporary hit points from that. Uh <laughs> <laughs> was, that wasn't 10 minutes though, William. That wasn't 10 minutes. Oh. No, it wasn't, no. it wasn't. I that love you so guys, funny. holy fuck. Oh, <laughs> no, funny, do your, all right, Ragnar, do your advantage wisdom save. Oh God. Come on, heart of the cards. Let's you succeed! Yes! <laughs> It didn't even show up on stream. You succeed. You got a 15. Uh, you come to your senses. Just from my views, like I'm still blue bear blood, whatever. But my perspective from my eyes, like I just saw like shadowy blue figures, and now they're starting to become clear. And I'm like, I was hitting you, Captain. I hug him along with Duros. Oh. It's okay, Ragnar. It's I okay. I thought you buddy. guys were the enemies. I'm so sorry. Just the breathe. The power of love is here okay. still. I'm gonna move back over here and I'm gonna use Steel Wind Strike. This is a fifth level spell. Yeah! Whoa! Oh, you... <laughs> Holy Ultimate shit! Technique. That's... Ultimate technique! <laughs> Roll 12 D10 damage. Yeah, you do the wind slice, you fly out. Devil deal, I like that. Devil's deal! How do you wanna kill Zoro? <laughs> yes! Oh <my> God. <laughs> I am going to have this steel wind strike move him just perfectly, just pass right through him. And then I'm going to do the cool thing where I sheath my sword. And as soon as it clicks, he and just like, there is a, a look in of, half, in half. There's a, yes, there's an immediate like goes, look of surprise in his eyes yeah. as he looks down at his body and he, he, he realizes he's dead. It's just a gust of wind that blows and past then, him and then he just splits in half. And yes. then immediately he splits in half. Wind like a fucking bursts tree. out. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Spitting out of him. His two and, eyes and... wide with shock. His <sighs> two halves of his, of his body fall apart. Alright. Zoro, okay. Zoro is the two piece. <laughs> Zoro is the two piece. <laughs> I'm gonna name this episode Two Piece. Real. Two Piece, uh... yes, it has to be, yep. You guys all sort of enter the darkness. It looks almost like a control center. You see screens and pods, but you also see this weird black fog on the ground. And you, Ooh, you hear creepy. in the distance, Hello, 
This place went from happy little lounge to scary like zombie ship. This is like dead yeah. space. Yeah, what, what are they doing like, playing piano music next to this ship? <laughs> yeah, this is scary as shit. Yeah. <laughs> you can't really see anything in the darkness. You just hear this weird sort of uh, noises coming from the black. The smoke starts to sort of whirl around. And you see just sort of glowing eyes in the darkness looking at you. Let's go back. We will see. You pull out your gun and you look at your hands and they're really small. The fuck? You've got really small hands. Tiny little baby. William, you sort of look around. The darkness is sort of gone. Now it looks like you're in a sort of wooden room in a house maybe. And you look around and you see Verona there. And Verona doesn't have his mask on. He's just got a, his regular face, but he's a child. You look over at Duras and Duras is also there. He's a child. And, Damn it. and you guys are all seeing this. It's almost like it happened in an instant. And you guys are just there. And you're inside this house. The door opens in the house and this Marine comes in and you immediately recognize it as Captain Viridian. Captain Viridian hey. goes, Verona, Verona, get, hide somewhere quickly. D don't ask questions, just hide. I don't know who, did you bring friends over? Just Everyone just hide. Okay. We're good, sir. <laughs> do, do I still, do, do I like have a like kid voice? What am I? Yeah, like, yeah, you're, you're all I'm, children. Oh, do we kid. have the same okay, outfits? Sir. Right away, yeah. sir, because their house was like yeah. a good soldier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it, Captain. You guys all hide in the closet together. Well, uh, <laughs> what, what is what is in this room? Is it like a bed? What, I mean, yeah, it, it, it is just sort of a living room of a house, like a typical house. There's closets. There's many places Bro, that you can hide. The floorboards. Yeah. What, yeah, the what, floorboards sound fine to what me. What is this place? It's just the four of you. You see the door open up, and coming through the doorway is Captain Marrow. Younger shit. Captain Marrow. He comes in. Viridian's like, now, now, here. Listen, we, um... I don't want to join your, your 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 cult, but you don't have to do this. I won't tell anyone. I I and Mara goes, you know too much now. But you, as he walks towards him, his face starts shifting into this like shadowy image. <laughs> you know too. Much. You know too much. <laughs> I don't. And he creates the big bony hand and impales Captain Viridian in front of you guys. <laughs> and then he drops a torch into the ground and lights the house on fire and leaves dramatically. And now you guys are trapped in the burning building of the house. <laughs> Verona's Verona. gonna just picture this as if it's like he's just replaying a memory. Yeah. Right? Mm. So like I don't realize that I have full control over what's happening. I'm just kind of like letting it yes. play out. So I'm just oh. underneath the floorboards chilling right now. And yeah, you just hear weeping collapse. coming from the below the floorboards. Can we feel the heat? Like, oh, is yeah. this real the, to yeah, us? Yeah, okay. this is real to you. The fire is consuming the building and you have to do something quickly. All right, I'll go try uh, to kick is, open the front door. Is there door. like a, a broom handle, something, a weapon of some sort that I could pry open the floorboards to get? Yeah, the, you, uh, you definitely, yeah, you could find a broom. Broom and just try to yank him out from beneath the floorboards. Right. Like, get out. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, can you do <laughs> Soldiers need to live. <laughs> <laughs> we are your friends. We're here to help you. Yeah. I guess I, I reach out a hand. Right, as you, you prize open the floorboard. You want to grip yeah. Verona's hand. Let's all pick I him will. up. You pull him out, and now you all all four of you are standing within this burning building. Bit disorientating. Hey, you guys, gotta I go out the back, back, back door. Okay, I can chop it down. I want to chop <laughs> things. There should be blades in the kitchen, Ragnar. If you need to chop something down. I don't see any hatchets anywhere. All I've, all I've ever <laughs> used is a hatchet. They don't let me use the burning house. Axes. Okay, you know what? I'm ju anymore. jumping yeah. through a window. You, no, yeah. you, you can't. Marrow knows that I'm here still. They're waiting for me to die. They're waiting oh. for me to burn up underneath the floor. So the only way they won't see us is if we go out the back. Okay, well, let's go out the back then. All right. So uh, is the back door locked? Oh, yeah, of course. So the okay, flames I need a, are burning I need a, bright. I need a paper clip. I go to the junk drawer and open it. <laughs> You're sort of looking through desperately for you something to clip. use. You don't find anything. I don't... My mom's laboratory, I guess. Got a bunch of desk equipment in there. Verona, if you run back to your mom's laboratory in the house, you notice that room is fully engulfed in flames, but you need to be able to get out of this house. I'll, again, I'll probably just do my wooden sword training sword. I, I'd probably just be trying to smash the lock at this point. You keep smashing. Can you do a d20 for strength? Just straight d20. Because uh, I don't want to die. 15. You start <laughs> smashing at the lock. You manage to break into the, the door. At the same time, Verona, you are looking at your mom's laboratory with the, with the flames as Duras is doing this. Very hesitant to walk inside. Kind of frozen. I see like 
on the there's like a desk right when yeah. you walk in with a bunch of papers and stuff and i see two paper clips sitting there and like a bunch of other junk so i quickly grab that and a wrench as you're running everyone else is by the door and duris has just managed to crack it open but since <sighs> you went back and as you're running back to the front door the flames have fully immolated this house and you are passing <sighs> through deep smoked flames as they are <coughs> wrapping around you and they start you start feeling the heat against your skin as it starts charring charring some of your skin away and burning away at your flesh as you're desperately running through the fire and the flames to carry on um, <coughs> guys i got the door open let's, let's get go in. let's go <laughs> and how it actually happened i was under the floorboards a lot longer captain <laughs> dear god let's get out of here and you burst through the back door and as you guys <coughs> Uh, uh, breathing on the back door. You see a, a strange shadowy figure with like a, a top hat. He almost looks like his his limbs are disjointed. He doesn't look human. Almost oh, he's the hat man. <laughs> he's the hat man. Almost scarecrow like in his appearance, but you can't quite make out his figure. Hello. Oh, I'm gonna throw, nice to do, <laughs> throw the wrench at him. Just throw the wrench at him. I'm throwing the wrench at him. Did you help? He, he, he threw the wrench at him and it through his shadowy form. Did you oh, no. have fun? He says. No! <laughs> Would you like to do it again? He says. <laughs> I think that's a no. I'm I, sure. what, what, no. I am having so much fun. He says again. <laughs> yeah. Then the shadowy mist sort of <gasps> surrounds you once again. It's oh almost God. like in an instant you, you're you suddenly on the streets. So you guys are all around 16, 17, 18, and you're standing there all in knight's armor, similar to Duras. And Duras, you can describe the scene. There's a whole platoon of uh, soldiers from the Tarko Kingdom. We're all protecting Jasper. So we're trying to run away from a castle that is under siege. Probably like running away. You can see in the distance, fiery inferno engulfing the capture. And there's a bunch of Navy people all around everywhere, encircling everything. And we're not sure why they're there. Mm -hmm. uh, we thought like maybe the Navy would help us out as we're trying to get our king to safety because there was also bandits, I think, I believe at the time. I can't remember, mm -hmm. it's been a while. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, there was also bandits taking over, but we're just, we're a platoon that was strictly in charge of getting Jasper to safety. So we're like heading through the woods, thinking that we're okay as we're yes. uh, escorting him to and safety. you're rushing through the woods of the flaming city behind you. Jasper's yeah. like, Duras, men, I, I need to go back. I need to help my sister. I don't know what's going on. Jasper's like young at the time, right? He's like young kid oh, yeah, he's, almost, he's, like he's teenager. Yeah. She's just a baby. She's just a, she's just a young girl. I, uh, I die. He is running, and as you guys are running through the fields, uh, uh. the this dark knight approaches you guys in, in a sort of black suit of armor. His face is all darkness and shadows, again wearing the top hat. Yes. This one's pretty fun, isn't it? I like this one. So many people dead. So much fun. Now, Duros. I guess my memories are coming back to me. I'm like, I'm not moving. Yeah. I'm legit like not moving. My my shield is shaking and my my sword is shaking. The creature like pulls out a weapon. Maybe I need to inflict a little more pain on you. Yeah. You know, though you look like him. And he points over at Verona, obviously still scarred. And... Verona's still in shambles because we go from one flaming disaster <laughs> yeah, to seriously. another. So I'm yeah. like, it yeah. seems like we, I just, Jesus. in the same scenario, honestly. And he rushes forwards with his sword. It clangs on your armor in this brilliant flash of shadow. And you get a close look at his face, which seems inanimate and disfigured. And Jasper goes, what is this creature? Duras, do something. Uh, get, get back, Captain. Uh, get back. I'm uh, trying my best. So, like, I'm still trying my best. But Duros, just face your fears. Yeah. <laughs> and he's pushing down onto you. And you see this big, yeah. wicked grin. Each teeth a jagged imitation of the one next to it, bearing down on you as he's forcing down pressure. You push him away and he just laughs. <laughs> As this creatures. man needs to die. <laughs> <laughs> Damn him! As the <laughs> the black fog surrounds you guys again, and then almost in an instant, you're in a bar, 
and you're all adults now at this point, actually. Okay. You're, well, actually, most of you are older than you would be. You're like in your <laughs> sort of 30s and your son coming in with fury because you want to talk to him. Uh, Ragnar, you're alive. I have what two eyes. What do you mean I'm alive? <laughs> yes, I won the fight. Why did you call me in here, Dad? I'm sick of you always policing me all the time. Maybe I should have policed you some more. <sighs> I've made so many mistakes in my life. Well, you're about to make another one. This cannot go on any longer. You are not a real barbarian. Every time that I've managed to win a, a fight or I've killed someone in our family's name, you've looked on it in scorn and now you've come here to talk with me. I'm... I challenge you to a fight, father. Well, come at me. With great power comes great responsibility. Uh, I think I need this lesson too. And he charges with his axe. And as he comes towards you, you see his face sort of shift into the shadowy, top-hatted figure again. Oh, Ragnar! Fatherly trouble! <laughs> and he comes in with the axe, and it collides with, with your axe. What do you want to do here, Ragnar? Obviously, everyone else is watching this scene unfold. Well, it's, a, it's the shadowy figure, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Like I gotta attack it, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna, I have two eyes. So I, can see, I can see yeah. that it's a shadowy yeah. figure. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't even hit. You don't hit back, so you're both just clanging axes into one another as the creature is laughing at you. <laughs> oh, this is... Man. And then he turns to William and he goes, I know a secret about you. I know something that even you don't know about yourself. Oh, shit. And the dark clouds surround everyone once again. Everybody, Ooh. just don't trust a single person you see. Not even me. All of a sudden, to be continued. This oh guy God. had the audacity to turn around and start playing a song on us. Like, All right, <laughs> now it's his turn. He continues to play his song, and he goes, Hey, life is just a melody. You see sort of notes coming out of the piano, almost like magic. And I need- Now they're on fire. Every Are his fingers on fire? on fire? Yeah, I mean, he's <laughs> actually taking fire damage from this as well. But I need every single person to do me a wisdom saving throw. All of you guys start uncontrollably singing and dancing. Just the dancing plague. Yeah, you, you, you guys start all uncontrollably singing and dancing and sort of lose. Good. And in your minds, you just think, this is the best piece of music ever. I don't want to fight anymore. I just want to dance. <laughs> this is fire. This, this is, is incredible. Music. It's, like that, it's like the this musical the episode of Buffy. And you I all have to, <laughs> you all unfortunately will now have to spend your next turn dancing. But you guys are all having a great time. Why, why, why are you guys dancing to the rhythm? <laughs> yeah, Trevor's this like, is the what first the fuck's going on? I've enjoyed fire, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> he takes some fire damage as well as it's burning his skin, but he's still playing the he's still playing his sweet tunes, baby. Doxy failed, so Doxy's gonna spend her turn dancing. She's getting really down with it. She um does the uh, I don't know what this dance move is, but she does that one. She the, does the this. Money? What do you, she she does. Do <laughs> Sorry. For, for um for people who are listening on Spotify, I'm busting some moves right now. She's uh, like, okay. oh yeah, this is maybe the greatest fucking piece of piano music I've ever heard. And I usually smash pianos for fun. <laughs> All right, and at the <laughs> end of the so turn, weird. she has to do a wisdom save. Oh. Doxy's still dancing. I love how everyone else is dancing. Like, oh, <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> what bro, is this doing is so weird in, in game right now. All right, <laughs> Duras, you are dancing, but you can tell. Tell me what you want Cyril to do, but it's not in character. Cyril goes, oh wait, I'll, I'll take out the the music man. Cyril is going to aqua pump the music man. He hits. Yeah. He kills him. <laughs> Puts out the fire too, I guess. Let's go. No more dancing. Still feel the need. Cyril just blasts water out from his hands. The water sprays forth, washes Sonato away, knocking him out on the ground, and also putting the piano flames out. Ruptures through Sonata's body, and he goes, "This is my final song." Dilling. Dong, and then he dies. <laughs> All right. Um, and he falls down Banger. as the piano fire is put out. Everyone stops dancing. Um, oh. oh, oh, that was so weird. Doxy weird inexplicably is still dancing. She's getting She's still crunk with this. it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, until until she notices everyone else stop dancing and she's like, oh, oh yeah, I, 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 it, it wore off on me too. <laughs> Doxy, if you want to dance, dance. <laughs> Don't it's, hide it's it. Like you know? It's like a teen movie. Like, it's yourself. like fucking high school musical. Yes, it's like high school musical. <laughs> Sometimes you got to get loose. 
foot loose. <laughs> Take off your Sunday <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Each of these pods, there's a big screen with a eternal pose locked into it and it's attached mm. up to all of the pods. The pods all have numbers like coordinates written on the pods and the, it seems like they're getting it from the eternal pose. And on the computer screen that's hooked up to the eternal pose, it just says the words destination laugh tale. <laughs> As the pods eventually sail to unknown lands, you get to this location. There's a storm brewing on the horizon. And by storm brewing, I mean there's a storm happening. The pods have a little window in the front. The pods fly into the storm, lightning narrowly missing the pods until they eventually all land on this chunk of land in the, uh, in the middle of nowhere in the ocean. Jagged rock sticking out in many directions. It, it looks almost like the end of the world. At the end, you can see standing on the other side of the island, there is a solitary plant, a fruit growing at the end of it. And standing looking at the plant is an old lady dressed like royalty, like a red gown, a singular scarlet red ruby earring on one ear, neat short gray hair. To her left is a sort of middle-aged lady in a red boy jacket with short brown hair. The old lady goes, Ah, oh, I was hoping that this time you wouldn't come. And she turns around to face you guys. William, you recognize her immediately as the woman that you murdered as a child, the one that lay dead on the floor, oh, but standing there alive. Everyone else also recognizes the second lady as an older looking Clementine, the oh barista from the oh, time no. loop. Oh, oh my no. God. Oh no. <laughs> I'm, actually kind of, I'm actually kind of relieved I didn't kill the old lady, at least from my perspective. Like, oh, she survived. No. I didn't kill her. William. I did not survive. I died in that timeline as I did in many others. I mean, we all die. But you're doing fine now. Oh yes, I'm doing fine now. I'm not from this time. This is a rigmarole that I'm sure that you've known before. I don't oh, need yeah, to re-explain. Oh yeah, we've gone through all of this. I, you don't have to re-explain everything. Let, let me just like, like narrow it down. Are you mad because you died in another timeline? Because once again, that just seems weird no, to me. No, like... no, no, William. Oh, okay. That's too all right, all right. small scale. Okay, I'm not good. Upset. At least we're on the same page there. I'm mad that you created a timeline into which I die no matter what. We all die no matter what. No. I used to be immortal. Oh God, why would you want to be that? I used to be able to do what I liked, what I pleased. Suddenly, reality shifted. I don't know why I have these memories, William, but every time you have ever killed me or your actions have led to my death, I remember all stored up here in my head. Hmm, I am sorry. Other Williams have been sorry in the past. Louis was a fool. Your friend, Louis LeClock, did you just call Louis a fool? Well, he thought you could go back and stop death just through mere time travel alone. No, the only thing that can shape reality, reset all the timelines, is this. And she gestures towards the fruit behind her. In a few mm. hours, it will finally be regrown. I will finally achieve my dreams. Thank you. What happens if we kill you? You just said you used to be immortal, which therefore... I... Uh... Don't think I would like you to do that. Let's see what's inside that brain of yours. And as she lifts her hand up, you okay. see an image of Captain Marrow appear in front of you. And oh, I remember that guy. And <laughs> the Timberlord. Wait, do we see that? Yes, everyone oh, does. And the timber oh, and the Timberlord. Right. And oh. the Timberlord. And Arzen. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of people. Can't we at least have a coffee first? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, excuse me, ma'am. I'll take a large... Uh, you okay. fuck off, Clementine says. <laughs> 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 Clementine's actually body becomes brown uh, honestly, and Honestly, I don't even I don't even recognize her because yeah. she's such an irrelevant human being <laughs> yeah. that I have met on this journey. You know? No, I wouldn't know who she was either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ragnar's the only, Ragnar's the only one who cares. My one eye, my lack of perception, I spotted, I spotted her from a mile away. Her body becomes brown and liquidy. Oh my god. And she ate the coffee fruit. She, she, she's got a coffee log, yeah. She turns, coffee to the, log, yeah. she turns to the director and says, Can I, can I have that one? And she points over to Ragnar. 
And the director goes, <laughs> Oh, yes, Terry. I know how much you hate him. Go ahead. Why, why would you hate me? You ruined my life! <laughs> she, <laughs> she has the biggest vendetta out of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to be fair, I thought the whole town exploded or something. Didn't it? She it got to, sent yes. to prison. Her whole life yeah. was ruined. Yeah. <laughs> I actually so her whole life didn't last much longer after that. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> you see Captain Marrow stand in front of you. Arzen and the Timber Lord loom above. So it's like, okay, so it's like Marrow and Arzen are there, but then like the Timber Lord is like a giant, like a looming. A giant is looming okay. above okay. you guys. All right. Well, looks like we're... All right, everybody, who's ready for some devil's luck? That's a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, right then. Yeah. I've never backed down from a challenge. We got nowhere this is else Pology, to go. I'll stand just... in front. <laughs> we got each other. That's all that matters, right? Okay. All right. Yes. I'm going to activate my devil fruit, but I'm going to use my one cheat of the day. You got the Pika Pika no Mi. That's um, Borsalino's fruit. I want everyone to roll initiative as the battle begins. The other members of the devil's luck. <laughs> land as well. Oh. Pearl, Cyril, by proxy, Trevor. He's not a member of the Devil's Love, but he's here too. And, <laughs> Doxy. and Doxy come out, the four of them. The director turns round and goes, oh, you guys look too confident. She shakes her head and she just creates blue blood in front of her. Well, the fuck the, that the, the, the oh, Yonko okay. blue blood that almost killed you guys. He's there too. And so now standing in front of you is blue blood, Marrow, Arzen, and the Timberlord. Well, fuck, boys. Now we do a to-be-continued. No. You know what? No. Yes. I rocket off the fucking ground, and I go straight for the Timberlord and just hit him in the head. And that's where <laughs> that's a to final go. moment of the we Devil's Lock Pirates. Fall! All yeah. of their previous <laughs> enemies. Is this parlor able to get me out of here? And Zeros goes inside of the pot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Will this take me back to Terrico Kingdom? You, as you step into the pod, the door seals behind you, and then it drops away. Oh, All right. oh my god. I okay, guess we I, have to go. But I, we like... gotta go. We gotta go. All right. Well, boys, uh, no man left behind. Am I right? No man left why, behind. Why, right why, is, why is walk into the pod? I grab I'll... Cyril and Pearl by the hands. I'm like, let's that go. Is... I'll go what? last. I gotta do something first. All right. Are you sure, Verona? This ship is a weapon. I can't let this thing stay in the air. I can't leave it just to Ragnar. His perceptions is horrible. We, we, we I have okay. to go, all right? William, I Ragnar, and Duras, you step right. into the pods. The pod doors yeah. seal up and then immediately launch out. Lissa looks to Verona as you stay behind, and, and Lissa goes, Are you sure you have to go? I'm going to be right behind you. I, I don't think I can. I just think it's... I'm not as strong as you guys. But... I could stay up here. Um... I mean... In a few hours, we'll have... Uh... Reinforcements. The other... The other candles. Jimmy. They'll... They'll be up here. I can try and replicate these pods. Give you guys back up later down the line. That's true. But what if one of these people are still on the ship? You won't be safe. You'll be alone. You'll be dead. And what if what is ever down there is too much for your lot to handle? You'll be dead. It's a risk True. I'm willing to take. How about this? I made a promise to you that I wasn't going to get hurt, that I'm not going to die while on this mission. So you have to promise me the same thing, and I will get in the pod, and you can stay here. Okay. I promise you that. If I can say one thing before you go. Go ahead. I know that. I don't know. I it, it it's it's a difficult subject, to, and I know you don't feel things the same way as others. And but I, I just after all of these time that I spent with you and so many near death experiences, I, I'm just in case. I just wanted to say that I love you, Verona. Verona pauses, takes that in for a second. I'll have an answer for you when I come back. And then I get into the pod. Oh, this blast away. <laughs> You're rattling through the sky. These pods are hoping directed towards the eternal pose. So they'll take an hour or so, a couple of hours. Well, Healy, I know you're a robot, but... What does it mean to love someone? It is a difficult question, and I am a robot, so I don't have feelings. But I think to love is to care, and to love is when life is better when that person is in it. Love is someone that you cannot live without, I think. 
Thanks, Healy. The director sort of shuffles in her chair. Oh, I mean, I didn't expect you to... I thought you could kill one of them, but I didn't expect you to take them all on. Oh, he's going to be so angry with me. Oh, he's going to be... And in that moment, you hear a voice. Oh, God. Another you! You hear... You see this old man appear with this long, old beard. Peers from, like, almost like at a rift in time. And he comes down, and the and the director goes, "No, Cranston, no, no, no! I I I have this under control. Well, you clearly don't." And he raises his hands, and he's like, "I could just do this with one." And he snaps his fingers. Nothing happens. Wait, they're supposed to. I. The director sort of looks awkwardly around, and she he. Hmm. Honey, these were the ones that that ate their sword ate the fruit so that's a sort of above all of the time stuff you're saying it protected them from my abilities it protected them from being interfered with in the timeline no. is that why agent v and agent louis didn't come back maybe don't be mad dear we, i still have someone else i could summon no never mind that as this old man is talking you do recognize him i mean you all recognize him he is cranston the old man that William killed in episode yep. two. Oh my god. It all comes <laughs> back to him. Oh, he is an, an, an fucking new. He is he is ah my I name told you I was should have killed that fucker. Is Look! Cranston, the father of time. I have the timeline timeline know me. If you were wondering who was the person who put together the Void Police, who was able to pull all these people from different timelines together, it was I. If Didn't I can't I kill you, you killed a version of me, I assume. You are famous, William, across all timelines for killing old people. Son of a bitch. <laughs> and I am here to put an end to it. The old people strike back. Welcome to the oh, retirement God, home. <laughs> Alright, guys. Oh my I'm, God. I'm, um, I'm just gonna... Uh, you mind if I just go and deal with this idiot really so quick? This is, this is what's go gonna home. happen. He he, right. he... he... I can't use my timeline a bit. I was gonna send you to a different timeline and be done with you, but... It seems like your crew no, are the only actually, people I can't use that ability on. But there is someone I could pull. It uses almost all of my energy to do this. In front of you, a man appears. I'm um, the Goldie Roger. <laughs> big black <laughs> mustache. Ah! Pirate hat standing there. And it is Gold D. Roger, King oh, of the Pirates. Oh, evil oh, Gold D. Roger. Oh no, he's evil! Oh. Gold D. Roger! His mustache, he's twirling it! Oh Jesus. And he um, stands there. I am the King of the Pirates. But this one is different. He's not the one from this timeline, obviously. He's a different course. timeline yeah. called D. Roger. <laughs> Void D. Roger. Ah, and he pulls out his sword. He's going to join the initiative order. The true final battle. It's time to fuck up the King of the Pirates. Who's with me? Final battle. Everyone versus Gold D. Roger. Bullet's also going to run up and start unloading. She's like, I don't fucking she's care about no right King up. of the Pirates. Oh my god, she's dead. So Gold D. Roger turns to Bullet and goes with, with the hockey slash of divine departure and slices bullets into two pieces bullets dies she wasn't so bad maybe that girl over there will be your best bet he points over to a a dark haired girl it's kind of got like yeah. she's got like a black pixie like a cut and she's got a yeah. a singular earring on one ear and she's got a scar that runs across her nose four guns strapped to her thighs she's got uh, her boots up on the table and she's got like black gloves on and she's playing with some cards it looks like she just won it looks like that man is like giving her a bunch of a bunch of weaponry and stuff whoa Howdy there. Dang, Navi, you really took me by a surprise there. You guys are playing the game, and partway through the game, she looks at her hand and she smiles, and she goes, So, you want to raise the stakes a little bit? Would you wager your entire crew for this? She slams a little box on the table and opens it up. It looks like cherry devil fruit, with a bunch of question marks all over it. You reveal the cards, she reveals her cards, and she looks down, flabbergasted. You must! That's impossible! I should have won no, that! Like she, I did yeah, all the calculations she, she, she in my brain! Her, wow. She cheated and gave herself like a straight flush, and I just went right... She wasn't so bad. And then, yeah. like, blood splatters <laughs> into my face. Like, ah! Jesus Christ. Um, everyone's Devil's attacking. Luck. Everyone's attacking. I mean, it's like Whitebeard, right? Where literally all of Marineford are attacking Whitebeard. That's how he was, you know, he was able to go down. This is like all of you guys. I mean, there's like I'm 15 of you all attacking Goldie up. Roger. I'm jumping up in the air. I'm doing like, like 100 flips in the air, and I'm just bringing down Tempest Kit. 20! Hits. Let's go. Do the damage. 
37. You are That's going good. to kill Gold D. Roger. Yes! Yo! How do you want to kill the king of the pirates? Just decapitate. No, not decapitate. Like, straight down. Just like... And then just... You split him in half. half. You split him in half. Split him in half. Cleanly. Yep. As your tempest kick comes down to the ground. As it's just a water jet just, just passes right through. And he explodes into two pieces. <sighs> and then <sighs> settles on the ground. And I land. I can't even use my arms. And then I'm just you, like... <sighs> you see old man Cranston go, Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do... Oh, God. I can only do like one of those a day. Oh, fuck. And behind you uh, is the container into which you know contains not only the first ever devil fruit, uh, but what is inferred to be the one piece. Do you guys like want to go see what the fuck this is? Right. Yeah, we I might know. as well. All right. I, I guess the one piece is real. I hope it's just a med kit. <laughs> I hope it's I hope it's a bottle of aspirin. Right. That would be amazing. You, Boys, I, I love you guys. It's been one hell of a journey. You guys can all so, walk over. Can the somebody container. open the chest? I can't move yeah. my arms. Who is it that's going to open the chest? You, all of the devils like pirates are around the container. Jimmy, hey. do you want to honors? I'll open it. Jimmy. <laughs> hey, I, I don't know what the fuck this is, but I'll open it. <laughs> the only person to find out what it is. Oh it goes, God. Joy Boy. Goldie Roger, Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> I think everybody should be, everybody's happy with Jimmy learning about the One Piece first, right? right everyone's right. happy well, about that. Well, everyone can see okay. what's inside once you open it, right? I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah but he's, he's the one that actually it. has the honors, yeah. you know? Jimmy comes up. Everyone's crowding around. Pearl, Cyril, Verona, Duras, Ragnar, William, <laughs> Gravy, Lissa, I'm sure Louis Leclerc looking down. Behind okay. you guys is all your friends and allies, Trevor, <sighs> the, the Eight Flames, Luna and Asta, Eudoxy, she's there standing with the crew. Jimmy puts one hand on the box, opens it up, and as you guys look inside. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Something swoops behind you as Verona is at the rear, and all of a sudden, he's turned into one of these puppets. Oh god, and no! Behind him is what he, I can only describe as one of these puppets, but it's a big green frog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then, green frog. I'll be taking that. <laughs> this is the only reason. This is the only reason you ran this. It's because you wanted to show everyone your Kermit impression. <laughs> this whole maybe, thing. Maybe. That was, that, was the, that was your first idea. You were like, oh, I really want to do a Kermit impression on stream. I'm going to make this whole, I'm going to do this whole thing. Oh my All right, God. So, uh, so you guys enter the room, and this okay. is a very big open room. There's a grand staircase in front of you, and at the top of the staircase, you can see Kermit, D Frog, and Verona in Muppet form, and they are holding the Necronomicon, or at least that's what you assume it is. It's a it's a book that looks like it's made out of human flesh, and they are both holding on to it. Kermit hey, notices you. Chainsaw guy, is that uh, is that your diary? Is that the book you wanted? That's the book. <laughs> Well, we've got to, yeah. we, he's going to run away because we've got to catch him before he goes. I um, shoot him with my pistol. I, I cast my wind. <laughs> before you guys can do anything, Freddy Krueger just materializes from like the wall ahead of you and stops your attacks from reaching Kermit on the stairs. Okay. Right, it's I a dream. So like the bullet yeah, yeah, yeah. stops, the spell just like, oh. okay. So he's yeah. ready to, he's ready to guard. And then oh, Kermit boy. turns to you. Ah, right. uh, it seems you found me after all, but you're too late now. Because <laughs> you see, I stole your friend here so that he can animate this book and tell me everything I need to know. I will become the Pirate King, and this is how I'm going to do it. You know, I got to be honest, that's a pretty clever strategy. Not bad. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone's you supporting. See? And then Kermit's just going to go on a personal monologue and as if you're stalling I, if I were right to, now. If I were to say, and I, I love the color of green that you are, it's it's very um, oh, cream. That's very sweet of you, young lady. I, you see? Oh, young lady. Wow. I, you're getting me I've lived a very here. hard life. I, I'm sorry for all the trouble, but a frog's got to do what a frog's got to do. Oh, great. I was just an ordinary we, tree frog. Could we just what? take a look at that book? Maybe in if a we, minute. 
Well, no, I, I'm not finished talking. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to use that voice. <laughs> he really likes his voice. Passive aggressive Kermit. Well, Kermit's always passive aggressive. I was just a normal tree frog minding my business, doing what a frog does. And then one day I saw a juicy looking fly upon some grapes. And I was like, hey, I'm going to have me some lunch. But little did I know, I accidentally took the grape with me and I ate this stupid fruit. I ate the Muppet Muppet fruit. And I can turn people into Muppets. I'm a Muppet. And this is this stupid. Frogs haven't done anything in this world. They've accomplished nothing. We are worthless creatures. So if I can become the pirate king, I can make it so that frogs go down in history forever as the best creature on this. I mean, we're not really planet. that in we're not interested in looking to find the one piece. If you want it, you can have it. Like Oh, thank goodness. All right, Verona, <laughs> go ahead and animate that book, please. And then Ash is like, no, you can't let him do that. Why? The one piece passage is at the end. If he reads everything in the beginning, it could be hell on earth. Oh, he, Ooh, that's he has not, to read it fun. chronologically? Come it, just skip to the end. No, I want to hear everything. <laughs> okay, well, we got to kill him then. <laughs> so as you guys are getting ready to fight Kermit... <laughs> <laughs> there are two doors at Listen, the he acted of like stairs. a child, so we've got to kill him now. That's just... <laughs> like... so Post credit scene. Yeah, the credits roll. -credit we did this in the last movie. Credits roll. <laughs> Post credit scene. Post credit scene. Ash wakes up in the middle of some shack on some small island, slightly outside of Blue Blood's territory. Shakes to himself. I'm gonna get that Freddy. If that's the last thing I do. That's your post credit scene. <laughs> Oh. So the next post then, <laughs> as he lays back down to sleep, he he mutters, "Groovy." Um, A any other post credit scenes? I, I could do one. Go ahead, yeah, go for it. Post credit scene. It pans door of Blue Blood's castle where you're all um, sleeping, and there's someone just sort of knocking at the door, and it zooms round, and you see it's Tempest knocking at the door, going, "Please let me in." I <laughs> wake up. <laughs> Fourth post credit scene. Jason's dead body wakes up in some lab and it God appears damn. that there's some scientist working on him and these little itty bitty nanobots are transforming him <laughs> into some mechanical creature. And since he has the zombie zombie no me, after he is complete with this big solid metal arm, metal hockey mask, machete basically fused to his hand, he wakes up once again when the scientist turns their back. Fifth post credit scene. <laughs> Actually, I have two, but well, the fifth one is uh, William, after he wakes up, goes over to where Louis got splattered earlier, and I pick up, like, a broken Napoleon. There Aww. you go. Broken Sixth post-credit scene. Go for it! Somewhere else in the world, a man strokes his thick black mustache, <laughs> tips his hat down, it seems like he's tinkering on something, creating something, and he mutters to himself, I have finally finished it. Just a few more days and it will be done. I have managed to achieve what my brothers could not. There you go. Is that one? Ooh, yeah. Seventh post credit scene. Ragnar <laughs> wakes up. He yaks a little bit in a bucket. <laughs> and as he's lifting his head, he slicks his hair back, and you just see like a single like strand or a couple strands of hair that are actually white. <gasps> oh. Eighth post credit scene. In the room where Freddy is, he's like, it's like a, it's been a while since everybody left. He's just there enjoying a good book or whatever, about to go kill children. Leatherface walks in. He's like, what I miss? <laughs> <laughs> he just has a chainsaw. Uh, if only Ninth we could only have one guy. No, nope, we got a noble one. <laughs> noble tenth post credit scene. Noble no, no, wakes ninth, up. Ninth. Was yeah. I just playing D and D? <laughs> 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 yes. Oh shit! Uh, and now that's it. <laughs> okay. One that's more. It. We can make ten. Who wants to make it ten? Duras wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's weird. And, I, I dreamt I was a uh, real man in some world. <laughs> Luna, I was a YouTuber. What the and, fuck is that? Luna's is like, that's so weird. You're weird. What should we oh, name our... What should we name our child? Eclipse is good. Yeah, I like that. That's not bad, yeah. If you it's a girl, Eclipse. Think. And if it's, a, if it's a boy, Noble. All right. To be continued. It is Jimmy's turn. Go, oh, Jimmy! Yeah! Yes! He puts his gun up, he fires his shot. I just rolled a 20. He puts his gun up. And he fires off his shot. The shot flies through the air. 
and hits the tree square in the forehead. And suddenly, he looks down, and bits of the train start flying off, the arm starts exploding out, bits of the flying everywhere. The crowd just starts flying up into the air. Um, you see the creature, it screams, Ah! Why, Jimmy? Jack, and I just want to congratulate Rustage, Teching, Noble, Spooky, and Briggs personally for three years of One Piece D&D. Thank you so much for so many great moments. Another thank you to the Grand Fleet. If it wasn't for your support on these highlight reels, I wouldn't be making them. If you made it this far, do me a favor, like the video, leave a comment sharing your favorite moment from the past year, and share this video around. And with all that out of the way, I hope you enjoyed reliving One Piece D&D year three by Rustage. Now if you'd like to stick around, I've left the introduction to Romance Twilight, my One Piece D&D campaign, here at the end for those interested. What is good? What is evil? Are you truly fighting for what is right? Edward Leon, the leader of the Gentlemen of Fortune, asked these questions while killing Marine Fleet Admiral Hikari on the world stage. Her death struck fear into the hearts of some, while others bask in the unhindered glory of a world in despair. With the loss of a critical piece in the world government's rule over the planet, chaos runs rampant. Even the appointment of a new fleet admiral was not enough to quell the surge in piracy and criminal activity. Nearly 22 years have passed since that fateful day. The world government has somewhat stabilized, but the after effects are still felt even now. In these desperate times, there just might be hope hidden in the darkness. 200 years before the start of the Great Pirate Era, this is the time known as the Age of Darkness. For mine, I kind of want to skip around just so ever so slightly. Yes. I want to ask one question to just these three, and mm -hmm. then I need to talk to someone else. Perfect. So I'm going to start with William. We're just on the ship, William and I, sunset, and I walk over and I say, William, I need to ask you something very important. Yes, Verona. What does it mean to love someone? You know what? If you asked me that at the beginning of this journey, I wouldn't even know how to answer. But you know what? Like, I think at the end of the day, it's to be with that person, I guess. Make sure you can be happy together. That's that's all I got, man. I'm not an expert. I see. Thank you, Captain. Skip ahead two days. Yes. I walk over to Duros. Duros, I need to yes. ask you something. You and Luna seem to have something special. What does oh, it mean? A, what does it mean? I, what does it mean, I mean to I love guess we're together, together, you know? You know that, Verona. We, we love each other. But what does it mean to love someone, Duros? What a question, my friend. I think you already know that answer inside of your heart. Before, I think you know you love every single person on this crew. And I love you. It's the people that you want around you at all times. And that you would protect, no matter the cost. That is what it means to love, my friend. I see. Thank you, Duros. I imagine... We have kind of, of like an awkward hug. Oh, I, I, would, <laughs> yeah. I would squeeze them. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my man. Oh, ribs still a little sore. <laughs> yes. oh, sorry. Then, sorry. <laughs> then one more day passes, and I walk up to Ragnar. Ragnar, can I talk to you for a second? Of course, brother. <sighs> I'm like coughing up a lung. I'm like lying down in a bed. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, out of everybody on the crew, you're the only one that's, you know, 
really married. You have a family, everything. What exactly does it mean to love someone? Oh, that's a complicated question, my friend. But I think loving someone is when you care about them so deeply that you'd be willing to throw everything away to protect them. Even your dreams and ambitions. And I love you guys. I loved you guys. I love you guys so much. The crew. I love my wife and kids that I would do anything for them. I see. Thank you, Ragnar. And then finally, without wasting another day, I walk up to Lissa after kind of avoid, kind of avoiding her for yeah. like the past week. She, she, she looks up and goes, Verona, hello. I, 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 but stop. Before you say anything, I, uh, there's something I need to tell you. I feel like I owe you an answer. So She, she looks visibly nervous. <laughs> Lissa, the thing is, I don't really know what it means to love someone. I use these special bullets and this love gun, yet I've never really known what it means. I completely forgot what it was like to care about anyone after my father's death. But this crew, my new family, and you have taught me what it means to care about someone again. And I don't know, maybe it has to do with how caring and hardworking, intelligent you are, but maybe I do care about you a little more than even I expected. So while I don't quite know if that is love or what it really means to love, if you'll allow me, I think maybe you could help me and together we could find out what it does mean to love someone. It could be a long road of learning if I'm even capable of that, but I know if anyone can show me how, it would be you. And she has these sort of tears in her eyes. She goes, yes, of course, of course I... Of course, and she just grabs you, and then she like kisses your mask. She comes in <laughs> and kisses your mask, and then puts her forehead against yours, and goes, "I'll be here with you forever, Verona. Wherever you go, I love you so much." And you can't really tell, but you see visible movement in the mask, as if a smile would be there. If I could change my fate, I wouldn't. This is uh, after Verona's, but before Duros leaves. This is like where I'm gathering the whole crew together. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, everybody, after everybody's wounds have pretty much healed from yeah. this, like on the deck of the ship, it's in the early morning hours, I'd say. Well, we had a hell of an adventure, didn't we, everybody? We oh, really did. You could say, <laughs> you could like, say that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. And uh, I, I think. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm not going to have any more adventures in our in my life, or you guys are going to have any more adventures in our in your lives. But like, I think as for the Devil's Luck Pirates, I think we should probably quit while we're ahead. So I thought about this for a while now, and I think it would be best to go our separate ways after this. I just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, this is pretty Duras once where you don't know that. Yeah, yeah this is no, yeah, yeah. No, you yeah. got you see like a little bit of like glimmer, yeah. loose yeah. from my eyes. I know. Yeah, we're all going to be friends. We're all going to be there for each other. We're all family. Whenever each other needs anything, let us know. I'll provide like den den mushies, and you can all like just call whenever private line and all that stuff. But my God, I miss you, Captain. I miss you guys already. I didn't even you guys. I didn't even know what family was before I joined. I like the yeah. only father figure I ever had. He abandoned me when I was eighteen. I was running out on my own, and now I got my dad back. I have a daughter, I guess. And and oh I, I mean, all of your uh, crew members come into an embrace. Pearl goes. It was always great to have you as a captain, Captain. Pearl, I'm glad we found on. you on that desert island and you turned out to be a dragon. Cyril's like, thank you so much for showing me kindness and always being Cyril, there. I'm so happy you turned out to be a water boy. Gravy's like, thank you. Gravy, I'm so glad you're gravy. Sure. Liss is there. Liss is like, thank you. Liss, uh, I... <laughs> Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Jimmy's like, hey. I instantly changed my... Fr I'm not crying with Jimmy. I just like, <laughs> Jimmy! Hey, Jimmy! How you doing, hey, buddy? Yeah, hey, Jimmy. All and right. Doxy's there. Like, <laughs> Doxy. are, you, are you really leaving then? Doxy. I don't... I, I wouldn't know what to do without you. I don't know. No, no, no. You don't understand. Like, I think we need to all go do our separate thing. But if you would like to come back with me to the south with boss and we can maybe try to make something of a family out of that, I, I wouldn't really say no. Yeah, sure. Whatever. I, I have nothing better to do anyway. And she just runs and hugs <laughs> your leg. Oh, that's wow. nice. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm a dad now, I guess, everybody. <laughs> A month or two, like Lissa's yeah. built a spaceship or yes. something like that. Spaceship built. And I would be right in front. My crew would be right there in front of me. And I would be looking at everyone just standing there. And I had Luna by my side as, you know, we're about to launch back up into uh, the Duros. And I look at uh, all the crew out here and I, I look towards Ragnar. I'm like, I'm going to miss all the drinking competitions we had. The arm wrestling, everything, my friend. Been I'm going to miss journey. you too, brother. I love you. <laughs> oh, one bear hug 
for good old time's sake then oh, one bear hug for good old time's sake and you transform into a bear <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. let's go and then after you know the little loving embrace i turn to verona my friend you are with some of the most cle- you are the cleverest person i think i have ever known you've gone out of so many situations and you have the greatest insight and knowledge and it's a very valuable weapon to have. You have taught me a lot and taught me about myself. For that, I'm forever grateful to you. And I hope that through your keen eyes, you can help continue guiding William for me in my stead. I will do my best, Duros. Thank you so much for everything. Because of you, I think now I can confidently say I love you, my man. And I hold out I my hand for a handshake. I love you too, you son of a bitch. I don't even <laughs> wait for him to finish. <laughs> <laughs> I just hug him right there. You'll always be family to me, Duros. You will always be family. I, I, I'm going to assume after, like, this is after I've yeah. said goodbye. Yeah. All right. No, no, I, I have to turn to Pearl at this point here, yeah. who's probably with Cyril right now. And I'm going to put my hand on both of their shoulders. I had a mission, Pearl. I don't know if you knew of this, but my job and duty was to look over you all this time. It was from your brother, Jasper. And by golly, I think I've done my duty. I think right now I can lead you off into these capable hands. As I put my arm around uh, Cyril, I've taught you everything, Cyril. Yeah. Everything. You are strong now. You have proved yourself in battle. You have honed yourself far better than I think you even know. Believe in yourself, Cyril. I will do my best to us. Thank you. Sorry. Do a rose. I've been working on it. You nailed it this time. Oh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I give him a hearty pat on the back. Pogus, thank you, Doris. Thank you for everything. You know what? I don't even care if you continue to be a princess of whatever you want to be at this point. You're your own person, Pearl. Mm-hmm. I trust you. You will make the sound judgment, and you will always have a, a fun journey ahead of you. And she smiles, and I guess you will embrace it a big hug. Yes. <laughs> and then finally I turn to uh, William, hmm. and, I, and I start saying, Cap, and then I catch myself. I suppose it's William now. I, I honestly, I think you know that I was always a lousy pirate. I was never very good at it. I was Man, never good at stealing or committing all these crimes and stuff like you guys do. I was terrible at it. I really was. But... I think I was a good friend, at least. You were the best man. I hug you, and I still think you would have been a better captain than me. And that is something you have also taught me as I hug him back. Mm-hmm. I learned that I can carry multiple titles. Knight, friend, and now you've been telling me all this time and I've been ignoring it. But I think I can also be a king. Yes. That's what I was meant to be. It's time for me to lead my own crew. Go there. Protect that world and your wife and your baby. And do not turn into an evil demigod. <laughs> I love you, Turos. I love you too, Captain. And I give him a big hug. Yeah. Big hug for everyone. All of the Devil's Lock Pirates give you a big yeah, hug. And then as I was about to Bear get hug. to the ship. Yeah. Yeah, I give him a big hug. And as I was about to take off, I say, should you ever need help, just know that the light will always guide your way. As I carry out the sword and it gives a nice little shine. shine. Oh. And that's the end of my dive. Yeah. Luna just takes your hand. And then smiles. And we walk into the we ship. We walk into the yeah. ship together. After the crew disbands, and then you've got like a few years, we will go through and I'll tell you what each of the members of the crew are doing. Pearl and Cyril, you see a shot of them. They're back at Tarako Kingdom uh, with Jasper as king. Molly's grown up a bit more now. This is like maybe four or five years on. Pearl and Cyril are living in a house together. She is you know, technically royalty there, so, so she's she's got quite a lavish lifestyle there. It just zooms in on their living room, and they're just having quite a nice domesticated life. Pearl is cooking by breathing fire onto the food, and w- Cyril's doing the washing up by using his Aww. water abilities. In the background, you hear, like, crying, and Pearl just sort of looks at Cyril, and Cyril goes, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll get him. And then they, they go into the other room room carries in and starts rocking in this little baby and like kind of makes a water bed for the baby with his water powers to sort of soothe him to sleep Aww. and we just have a sort of fade out on there it zooms out of the house of, of pearl and cyril and it zooms into the palace you can see the king's like talking to some of his men and the men go there's there's a visitor from the marines he's here to see you sir jasper sort of waves them down because they're taking it all too seriously he's like oh don't worry don't worry just just let him in just let him in trevor comes in he's looking all formal very well dressed jasper walks up to trevor and, and says you know you can't leave for so long they'll go this is like five or six years in the future without talking to me and he just kisses trevor on the cheek and then we'll have a we'll have a blackout there Aww. we then fade into this restaurant where people are like eating and some guy's like this is the best food i've ever had compliments to the chef <laughs> and then the chef comes out and it's gravy and gravy is like thank you all for eating here and they're like oh my god it's the gravy celebrity <laughs> chef gravy <laughs> can i have your autograph and he's like one at a time one at a time i thought if i ate at a gravy's i don't think i'd eat at the one that gravy actually cooks at and <laughs> 
<laughs> you zoom out and you see it's like gravies on the restaurant and it's you zoom out and you see there's lots of different restaurants called gravies all throughout the world i okay, guess yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, what's jimmy doing yeah, we, jimmy. we cut to a bar you, you don't quite see his face but you, you see his business suit uh, a sort of kid walk up and go hey mister uh, you're you're always you and he's she, he's just talking and jimmy goes looks down he sees the face of jimmy he goes hey little one you're so and so's son right come here and the, the kid like comes up and sits down jimmy's sort of a trusted member of this town have i ever told you about the story of the devil's luck pirates then we fade out fast forward 10 years later somewhere on the grand line in a huge wooden castle you see a big burly muscular man sitting on a huge chair his hair and beard have some white streaks in it he's got a crazy look in his eyes Behind him, you see tanks full of a strange liquid with weird creatures swimming in it. There are tubes running from the tank connected directly into his forearms. Out of nowhere, he rips the tubes out of his arms and laughs. cha ha 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 As he slowly starts to transform into a huge bear. Brown, but also blue and white lines in certain areas. He says, Boys, I'm finally ready. Get the ship. The whole world is our battleground, and I won't let anybody get in my way. To be continued in One Piece D&D Marines. All of you open your eyes. You're lying shipwrecked on a beach of an abandoned island. You remember a typhoon hitting your ship and completely decimating it. 